Wow, I'm so big. My God, Tom, no! Oh, 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 no! Oh, oh. Protect the little ones. <laughs> <laughs> come, and, come here, little one. No, you can't make me. Uh, wow. Okay, love, <laughs> love that. Um, uh, I was just startled by how... Me too. How big I was. So big. Um, now I know how everyone else feels. That's it. That's normal everyday life oh, oh, for the little ones. Me lumbering around. <laughs> uh, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Pretty good. Pretty chill. Mm. You know, pretty... Pretty good. Nice. Um, what's going on? Um, I don't have any Warhammer news for me this week. All the Warhammering I did was for top secret games night stuff. What the heck? So, Secrets? Sworn to secrecy. My God. What the hell? Um, okay, you? well, you keep any? your secrets then. I shall. Mm. I'll keep them secret and I'll keep them safe. Ooh, very good. Mm. Uh, you done any war gaming? No. Boo. How about you? No. Mm. Actually, no, we played some more Gaslands on the weekend. Oh, nice. That's cool. Did the OP death bus kill everything again? I didn't even use the bus. <laughs> uh, but someone still complained about the bus. <laughs> like, the uh, no, I used a different, um, uh, different team. Mm. And they exploded, and it was fun, and that was it. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> um, uh, so, yeah, mm. no, we just like did a little... Little thing. I like, didn't take any pictures because we're kind of playing with like a real just cobbled together, just shit right. for terrain. And so it kind of doesn't look amazing. You did start on a like a board for Deck Gaslands, didn't you, last year? Yeah, but then we got distracted when Tenth Ed came out mm. and was like, ugh, cars, lame. Necrons. Necrons, cool. <laughs> and then just kind of like put the, um, that whole, but we'd be thinking about like playing like a little campaign and so mm. probably uh, get back on the old painting way. Nice. Um, we should have a game soon. Yeah. Yeah, I want to play some more. Um, he was chatting with Duncan. He wants to play some games. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mark Holmes wants to play Ooh, some games. And Hulums. Dr. Simon Clark, he wants to play some games. And So many games. Uh, some of the, lo the Long Johns, they want to play some games. And yeah. so, yeah, we're going to get a load of people together and play a bunch of 40K. Hooray! Um, which will be cool. Which will nice. be fun. I'm very excited. Oh yeah, and even Harry's got his new towel. Oh it. yeah, shit. Can we bring up a picture of his? Yeah, I saw he like painted the boy. I was helping him with it the other day, helping him find like STLs for three D print conversions and stuff. Twitter. What's he actually called? Is he Hurry? Uh, Barry Harry. There we go. He's got a dog. He has got a dog. Uh, this is very old. Is this Twitter not wanting to show? Can you not? Actual, oh, oh, fuck. No. Fine. Turns out we can't. Um, can we just type in Tau and get an image search? Yeah, we can. Nice. Google beats Twitter. <laughs> so, um, yeah, look at these. He's like converted up his battle suit. So they got long legs and mega guns. Yeah, holy shit. Like they look. And so fucking good. They look so much better than the like GW ones because like, just look that extension plus the knee pad stops them yeah. looking so stubby. And giving them hands. Giving them hands. This guy's pointing. They're holding their guns. He's got extra like stocks added on to make the guns beefier. Yeah, they're phenomenally good. They're really cool. Uh, he's done a, a ghost keel. He's looking. Right. He sculpted the hands himself because he couldn't find ones on the right scale. Nice. I love the shoulder cannon with the big pipe. Yeah, it just looks ace. Just so much more red. Uh, this is this his is commander. It's looking good. Which looks awesome. I like the big, like, weird bone blade. <laughs> <It is just laughs> yeah. He wasn't sure about that because I was. I helped him find this STL because he wanted like a really like different commander. And originally he was like, "Oh, I might just replace that sword," but yeah. then I guess it grew on him. <laughs> yeah, I think like we were having a chat, and I was just like, "I it just." There's something about like a mech using, mm. like a mech wearing a cloak, or <laughs> yeah. using it thinks it's people. <laughs> biological, like it, just that, like kind of uh, mix of yeah, of like artificial and and uh, natural. Uh, it's just like a really cool, really cool vibe. Um, 
So yeah, super, super duper into it. Yeah, he's done a really cool job. Uh, uh, he's bust, like kit bashed his own little uh, jet bike slash like piranhas. Yeah. Um, out of all spare bits. Yeah, uh, so good. Like I'd say these are some of the the best tower conversions I think I've seen. Yeah, yeah. Well, we spent a lot of time looking around for uh, tower conversion ideas, and um, these are literally some of the best ones I've ever seen. And like he's not been he's not been building toys very long. No. He's new to this. Uh, so very good. Very, very cool. Well done to Harry. Um, but if you go to his Twitter, you'll be able to see all of his um, mm, all of his stuff, but we're just not logged in here, and so browsing Twitter is an absolute nightmare. Yeah, imagine wanting to just look through someone's timeline. Madness. Who'd want to do that? Gross. Okay. But there's other Warhammer news, Tom. Tell me. Tell me, got? Papa. Let's tell me. All in order. They're going to do a big Arena of Death, but for Age of Sigmar, because they did one for the Primarchs already. Surely. Um, uh, uh, Archon. Ar Archeon wins, right? Do you think? Would not Gotrek win? Isn't that? Oh, Gotrek is actually pretty. Because my first thought was Gotrek's got this. But he's ranked 11th, apparently. Ooh. In terms of like who they think's gonna win, because they've seeded them all. I don't know who half these people are. Um, Kragnos, Kragnos you know is who on Kragnos there. Kragnos is. He's ranked five. Wow. Oh my god, Scarabrand's ranked twenty-one. Yeah, and like spoiler alert for the video coming out in the next couple of days. But we learned what Scarabrand's rules were mm. <laughs> in a game we played recently. Yeah, he's he's pretty killy. He's pretty killy. Uh. So like, uh, look, the, the rules are. You start three inches apart, and you can't use command points, heroic moves, rampages, like army rules, no summoning. Like, there's a lot of things you're not allowed to do in this. Right. That would make, excuse me, uh, monsters and wizards like quite a lot worse. Mm. But still, apparently, Kragnos and Nagash are like just lording it all over Gotrek. Really? Wow. Gotrek, I feel like, should be ranked higher. Mm. He. It's pretty good. <laughs> He's very good. He's very well designed to take out a single big target. <laughs> yeah. Be interested to see who comes out on top on this one. How many people are playing? Who's last? Uh, Ta -ta -ta Talia Vedra. Is that the woman on the, the, the big, big no, beetle? Uh, no, that's Ariel, isn't it? Hello, uh, Ariel. Well, but look, this person, Kurdos Val Valentian, is 32. Woo. Who even is that? Kurdos Valentian. Is he like the, one of the witch hunter guys? Kurdos, Age of Sigma. Kurdos, the Craven King. Oh! Is he the guy in the chair? Cause that's... Why not allowed to fucking look at the Games Workshop website? Because... I think the internet is just trying to foil us today. Oh, wait, are you in a queue? Oh, yeah, because there's going to be pre orders. Because, you know, Games Workshop pre orders are such a fun time to these days. <laughs> I am not a robot. Fuck me. Fine. I won't look. Um, <laughs> That's wave two of the book. Oh, of course. Oh, it's this guy. Ghost chair man. He's a cool model. I really like that. He's cool. Apparently he's the worst thing in Age of Sigma, <laughs> according to this. But if he's like there as like... I don't know what his rules are in the game, but maybe if he <laughs> like does more like buff auras or something. Yeah, probably. Kind of not really bringing the A game when you're going. Not really the kind of guy you want to throw into the arena of champions. Yeah, <laughs> when you can't summon or have anything cool. Yeah. Uh, well, sucks to be him. Brock Grungson. Is he just a guy with a I think balloon he's a, gun? Yeah, he's balloon boy. Mm. Well, there we go. I'm just stunned that Gotrek's 11th. Yeah, that seems absolutely wild. Um, surprisingly, Gash is number one. I mean, I know he's going to be very strong, but I imagine if he's immediately in combat and can't summon things. Yeah, I feel like that instantly heavily nerfs him against some people who are just super duper killy. Mm. But then maybe he's just got bonkers rules that we don't know about. Oh, uh, yeah. He might be like 2,000 points on his own. I, don't, I have no idea. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. Mm. Oh, Lariel is number three. Wow, better than Teclas and his wish bitch. Yeah, I think that makes sense. He's got a big beetle. Beetle is cool. He's got a weird cat. <laughs> yeah. You know, what's, what's better? Who's King Brod? Oh, the giant. Oh, cool. He's in the top eight. 
Congratulations. Good for him. Lord Croak's not doing so hot. 17th. Yeah, I guess like just depends on how much magic he's allowed to do. Still doing better than Scarbrand, though. Who knows? Hey. So who actually won the Warhammer 40,000 one? I don't know. Well, you got to subscribe to Warhammer Plus to find out, I guess. Oh. The spoilers. Who, who won? Yeah, chat. You're not allowed to lie. Who, who won that? It's not a lie. <laughs> Tom won! Hooray! Hooray! Tom won! He's not even yeah. in 40k, but he always wins. Cramlow. <laughs> I wish. Has anyone got a real answer? Uh, Sly Marbo. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Kremlo, Kragnos, Sly Marbo. Okay, great. You guys, you guys are just just the memes. Just a bunch of jokers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, right, rumor mill. It's a cloak. <laughs> Spoiler alert: someone's got a cloak, <laughs> or maybe a cape. You've got to wear one. What are you picking? Cloak or cape? Cape. Is the only difference just the cloak has a hood? I feel like a cloak would have a hood and a cape generally doesn't. Yeah, that sounds about right. I think a cloak. I think I'm more of a cloak guy. But then Doctor Strange has a cloak. And I don't think that has a hood. But it's got a big collar. Yeah. Can capes, capes don't have collars. Yeah, like if I think of a cape, I think of like Superman. And if I think mm. of a cloak, I think like cloak and dagger. Mm. Sneaky stab man. Cloaks are cool though. Cloak is probably cooler. Mm. Yeah. I'm not sure what the hard difference is. No, but my gut tells me to cloak. Yeah. Yeah, because that's real. Yeah, deploy cloaking system. Do not deploy cape system. The caping caping <laughs> system. Oh, well, that's fun to caper. That's true. And there's the cape, cape of fear. Ooh, true. Uh, but cloaking, cloaking much better. Yeah, I mean, it's so good. You know, the Romulans and the Klingons have it. They do it. Federation, uh, you can cloak and dagger someone. Uh, you can... Um, does a vampire wear a cloak? I feel like a vampire has a cloak, and you can do this. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> very cool. Well, there we go. Now we know. Hmm. Oh, speaking of Star Trek, I um, my boy was asking about Star Trek, because I'd mentioned it while oh, we were no. doing something else. So... Um, I was really torn. I wanted to show him an episode to see what he thought. But it was so hard to pick like what is essentially... I wanted to deliver him like the quintessential Star Trek experience from one episode. You know, one, an episode that doesn't require any prior knowledge of Star Trek, but oh. also kind of presents Star Trek as it is. And it's not like a weird skewed episode that's like particularly ex action-packed or, or just about one character. And I am Donado for it for a little while. What would you have chosen if you have to show... Someone like a next gen episode that this is what next gen it is. So I, I'm I'm struggling to think of exactly like one in particular, but I think mm. the core beat side one are they go somewhere, mm -hmm. uh, they're doing a job, mm -hmm. moral dilemma, hopefully with an alien race, mm -hmm. um, and then they all learn a little bit of something about themselves, and then they end up doing kind of the reverse of what they went to do in the first place. That's that, classic. Um, maybe it's a space whale. Maybe it's a planet. A space whale. It's like the, like you know. It's oh, there's microbes. And they're actually <laughs> yeah. uh, cool boys. Um, what is like the literally like the second episode? Of... Oh, my memory of like seasons one and two is really hazy because I never went back to rewatch them. Because I remember thinking at the time that was such a better intro to what. Star Trek was rather than starting with Fucking Q. Q. Don't start with Q. Like I would never put a Q episode as like what this is what Star Trek is. I like Q episodes, but they are fucking weird. That's really out there. Whereas the uh Which one's two? So Naked Now. I've got no memory of this. Uh... Give me an image. Uh, I'm studying a thing that's going to go supernova. Oh, they nearly kiss. What the hell? My God, horny Star Trek. Oh, everyone gets drunk. 
Oh, maybe this isn't a better one. This is this the one, one where fucking... all the women get mega horny? And Wesley Crusher is a fucking asshole. <laughs> Maybe it's like another episode down. This was a bad episode. Okay, yeah. This was a fucking bad episode. Data starts fucking. Um, Code of Honor? Um, uh, they want to go to get a vaccine. Someone gets abducted. We have a Code of Honor. Uh, uh, I don't know, maybe you're getting your, your memories mixed up. I just remember like, feeling like there was a better episode. Or when we chatted about it, mm. I was saying like, there should have been, they should have started with classic, they go somewhere, moral dilemma, mm. everyone leaves, complete status quo, restored episode. Um, yeah. So I went with, I think I'm mostly on target with that. I went with... Um, uh, Darmok and Jalat at that, Tanagra. That one's too fucking weird. Like, <laughs> it was the only one I could remember where it was like, all the crew are involved. You don't have to know anything before you go in. And they all learn a lesson about being nice to each other. Because they think it's going to be like a trial by combat with the knives. But then like he learns how to communicate. Metaphors. Yes. <laughs> They're talking metaphors. <laughs> I like that one. I know you don't. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't care for it. I think maybe because people had built it up so much. And then when I watched it, was like I'm just annoyed. <laughs> I just find it annoying. Oh shaka! When the walls fell. And time. like, oh no! <laughs> Watch out! The invisible monster is coming at us yeah. again. Well, they'd used all their budget already. Wow, he hit me. Oh, <laughs> oh no, invisible monster. <laughs> just, it's so fucking lazy. They just did a random bit of scrub land in California. Yeah, it just, it's just like two people just hanging out, just saying fucking nonsense at each other. <laughs> yeah. And every now and again, whoa, <laughs> Invisi boy. Uh, yeah, not the one. Uh, Kremlo, he came from space. <laughs> Kremlo, he came from space. God, we are, we are just literally those guys, aren't we? Um, uh, I think maybe, maybe, like, I've got a soft spot for it, but mm -hmm. the, uh, the Packlids episode. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty good. It's fun. Although I think it works better like after you've seen a couple of episodes where you've got like a bit of a tone for the world. Mm. Um, but I like I like that episode. <laughs> Kragnos atop his rock. <laughs> 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 the end times. <laughs> <laughs> the end times. <laughs> oh God. <sighs> Season three, episode eleven. Are you just saying a random thing? What is season three episode 11? The beep beep aliens who hijacked the ship. The Binars? Oh! I quite like the Binar episode. Those guys were cool. That was like one of the better season one episodes. Uh, oh, is it the one where the super soldier breaks out of the ship? Oh, that. that's a cool episode, the actually. Angosians. Yeah, yeah. This is these, they're like super soldier. They arrest this guy, and he's like, just like a universal soldier guy who's a badass. Yeah, and he's there and he's like, look, I'm going to get out at some point. I'm the fucking best. Mm. And they're like, well, I don't know about that. And then it turns out he is the best. But he doesn't really, he's not trying to kill people. No. Uh, but he is trying to kill people on the planet or something. I can't remember. Uh, the planet, the, they're bad fascists and he's like Rambo who is betrayed by his country or something. Mm, like something like that. <laughs> yeah. I can't remember. It's been a long time. Is Data a real person? Oh, you know, meat not maketh the man. I thought that might be a little highbrow yeah. for an eight-year-old, I'll be honest. Um, it's a, one of the best episodes, but it's, it's definitely not a quintessential Star Trek. Like, you don't get to really... You don't encounter a space phenomena. You don't meet any aliens. And it's just... Oh, wow. I see, well, you guys understood it. Wow. <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> you know, did did the boy get into he, fucking Darmok and Jalad uh, in the desert? Yeah, he got it. Like it was, you know, it was kind of like he was like, "What? Hang on, what are they saying? What is happening?" Because <laughs> like I'd just be worried you'd, you'd get bored and they'd be like, "I don't want to watch your stupid old science fiction show." <laughs> no, he like found it really like 
it, it was hard for him to work out, but then when he figured it out, he was like really satisfied. It was like, okay. you know, doing a, doing a puzzle. Okay, that's very good. Because you get that bit at the end where Picard stomps up onto the deck and just as the two ships are about to like blow each other up and he delivers a whole speech in their language. Mm. And, you know, if you get it, you understand everything he's saying. Yeah, yeah. It's like this sort of payoff to you paying attention before. And like, so he really enjoyed that ending because he was like, oh, I learned their language. I'm I smart. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was pretty good. Oh, the one where they want to kill Wesley Crusher because he steps on some flowers. Oh. Maybe, actually. That might be a good one. On like the, is that a horny fuck planet as well? Oh, yeah. But I don't really want to do a horny one. He won't get it. He already rolls his eyes when anyone kisses. Oh, TV. no. He's like, oh, yuck. Gross. Ugh, Riker. <laughs> Are they all horny fuck planets? No. <laughs> like, only like 90% of fuck planets. <laughs> Calm yourself down. Yeah, there's a lot of horny planets. Sometimes they go to slave rape planets. <laughs> Those are different. <laughs> That's the other type. Cause and effect with Captain Kelsey Grammer. Oh, yeah. He turns up right at the end of that one. Oh, yeah. Do the Scottish Haunted House episode. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the, the, the horny the, ghost. The horny ghost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that fucking winner of an episode. <laughs> oh, that's literally one of the worst episodes. Uh, I hate that. There's got to be like a good... Um, uh, what was chat's one? What did they like? What did everyone agree on as like a good first? Wow, episode? chat all agreed on one episode. Yeah, they must have. There must have been one that everyone was like, "Yes, yeah, good choice." Sentient little robots one. I don't remember that. The sentient little robots. Who's the? Which is the sentient little robots? The little. Um, the microscopic ones. Not watching the, the crystal flute. ones. The flute episode. <laughs> That's not quintessential Star Trek at all. It's only got one person in it. Gone one. That's the wrong series. That's original series. Okay. Little robots, someone argues they're actually sentient. Is that the ones where they're like salt? They're little salt creatures on the terraforming laser planet. Which the Alexander episode. Oh god, he's such a wiener. Don't want to show him bad role models. Hmm. Packlids or bust? I think Packlids. Packlids cool. All right. We'll go. Uh, we'll go Packlids next. But I, I'd still say maybe I'd hold out on that. Watch a couple of others. Just jump in on like what season season three, and just start watching some of those. Yeah. Is that like an episode list. Oh, but I forget. There's so many episodes in every season. There's like 25, isn't there? Or just show them the one where Tasha Yar dies. Just, just get that over and done with <laughs> immediately. Get it out of the way. <laughs> just, just weird, fucking oil monster. And it's not even a good one. It's just kind of shocking because no one ever dies in these kind of shows. Yeah. Um, that's really the only thing that episode's got going for it. Could you? Ah, uh, you've already fucked it though. Only show him the Q episodes. <laughs> just be like, this is a whole show. This is just about space it, god jerks. It's all about these space guys <laughs> and this dude that turns up and fucks with them every week. And because there's like maybe like it's, ten episodes, yeah. and just get to the end or that version of Star Trek, oh. and he's like, "Wow, it's it's a, such a weird vibe. It, they had such like a vast universe, and they're always just goofing around with this guy. What is this? Or only show him holodeck episodes." <laughs> it's all, every week is hollow deck. <laughs> oh man, yeah. Because the one we watched it starts with a hollow deck, I think, doesn't it? No. God, I can't remember now. <laughs> yeah, all hollow decks. That's the one. All hollow decks. Exocomps. Which one's that? Uh. Oh, that's with the little robots. Wow, I have no memory of, of these guys. Uh, uh, I don't remember. God. Is that the robot? A lot of fucking adverts. Uh, 
I don't remember him at all. Is he alive? We may never know. I have no memory of this. They're playing poker in Riker's quarters. You talk nice. about beards. Oh. Okay. Wow. Well, I'm right. sure we'll find some. I don't know if this is the most compelling. And the fact that neither of us remember it. Yeah. It's not exactly a standout. Um, uh, so anyway, what's Warhammer. new in Warhammer instead? Um, they released all of the unsupported Old World Army PDFs all at once in one go, right now. I thought they were going to drag their feet on that and take months to do it. Yeah, I didn't think this was going to be coming for a long time. Mm. Uh, so well done, G-Dubs. You actually you did it. They're all here for free. Super duper cool. Very exciting. Mm. Um, and yeah. I'm kind of surprised. I mean, I know they said they were going to, but I'm surprised that they said they were going to do Chaos Dwarfs because they haven't made Chaos Dwarf models for such a long time. They didn't even get rules apart from like the Forge World stuff in since like 5th edition? 4th no. edition? So they did get uh, more rules in, what was it? The, the King Tumarakan. It was an 8th ed thing. Oh, I stopped playing in 8th ed. Yeah, but it was where a they released like proper rules for a bunch of Forge World stuff ah. in like an end times book, and so oh, okay, there was like a Chaos Dwarf list then. Mm. Uh, Tamahan is that his name? He was the big guy on the big lizard. What was he a Chaos Dwarf? No, he was a Chaos guy. Was he a king? Am I literally just making stuff up? Was he the Nurgle guy? Tamahan. This guy. Oh fuck! Yeah, I'd forgotten he existed. And they had, he had a book like a big. Is he important. Mega God, thing. Yeah, this is like real. Like I just wasn't following at all at this point. Uh, it's weird because like I used to play Warhammer Fantasy like twice a week mm. through seventh. I was super into it. So it was the only reason that I would really like flicked through this. I think it was in there where um, it's because they had new Vermeer uh, uh, like rules and law, and was like, "Ooh, nice, cool." Was that book nearly nine hundred quid on eBay? Well, God, yeah, I guess. Yeah, because it was on sale for like three months before they then discontinued it all. Oh yeah, by someone sold one for fifty-three pounds not that long ago. I mean, this probably was about fifty pounds when it came out. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so mm, cool. I think it's cool. Chaos Dwarves um, had a look at the list. It's kind of all the stuff that you'd imagine. Yeah, it's just. I mean, it turns out if you don't change the rules very much, you don't have to change the army books very much. Yeah, pretty. <laughs> Reprint all the eight fed things and slightly tweak them in line with the small changes. Yeah, pretty good. Um, mm. Very cool. Did make me excited. Yeah, it's kind of got me excited. Like just flicking through army lists for a game I used to love. It's fun times. I don't think I can do a whole army. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, oh, and here's a second win for GW. Uh, we, we give them a lot of shit, but let's give them praise when required. They've fucked all the scalpers on End of the Death 3. Because like 90% of it all went to scalpers who were charging 10 times the amount on eBay. Yeah, holy shit. And so they went through and cancelled all the scalper orders and have put it back on sale. Yeah. I mean, now, it's like literally now, that's why there was a queue to get on the website. Uh, we'll see if they've kept the, the scalpers out this time or not, yeah. I guess. Um, oh, man, some people in chat are already in the queue for it. Ooh. Nice. I wish the queue, the queuing system, would just tell you if it's already sold out. That is one thing that the queuing system sucks at. Because you sit in the queue for an hour, and then you get there, and there's nothing left. Mm. It'd be nice to know. You can keep queuing if you want, but the thing you want is not there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess that's a pain. Um, well, good luck for anyone who wants to buy it. And that, that's a good move, because it was real fucking lame. Yeah, that was super shit. But they, you know, they're doing good. And hopefully, you know, they keep, keep uh, updating their things and make it harder to do sculpting. But still, you know, selling only 2,500 copies... Hmm. Tomorrow, there's still going to be issues up that are selling for 350 bucks to 500 bucks. There will, but at least it won't be most of the copies. Yeah. I guess. It'll only be 
a bunch of them. Hmm. Uh, we've got a new Delac Assassin, man. He's cool. It's kind of fun. The artwork's like a bit cooler. I like this guy. This guy's like, you know, the sort of the not so good version. He's, he's pretty cool. Hmm. I don't know how easy it's going to be to run in that like hovel coat. <laughs> yeah, he's got his legs tied up real tight. Isn't that he? looks pretty tough. Mm. The great for Gene Steelers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Use this guy as your, whatever he's called, the, the bodyguard with the power sword. Mm, what's his name? Oh, Sanctus or Locus? He's the Locus. The Sanctus has a gun. The Locus has a knife. There is a Sanctus who, doesn't have, who can have a knife instead of a gun. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> he's got an alternate build. How far? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, the locust. The locust is the guy who's normally like, mm. yeah, the guy in the robes. Yeah, uh, um, we could also run him as a like a death cult assassin in an inquisitor warband or something. That'd be cool. Yeah, I'd like that. He's not sexy enough though. No, not at all. I want my death cult assassins to be sexy. I know that artwork's just cooler. Yeah, they're both cool. they're both good. Cool boy. He's not wholly human anymore. Wow. My God. Wow. A creature of shadows. Wow. Uh, we've got some old world stuff. You can get all the really old characters for a limited time only. Doot, doot, doot. Here they are. I quite like that banner bearer. He's rad. That banner bearer is great. I really like the um, the guy with the axe. I thought yeah, he was cool when he came guy's out. Cool, like Just like the, the little chainmail mitts yeah. and an axe that doesn't look too absurd. That actually looks like a great weapon a human could use. Yeah. Uh, just, I think they're, they're really yeah, nice. Those two hold up completely. This guy's almost indistinguishable from just your regular knight. If he was just in your unit of knights. But <laughs> <laughs> well, that one's not... got a slightly bigger dragon on his head. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Uh. Oh, it does look like his horse is oh, stepped, it's stepped in, in slime or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all the old horses had that because they couldn't because of the way the plastic injection mold worked. But you could clip that grass off if yeah. you didn't want it. Wow. Mm. Uh, He's known as the Axe Knight. He always uses an axe. I like axes. <laughs> I look at all of them. I've got axes on my horse. I wield an axe. I have a second axe on my belt. <laughs> Ooh. My father used an axe, and his father an axe before him. <laughs> If I could ride an axe, I would. <laughs> no son of mine's using a lance. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're cool. Cool boys. Uh, the old knights on foot. I think this guy was a Warhammer Quest character. Yeah. I remember, right? And then these 2D masterpieces. I still like them. I think they all kind of hold up. <laughs> they're all right. They're a bit funny proportioned. And a bit, you know, 90s. Yeah, um, very... Two dimensional, but I like them. I like them all. Uh, the damsel. She's a cool model. Classic. Yeah, she's pretty good. And the Tomb Kings, which is the standard standard characters. She's pretty good. Uh, I'd never liked the army standard banner. No, he looked lame. <laughs> he's like that banner's like kind of too big, and he's got a goofy grin on his face. He's yeah. just happy to be here, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> also, this horse looks real sneaky from this <laughs> angle. Uh, yeah, I didn't. I don't really care for them. And yeah, they're fine. They're just all right. Ah! <laughs> He's got bunny ears. <laughs> He's cool. Uh, got the Gotrek Felix I'm, novel. I'm excited for when they bring out other races characters. Like some other print on demands. I think Yeah. I think there will be some models that I will pick up. If they bring back some of the old Night Goblin characters, I'll be very tempted. Mm. And some of the old Skaven characters are pretty good too. My whole Skaven army, all my characters are like real retro ones. Yeah, super old school boys. Even though the the more normal warriors are all like the more modern sculpts. But I really like those old eighties and nineties Skaven characters. There's so much good stuff. Um Oh, but they won't be re releasing those probably because they're not in the books. Oh, uh, they might still do on demand, I guess. But probably not. Mm, yeah, well, I think it'll still. I imagine they'll see how it goes because mm. I think they're once they've gone through these eight armies or nine armies that they're releasing. Mm. If the game is popular, there could be a chance that they 
start doing some more stuff with some of the other forces. That's true. Uh, if people are really hot for it. Yeah, fingers crossed. The oh, Bleeding that? Stars. And Season other story. stories. That looks a bit like Trazen. Yeah. They finally cottoned on that people like Trazen. Uh, yeah. I think he's one of the more popular characters. It's just weird they didn't redo his model when they did the Necron book. Well, it means that when they do fucking Prior Nexus 3.0... Oh, uh, they can just bring out that one model. And put that in. Everyone's going to be like, Oh, Trizen! <laughs> he plays Warhammer <laughs> like me! <laughs> and uh, then you have to buy him. Good point. They'll hold out for that new starter set. Uh, we've got new pre-orders. We've got the Deathwing box. My friend bought this. I had a peek at it the other day. Um, they're nice. They're really nice models, those knights in, in person. I like them all. I think they're all nice boys. But, you know, you can't really go too far wrong with Terminators, can you? No. Oh, those are great. I flicked through the Dark Angel book. Um, it was a bit disappointing. Yeah. Um, it's basically, they've taken the index you already had. They've taken four of those units out. Mm. They've put one unit back in. Ooh. That's shit. Oh. And they've made everything else worse. <laughs> like they've just made all the rules worse, which is so weird, because now it feels like, you want me to pay £35 to downgrade my army? To make my army shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Feels weird, man. <laughs> like, what? And you also, like, some of my units that I've bought models for, they just don't exist anymore now? Yeah. Oh. Feels bad. Oopsie. It's a weird choice. It's like anti-hype. Not quite sure what their scheme is here. But it's what they've also done to Mechanicus and uh, Necrons recently, right? They they were kind of downgraded from their indexes. As yeah, well. they just got... Generally, the army's got a bit worse, and um, they strip out a couple of units from, mm. from them. I don't think um, Admech really lost that many units because they're new enough that I don't think they had enough stuff to lose. Necrons won the LVO. Uh, yeah, like a bunch of stuff got kind of side graded, but they nerfed a load of the like core stuff that was in the in the book. Light Rose says Ben sounds surprised, but he's been playing Games Workshop games for twenty years. Yeah, that's why I'm surprised. Almost always, it's, it's power creep. Yeah, normally it just it just gets better. Everything gets better when they make new rules. This is, feels like the first time where everything gets worse when their book comes out. Yeah. That's why I'm surprised. It's the opposite of the last 20 years of behavior. Mm. Um, yeah, it's a very odd choice. But it seems like such a weird time to be trying to like clean slate Warhammer back down to a less like killy point. Because we've literally just rewritten the rules for every army in the game in one go. That's when you well, yeah, slate that's it. when you kind of make everything a bit more bland, and then you can flesh it out later and do some more stuff with it. Just get everything kind of working sensibly. Yeah, so it feels weird that they've done that. They've done this complete blank slate, and then they've, now they've just brought, they've made everything even blanker. Well, you're going to get a, someone said the, there's a balance patch tomorrow in theory. Like oh, so I'm going to buy my new book, and then it's all going to get changed again. <laughs> but, well, you'll see how, if they get affected too much. Um, I guess. I mean, the the points in the book were definitely wrong. They're charging 300 points for those five um, Terminator Knights, which there's no way. There's no way they can keep them at 300 points. Expensive. Mm. Um, but also, like, the lion, right? I haven't finished painting mine yet. So in the time it's taken me to buy and half paint my model, he's had... Three completely different data slate rules. This is the third rule set for a model I bought. That's pretty good. Six months ago. Because <laughs> he had his ninth edition rules. Then he had his tenth edition rules. Now he's got his codex tenth edition rules. And each one is completely different. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, God. It's too many rules. Make up your fucking minds. It's it's just oh my god it's just too much to keep up with these days. Well, that's a fair point. That's you got three rule sets for the price of one model, Ben. That's value. You get three times as much value out of that guy. But I have to pay each time if I want to get those rules in hard 
copy. <laughs> Three <laughs> times as many rules. <laughs> Value. <laughs> <sighs> so yeah, we've already had a look at these guys. We won't talk about it too much. Uh, I might end up having to get Old World in e format because I just can't seem to get hold of a physical book of it. Yeah, like I, re I really wanted to pick up a physical copy, but um, I couldn't. I couldn't get it. It was all sold out. Mm. Uh, huh. Titanicus dice. Titanicus dice. They're coming back. I don't remember these. Those. The silver and blue ones are gross. Both of them are quite hard to look at. Yeah. I would get, I'd put them C, C tier. Mm, not impressed with those. Just a million, million fucking transfers. Cool. cool. Yarek. Is it going to tell us how he died? Ooh. Or it's, it's an omnibus, so maybe it's just a reprint of the old books. Oh. But there should just be a one page at the end that just says, P.S. he went here and did this and died. Because uh, the main character dying off screen is just the lamest shit ever. Yeah. But Angron did it, right? Angron didn't die off screen. Oh, yeah, you mean Angron, Angron killed Yarek? Yeah. Well, that's the, the fan headcanon. Because that's fun. And... Gasgol's gonna kill Angron with the steel chair. Yeah, that's like that's all I want. It's <laughs> yeah. all I want from 40k law for like sure. It's gonna take three years to do it, but make that happen. Just that's why Gasgol pulled out of whatever the Octarius, the Octarius War, yeah. because he heard or felt a, a presence in the force. <laughs> I was like, oh no, Yarick's dead. It who fucking did that? He was the <laughs> yeah. best. And then just now the biggest war is all just like going directly towards Angron, mm. who's just hanging out. <laughs> I'm so angry. <laughs> oh, there's orcs. Oh, shit, that's a lot of fucking orcs. <laughs> yeah. Why are you so mad at me? <laughs> <laughs> who did I kill? Uh, and yeah, Gazgirl's like, you took everything from me. You ruined everything. And Angron's just like, I don't even know who you are. <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> have him uh, absolutely fucking murder him. Perfect. Will I love be that. the best. If it Fingers turns out Yarrick is a never die, that is the worst. Oh, time. my God. Oh, my God. I hate that so much. Don't do it. Yarrick went back in time and saved the Emperor in the Horus Heresy. Oh, no. <laughs> don't do it. Please. Well, no, Angron goes back in time and turns out he is Gazgul's father. What? <laughs> That's worse, right? What? <laughs> that doesn't really even make sense. <laughs> That's not really how orcs work. <laughs> okay. That's just how it is now. That's the new law. <laughs> Fuck. I hate that. I hate that. <laughs> Oof. <sighs> um, that's it. Cool. Boom. Uh, we get a preview at Old World Orcses. They're bringing back all the... Remember those old Orcses? The ones that were in the 5th edition box. Yeah, the 5th edition starter set Orcs. When did that come out? Well, so actually, it's only the um, the chariots that were in the 5th ed box. You got a chariot, not these guys. You did get some Orcs, though, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, but you got the... I think that's parts oh, of them all You later. got... Uh, where are they? These orcs. These classic boys. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just everyone keep your right arm in the air at all times, guys. We're going to spook them with our synchronized chanting. Yeah. These are even older than the skeletons, aren't they? Yeah. When did these fuckers come out? So I'm sure this was fifth ed starter box. Because like... Fifth edition is the one that we played the most. I think when this came out, we were like, let's stop fucking around. Let's grow up. Oh, shit, is it sixth edition? No, this can't be right. This is third edition and fourth edition, surely. Which one was sixth edition? Oh, maybe it is sixth ed. So sixth ed is when we started taking it seriously. Yeah, it, look, here they are. That's the box. Yeah, because you've got the Empire and the Orcs. Okay, so... Um, Warhammer 6th edition release date. Uh, just 24 year old orcs. Okay. They're slightly, they're one year newer than the skeletons. Oh. 
Wow. Wait, then the Camry ones? No, the Camry ones were 2000 and then were 98, weren't they? So they were 26 years old. Is that right? Surely these were out before the, that Camry army. Oh, yeah, but the Camry skeletons are from vampire counts. They just added a Camry shield sprue to the box and re-released it. I thought those vampire count skeletons were released in this edition. No, they were fifth. Really? Fifth edition starter set had goblins and dwarves? Was it? No. Third edition was elves and goblins. No, this... Fourth? I swear this is older. Like, because the, you're thinking of Battle of Blackfire Pass, which is the dwarves and the gobbos. Mm. That was later... We made we made a mistakey. Maybe. Uh, I remember the the free Ravening Hordes booklet that came with Sixth Edition. Oh, maybe the, it is Sixth Ed then, because yeah, Ravening Hordes was at the same time. Mm. Fifth Ed was Bretts and Lizards. No, that was fourth. Surely. So what's the chat is saying? Getting it. Maybe I'm getting it all mixed up. Uh, so the Skelly horses existed. But I think those plastic skeletons came out in this edition. Well, we, I looked it up last week. Last time we talked about it, either last week or the week before, I found the date those skeletons came out, and it was 98. Oh, shit. Okay. Really? Like, it was... Uh, anyway. Seems wild. They're real old. So you're going to hate this, but I'm, I, I'm not going to lie... This is, I think it's doing exactly what they're marketing hoped for. Yeah. Seeing these old models is giving me like massive nostalgia, nostalgia blasts. And <laughs> but these weren't even good when they were new. Do you remember when these ones came out? I know, I know. Uh, <laughs> but there's just something that it just kind of hits me with. Oh, fuck. Like, remem remember how, how everything was easier back then. Oh, it was an easier time, wasn't it? And uh, True. these fucking horrible boars. I really like these boars. I don't know why you hate them so much. I think they're cool. I hate them. I'm going to get some. I'm going to get some of these boars. I mean, these are my boars. I remember these. These are boars. bad boars. <laughs> they're bad boars. <laughs> they're just, these are bad boars. These are, these are, I have more nostalgia for these terrible boars than these weird, goofy ones. I think these are cooler models. They are objectively better models yeah. <laughs> but i don't like them i like these guys i think they're cool um they look like alf exactly even better <laughs> <laughs> who doesn't love alf that weird fucking pig alien uh no i want to get those to use as to convert snake bites oh nice as, 40k yeah just turn them into a 40k 40k boys and do a big Big horde. Nice. These but Blackhawks totally hold up. Those Blackhawk models were incredible when they came out. Yeah. They completely... I mean, they still sell these for Age of Sigmar now. Ooh. Do they? I thought they got, would have got superseded by Uruks. Maybe. They did, if they don't anymore, then they did until recently. Mm. Um, but yeah, Blackhawks, fucking awesome models. Um, Spanner Bear is cool too. I like him. Look, that's a proper boar. If all the boars look like that... I'd be well on board. No, he looks too grumpy and not in motion. He's just sat there. But he's like, he looks mm. drunk. I don't want to go to battle. <laughs> <laughs> I just want some truffles. Uh, but yeah, this like plastic character set was cool. Mm. Like, you get a ball guy, you get a foot guy. You can convert them up in a bunch of different ways. Uh, it was a cool, cool box. God, these orcs. Holy shit. Wow, you're going to literally buy like a unit of 30 guys for... 50 pounds. Maybe. Guess we'll see. Uh, We've got some new characters. I do not like this guy. It's the head, right? The head. Like, it looks like third party. Oh, we're going to make our own orcs. It just doesn't look like a Warhammer orc. I think if you change the head, the body's fine. Yeah, the body looks, looks perfect. But there's just something about the head. Hmm. It's horrible. It's like you described to someone really well what a like a Games Workshop orc looked like, mm. and they did a great job, but they fucking polar expressed it. <laughs> yeah. They just made it look fucking garbage and weird. And it, 
<laughs> if I was an orc in this guy's army, yeah. I'd fucking beat the shit out of this guy for being <laughs> un <-orky. laughs> Right. I think all me and all the other lads <laughs> yeah, will be able to know. <laughs> he's an imposter. There's like he's from Azeroth or something. Yeah. <laughs> Get exactly. him out of here. He's like a fucking changeling or something. Like there's <laughs> just something not right. And so we got to crump him. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, this guy. This guy is fucking amazing. I love this guy because he's got troll head and crab claw and he just looks like a real creepy shaman boy and he's got little goblin stirrer friends as well. I really, really like these. I think they're just fucking rad. Mm. Having this guy, like, because you could use this in 40k as like a weird boy. Oh, easy. With zero work. Mm -hmm. Uh, but yeah, wearing like the head of a troll just like slopped onto you. Yeah, great. I think great. I think and these guys awesome. are so much fun. Yeah. I kind of want these guys as like a gobbo wizard. <laughs> yeah. I think just that's fun. Just... Double, double, goil, and bubble. Yeah. Because he like just pushing his mate into the stew. <laughs> Maybe. It's just, just great. Uh, I think they're. Yeah, they're ace. I fucking love those guys. Like phenomenally cool models, beautifully painted. Uh, and just, it's, maybe they look even better next to this guy. <laughs> the un Valley. Yeah, you just don't, don't care for it. What else we got? These guys are apparently coming back. I don't remember these guys. Um, that orc looks fucking weird. He is kind of weird. Um, I was returning resin. Maybe they were forgeord guys that I wasn't familiar with. Mm. Um, these guys, however, I remember all of these. They're fucking great. awesome! I love a squig knight. I love a big banner. Yeah, I don't love this one as much, but he's still. It's, conceptually, it's pretty awesome. It's a fun idea. Just him going wacky with the magic. Mm. And night goblins, some of the coolest boys. Like night goblins will always be my first Warhammer love. And I remember being like like 10 years old and drawing pictures of night goblins. Because <laughs> they're just <laughs> awesome. They're just like sneaky little bastard boys. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're the best. Yeah, really, really good. I'm a schemer. They are schemers. A big Forge World troll. Yeah. She's back. The titties. <laughs> yep. And if you, have her, if you play the Total War campaign, she is always named Titty Muncher. That's the default name for this character, the Swamp Hag in Total War. Titty Muncher. Tiddle Muncher. Tiddle Muncher. <laughs> yeah. But in Total War, they put a bra on her. They put they a big did. skull bra That's on. That's true. Whereas, you know what? Respect Games Workshop. I did think you'd do it, but you brought back... <laughs> brought back the horny. <laughs> brought back the titties. And this guy, I've never loved this wyvern. No, I never really loved that wyvern, but the orc on the back looks cool. Mm. And at the time... It was such like an iconic model. It was great at the time because it was a deviation of the classic S dragon. Yeah. That everything was. No one fucking loved that guy. Mm. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, the rock lover. I love this guy. Love it. That's a great rock lover. Really good. So, there's so many better goblin characters he could have brought back. Although I do really like this guy. He's cool. Yeah, he's kind of cool. But what about like the real old, like the 90s night goblins? Like the, the shaman with the big tall hat and the bubble bubbling cauldron. I guess because those guys have like just a much different style. They are a different style. Like because they kind of redid uh, gobos. Um, do they? Can we get like a stuff of legends catalog? I fucking love these nineties goblins. Um, this is some of them. But like, look at that wizard. Look, I love them, but they're like, they just, have, <laughs> they just look different. They, they redesigned how goblins look. They they're did. a different physique. They're... True. Uh, what else we got? Do you remember all the little, um, oh, like, like this a... guy was kind of cool. Oh, yeah. Here we go. These are the boys. <clears throat> look at their goofy little faces. Yeah, they're great. I love them all. Golden green bases, red weapon halves. <laughs> yeah. uh, but I can see why they aren't bringing them back just because they, they are. They just don't fit with anything else anymore. Yeah, just complete different style. True. I love that. That's what night goblins look like to me. Although, wow, they look weird on the new bases, don't they? Yeah, I don't really <laughs> like it. It doesn't it... work at all for goblins. 
It's too. They're too far apart. <laughs> yeah. It looks great on like the Bretonian peasants. Oh, look at that little guy. Yeah, look at him. <laughs> look at that guy. Yeah. <laughs> they don't make him like that no more. Holy shit! <laughs> what a cool dude. It's like beautifully painted as well. <gasps> wow, they're tall and weird. They are weird. Oh, I thought they were two goblins stood on top of each other for a moment, but they're not at all. Oh, here we go. That's what I'm looking for. Bit blurry. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I guess we'll, we'll never see their likes again. Yeah, that's sad. A shame. But they are cool. Um, oh, wow. Bringing back even more than that as well. Um, they're bringing back the biggins. The Snotlings, Snotling Pump Wagon. Snotlings. Common Trolls, Classic Ogres. Ooh, Classic Ogres. I've got a load of um, Classic Ogres. <gasps> They're bringing back the Marauder Giant. What, that guy? Oh, he stands like this, he stands and he's got a club. Yes. Oh. That guy. Oh, I could be him. <laughs> you could be him. You are I've him. Got, I've got the gut. <laughs> I've got a beard. And I can stand like this. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, he's got a whole keg as a, as a flask. Yeah. He's got a shield as an arm guard. I love it. He's Giants, cool. very cool. That's fun news. I like him. Uh, I love the old stone trolls as well. They're great. They are cool. It's going to be real expensive. And snotlings. Snotlings are some of my favorite things. Yeah. Favorite things in the world. Those horrible little bastards. Like yeah. Them. I hate to think how much they're going to be. Ugh. I do like a lot of these. Hmm. I was thinking the other day that if they do a uh, you know made made to order print on demand, mm -hmm. Dogs of War. Ooh. I think I would spend all the money in the world. Well, there is someone who's done STLs of all the Dogs of War units in ten mil scale. So if you wanted to do a little 10 mil Dogs of War army Ooh. to fight my 10 mil boys. Ooh. Because then it wouldn't take you much time or money. But I want war. I want Warhammer. I think I've seen Warhammer. these ones before. The Ankylo one. Oh, no, Mini Rat. The Besiegers. Oh, shit, I need like seven quid for them. Because I was looking at these, um, but it was to buy the STL files. Ah, it was like yeah. each of the, to buy the STLs, it was like seven bucks for that. And because you were only really going to print one each of one each one units because yeah. of the nature of Dogs of War. Of course. But, you know, you could, you could do a whole, you could do 2,000 points for like 50 quid. Oh, man. I bet at pretty. these prices. Because you'd only need like a handful of each. Got the Galloper guns. The Birdman. Bird They're really nice, actually. They're really good. Desert. Al Mukhtar's Desert Dogs. Do they have the little... The, the blind the little there. blind. Yeah, they do he, have the blind boy. There you go. Like he the, rides fearlessly into battle because he doesn't know what's going he on. He has no idea what's <laughs> going on. What's he called? Like blind, blind pate or something. That's cool. Good trumpet. Mm. So, yeah, that's an option. Oh, they've even got the, um, are these the Vendetta boys? Cloak and Dagger Men? Yeah, they are. Were they Vespiro's Vendettas? That's right. Oh, it's an option. Oh, man, I, I would 100% do these. They've got the, the long drawn. Long Slayer drawn pirates. Slayer Dwarves. Oh, man, they're fucking good, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're so fucking good. Do they have the characters? I don't know. Probably. Eh, hey, gobos. Eh, hey, these gobos. Uh, Lion Charger, Orcs, Pistol Ears. Uh, Arabe Spearman. Well, there was the Arabe Army for Warmaster. Yeah, that's true. They, they must have a multiracial skeleton unit. Ooh. The cursed company. I hope yeah. so. 
I love the Curse Company. I don't know. We'll have to flick through it. Yeah, have a look. They sound great. But yeah, I think it's I think it's the way forward. Smaller toys are better, quicker toys. Do they have the giants? Cat Catacorum oh, Bologs? We've got these guys. Which oh. aren't the Albion Giants, but they are they are cool. I want the Albion Giants. This guy <laughs> with his one eye. Do they have Elefontaines? And the other dude who's like <laughs> Yeah. That guy. I don't know. You'll have to look through it. Yeah, we'll have rails. Ring wraiths from 10 mil. Ooh, that's cool. 10 mil is a cool scale for this, this kind of battle. Yeah. Because then you just um, convert all the inches into centimeters. Mm. And away you go. Away you go. Anywho. Boop, 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 boop. My own perversions aside. <laughs> Uh, what do we get to? Got that. Because does this come with the book? Because those, the, what, the Camry and the Bretonian armies were 175 pounds, right? Ooh. Like, is this 175 pounds worth of orcs and goblins? Or is this going to be a cheaper box? Because no book, apparently. Oh, okay. So I guess they'll make it like 120 then, if you're taking the book out. F for like know. 50 pounds... 30 pounds for a unit of gobos, 30 pounds for them, 20 pounds for a chariot. Yeah, I think 135 to 150 pounds. For like, that's probably less than 500 points, right? 20 gobos. Uh, 40 points. <laughs> 50 points to give them command group. <laughs> uh, but you give them spears, so that adds another 20 points, and maybe shields cost a point. Maybe they come with shields. I don't know. Um, but that's not 100 points. <laughs> no. These guys are, you know, 60 points <laughs> plus <laughs> command, 70 points. And uh, these guys. Hello, OC Raiders. Hey, welcome, welcome OC Raiders. You turned up at just the right time. We're talking about how old Warhammer is going to be more expensive now. <laughs> so. <laughs> We're a couple of whinging old toy soldier men. Uh, you're at 95 pounds. Are you fucking mental? I think they're going to charge 120, personally. Based on what they did for Bretonians and Camry. Although the Bretonians and Camrys had like a dragon in there or a Pegasus or something. Like a big boy. This doesn't no. have any characters. Well, like if it was so a maybe, big boy. maybe less than 100. Hmm. Hmm. Hard to know, isn't it? We shall see. Mm. Give it a week, I guess. Uh, now we've talked about that. We talked about this. Oh, they've got instructions on how to use metal and resin because all the new players won't won't know. Oh, yeah, pin pin your models, cut off all the flesh. Yeah, and um, don't use your clippers too hard on metal because I have broken clippers on metal models mm -hmm. before. Mm -hmm. Like you gotta you gotta be careful with that stuff. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Um, we've got a bunch of previews from the the. Las Vegas Open. Oh, shit, I completely forgot about that. God, we spent the whole time talking about fucking Star Trek. <laughs> we sure did. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, they've got plastic solar auxilia coming for Horus Heresy. Cool. Which are kind of nice. I, I don't think they're as good as the old resins, but I can't put my finger on why. There's just something about them. They look a lot smoother slash cleaner. Yeah. I like, think they're nice, but... Um, Can't, I need to see them side by side to really, really know. Um, these are all plastics. Those ones. These ones. But these would compare to these guys, right? No, that's the command group. Where are the... Fuck, here we go, these guys. I think the new ones are... Better. Yeah, actually, my memories just failed me. In my head, these look better than they do. But like, I've got—I don't really have a ton of like, you know, nostalgia or love for. Yeah, because these guys came out after you were sort of out of it. Yeah, and uh, a lot of it was just like Forge World stuff in a setting that I didn't care about, mm -hmm. and so you could just be like, "Oh, War Games Atlantic—they just released <laughs> yeah. these guys, Void they would Soldiers. Work, they would work really well in Warhammer Forty Thousand mm. as guard." Mm. I'd be like, "Sure, 
Yeah. Yeah, they'd be a nice, like, separate thing to do. They've got yeah. their off-brand Imperial Eagle and a thing <laughs> that looks a little bit like a LAS gun, but it legally is not a LAS gun. Yeah. I mean, this would be a fun stand-in if you wanted to do a guard army or you didn't like the Cadians. Oh, yeah, totally like super easy. These guys. But, yeah, I don't, I'm not super excited for them. What does this banner say? Uh, Yargan, Yargan Vintor. Vintor. Who's that? Or is that his name? That's his dad. Did his mum sew it on <laughs> so he doesn't lose it? Yeah. He needs everyone to know. Okay. Well, the Dark Angels did it, so why can't this guy? <laughs> true. He's wearing green armor. That's true. I do like their tanks. I like the, the trim. I don't want to paint that trim. I don't want to paint the trim, but I like the, <laughs> I like the tank. I it does make them look kind of baroque and steampunky. Yeah, there's something a bit more ostentatious about it, and I'm kind of into it. That's just kind of a cool transport, I think. Looks chunky. It's fun. Different gunners. Sure. I, one thing, I, I fucking hate this new Sentinel. Though. Yeah, I just don't like it. It's way too top heavy. It looks like it's about to like collapse under its own weight. It's like when it fires any of its guns, it just falls it's over. over. <laughs> yeah. I just, yeah, I don't like it. Don't care for it. Boo. It's dumb. Boo. <laughs> the new Russ very ornate. You know, that's a nice like Lehman Russ commander you could have. Like, to be yeah, totally suddenly different. dropping one of those in as a, you know, like a tank commander, I think would be awesome. It's like some kind of relic Russ. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I think he's cool. Um, all the different guns look cool. I prefer these guys, the extra armor plating. These guys look like um, old timey undersea divers. Yeah, like yeah. Reimagined as like sci-fi space divers. Yeah, I can see that. And uh, I like them. If I had infinite time and money, I'd be tempted to do a little... Oh, it's... Little gang of these boys. Kick Solar! <laughs> He's a cool guy. I think they look way better than the, the regulars. And... Is that it? Oh, yeah, this guy. This is a fun tech. It's really World War One-ish. Yeah. I like the the not sponsons and the like the limited traversal turret. It's just a cool design. Yeah, looks looks rad. I'm in. Very neat tank. Mm. But none of it's new. These are all models that have existed in resin before. Except for, yeah, and like except for this Dumbo, who like, is new. Well, I guess like cause we've been seeing them as um, epic scale for a while. Um, mm. I'm just like nice. I would never get any of them. Maybe one of those Lehman Russ. Maybe. Uh, who we got going on here? Oh, it's a story. I thought it was a new model. What a lovely story. Oh. Uh, who's this? We've got a hag wizard lady. It's cool. Has a sneaky crow. That guy looks ace. Yeah. That's a fun Igor. You're know, having spine problems. Ooh, you want to have that looked into. Yeah. Oof. So what happens when you, you know, get osteo... Osteoposis zombies, bone, right? Bone, bonitis. Bonitis zombies. I really like yeah. the hammer and the chisel as a weapon. <laughs> oh. Pow! <laughs> uh, it's just not the most practical. No. Yikes. And and Dogman! Dogman's here. Why are there so many Dogmans in just some, these days? Someone. Someone finally got promoted, and they're like, now is my time. Everyone has a Dogman. Is there just like a furry at GW who really wants to like just Dogman. get it in? There's Dogman everywhere. Don't don't love that guy. But the rest are kind of cool. The paint job's really nice on Dogman. Oh yeah, they've, as always, beautiful paint job. But I don't know. I've never really cared for cared for Wolfman, and no, me neither. Uh, who else we got? We got new Witch Hunter. Looks very cool. Yeah, it's nice. It's got some Van Helsing vibes. Oh, it's like a kind of like a Witch Hunter yeah. sort of vibe. Absolutely. This guy looks amazing. Yeah, that's the henchman you want if you're a witch hunter. Two pistols, heavy armor. <laughs> yeah. It's just like a great vibe. It's really cool. It's a good stance as well. There's yeah. some movement. You can feel the energy of this model. It's not just stood there. Just blasting away. Super good. Absolutely love it. Mm -hmm. Really good. Like a sneaky, sneaky, sneaky climber. Sure. Why not? Uh, oh, sweet. Cat lady. A rogue trader for your army, or <laughs> yeah. an inquisitor for your army. Yeah, that would absolutely work as either of those. Like, absolutely love it. Yeah. That's a fucking weird cat. I like it. I kind of like those naked sphinx cats that look like a, you know, a raw chicken oh. has, like, crawled into your house <laughs> yeah. and has, like, sat somewhere. <laughs> oh, and they've got a, a, a boy with them for some reason. 
who's king of the keys. I'm king of the keys. Look at all my keys. Even my bird has a key. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of keys going on. Yeah. Like, there's Big a key, key in your vibe. hair. Oh, yeah. We're the uh, key gang. You must have a key somewhere. Actually, you don't need a key because you've got a grappling hook. And a lockpick. <laughs> and a lockpick you climb over. <laughs> You should, you can. Oh, your belt has been locked on. Wow, it's a chastity belt. Oh, wow. And has this guy got the He's key? He's got a key on his sword. Do they all have the key to this guy's chastity belt? Is yeah, that what's going on here? Because he just wants to fuck. <laughs> wow. They're like, no. When we've done the quest, <laughs> then you can fuck. But until oh, then. You've got to shoot at least four more people. You have to do some good shooting. Uh, I think these guys are awesome. Like yeah, everyone is cool. It's a very characterful gang. What's what, what's it? Is it an Underworld or a Warcry? Ooh, I don't know. Or are they just like commemoration models for a book series or something? Are these the heroes of a show or a series? Maybe. But they really feel like a little D and D adventure party, or like yeah, uh, like they just feel like role playing characters. Like you know, you've got the face of the group, you've got mm -hmm. the rogue, the fucking fight guy. Whoever is the most power gamer have built this character. He's <laughs> yeah. kind of a little bit of everything. And someone who's like, I'll be the paladin. I, I'm, <laughs> I've been play I'm level 20 and I need a new group. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll join you guys. <laughs> absolutely. Like, he just didn't want to make a new character. He's kept his old one. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Previous adventures. Uh, but like him. They're all very good. They're very cool. Oh, they're from this book. Right. So it's like. Callous and tall. That, man, that, that sounds like real young, young adult novel uh, <laughs> <It really does. laughs> right there. Wow. Cool. I like them. They've got character. What else we got? We got um, this is our very first Dark Elf. Oh, Ben. The Dark Elves are coming, Tom. Ooh. Wow. This is the first. Uh oh. Careful. If this is the right. direction Dark Elves are going, <laughs> I'm not excited. Really? Too much bird. Oh, I thought, like, so the internet has been taken by storm. I really? Guess they haven't uh, really uh, zoomed in that much, but her feet, all oh, oh. the internet has been very much. I always forget the internet loves feet. Is enjoying that. I think it's an awesome model. I really, really like it. It's I mean, a cool model. Cool. She's a cool character in a cool pose with a nice scenic base. I just don't want all dark elves to be bird lovers. Hopefully that's just her thing. Yeah, I think she's probably just because she's like, you know, it's all shadows and shit. I really like it. I think she's cool. I think it's a great model. It's a cool model. Just just one cool bird person, not whole bird army. That's my wish. Yeah, hopefully that's kind of like the, the vibe. That cape's going to get caught on everything. I think I'd be more concerned about how she's put all of her hair over her down eyes and put her, like, <laughs> her glasses on top of her hair to really like just jam that in like because you could have chosen to put the hair off to the side but no yeah well maybe this was originally meant to be one of those things you know like footballers sometimes push their hair back and put oh, in like a hairband yeah yeah to hold it back off their face someone gave that to her and she was like thanks <laughs> and it's just slid down um I think that might be right. Oh, yeah, maybe she has no eyes. She could be one of those, like, blind... Oh, players. probably. That's always a classic. Throw in the coin, traveller! Let me read your fortune! Mm. You know, she's one of those... Yeah. The blind crone. This is a very friendly-looking bird. This guy? Think you want to be friends with this guy? I recognise him. He's from a... That was from a uh, preview. Yeah. I remember his little smug smile. He's like, hmm, friend. <laughs> bird friend. Ah, uh, oh, welcome, Sips Raiders. Well, howdy. We're talking about Warhammer. <laughs> uh, we'll move past the, f the feet stuff. Yeah, you uh, can look quickly. at feet on your own time, you guys. You can do that when you're by yourself. Pow. I like to. Uh, this might be one of the more exciting things. Crew are back. Because crew have not been updated since... Like the 90s. Uh, 98, 99, something like that. A long time ago. Those crew models are old. But now we've got new crew. We've got crew man with hook. And gaffy stick. Yeah, it's fun. And I guess you can build in with predator disc and bow instead, if you like. Just so fucking cool. Such cool models. I love uh, this like tribal design on his shoulder pad. Bit of a pain to paint, but... Really works for crew. Give them loads of war paint, give them loads of this stuff. 
yeah, holy shit. Like, I fucking love these models, but there's so many bits to paint on them. Mm. And you have to probably paint quite a lot of them. Yeah, yeah, because they're not exactly going to be a pure elite army that um, I don't think I would be <laughs> yeah. uh, building, building these myself. No, probably not. But, you know, speaking of feet, guys, knock yourselves out. These are different. Oh, what's up with this little little chungus? He's got a little friend. <laughs> little turnip dog. <laughs> walk, walk. He's here too. Oh, the crew, the Tau Reddit crew controversy. Mm. What is the Tau? As Reddit? an Italian from Italy, I want to use these crew as crew. Uh, <laughs> just, I'll tell you about it in the break. It's pretty what? spicy. <laughs> oh, wow. It's pretty funny. Okay. Um, it's sure. very racist. Oh no. Um. But you can look it up uh, yourself. Uh, but it's all about Kroot. <laughs> uh, but these models, these models are great. Uh, the, yeah, I like these models a lot. I don't like big comedy um, comedy cannon. I don't, I'm not sure what, what this is about. Thunk. It looks like he's One Wiley those. Coyote and he's bought a new fucking cannon. So from... thunk. One of those. <laughs> yeah, I guess. It's so big. Uh... Oh, the others are all cool. He's got a peeper. Hey, I can see further away. Yeah, good to see new crew. I love this guy. He's pretty cool. I wish he looked a little more like bestial. I think he's too much person. Like a just a little more bestial. Well, don't worry, Tom. We've got other bestial boys. Here you go. I don't love these ones as much. They're too. I don't know. They're fucking weird. They're like guerrilla cavalry. Yeah, so are they all the same? No, uh, I, I don't know. The one with the heavy weapon on seems to be sort of slightly different proportions. Maybe not. Like Maybe just it's the Krutox heavy and these are attack Krutox. Krutox yeah. are cool. I don't know. This whole range is great. I, I hope they do more dogs. I want like, boom, pack of dogs with a yeah. guy whoosh, like charging along would be great. That would be good. Uh, yeah, I always wanted to do crew army. I remember they did a white dwarf army list. Yeah, crew we could have vulture crew and stuff yeah. like that. And you could make like muties and things. Yeah, and like all different kinds of cavalry and narlocks and all that kind of stuff. They never made models for any year to convert the whole thing. Yeah. Back when GW you used to make rules for things you could build yourself. Yeah. That was, was fun. It was great. But not anymore. But yeah, there'll be loads. Of, they've said in the article this, there's more coming. This isn't the only models. They're oh, the only cool. ones we're seeing. Um, so there'll be this box and then a couple of months later the book and all the other crew stuff will come out too oh Pretty so cool. is that like an army box mm -hmm. oh man like it is cool mm. I wonder if that's a combat patrol if that's a combat patrol I might actually pick that up because actually the, um, the new Dark Angels codex one thing I forgot to mention that is really cool there's a new Dark Angels combat patrol in Ooh. there with all the rules for it and it's an actual sensible combat patrol for once. Because I hate all the current Space Marine combat patrols. Yeah, they're generally pretty goofy. Because they're all so wackily unbalanced that it's quite a boring game. It's just like Dreadnought and three guys. Yeah, what like, do you get in the new... The new one is um, a heavy captain mm -hmm. with like power, power fist chain sword. You know that guy with the gravis armor. Um, ten intercessors. So like two squads of five bolt gun guys. Mm -hmm. Five guys with plasma guns. And three blade guard. Wow. So it's like super balanced. You've got like two normal squads, you've got a choppy hero, you've got some sh sh extra shooty heavy guys and some good melee guys. Just a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything, all your flavors. Mm. It's a very sensible way to start an army. Oh, I like that. That's very cool. Yeah, it doesn't contain any Dark Angel specific models. But I think that's fine because then anyone can buy it. Any Space Marine player can buy that. Just paint them, paint them green. Yeah. And they're Dark Angels. Mm -hmm. What else are they going to do? Like... I don't want Terminators in Combat Patrol. That would be half your points. That would suck. Lionel Johnson. <laughs> That's your Combat Patrol. It's just him. <laughs> yeah. He's probably not going to die. Uh, but I don't think he can complete no. an objective. <laughs> no. He's going to struggle. <laughs> Paint them the green, then they're salamanders. Oh, fuck. You're right. They got us in their web of logic. Oh, no. Um, what else we got? We got a new kill team. We already saw the. Um, we already saw this, didn't we? 
They're just showing us again. The new Night Lords, which look cool. They're the first Night Lord models I've ever actually liked. Yeah. They look great. Actually pretty pretty good. And then mm, the new Dark Elves. They're a bit fucking weird. I kind of like them. But they're, they are weird. Yeah. And they don't really seem super 40k. No, they look like they're from Malifaux or something. Yeah, exactly. Um, they're kind of cool. Kind of creepy. But also, it doesn't look like this is going to be a super fun team to play because they're all just fire, hand, and sword. Every single guy. What about this guy? Oh, well, yeah. Well, purple whoosh wizard wing yeah. man. Whatever that is. Um, yeah, they do seem more Age of Sigma than 40k. Don't and like this one's more whoosh, more flame. Mm, his knife's in his back. Yeah. And I prefer my kill teams to have like, this is the sniper and this is the demo guy. or You know, you know what I mean? Like yeah, each guy has like you want more going, going on. on. Whereas these are a bit wacky, but I guess they had to make them in such a way that, you know, d uh, Dark Eldari players can uh, yeah, can still put, them put these in their, their armies. I mean, we can compare them to the history of Mandrakes. Oh, I really like the old Mandrakes. There are some fucking shocking models. I really range. like the old sexy here's, boys. Here's the OGs. <laughs> Just half-naked Eldar with knives. They were cool. Look at them. <laughs> Just look at them go. It's a real bunch of bondage boys. Uh, oh, is this just an article about it? Oh, yeah. There we yeah, go. Yeah, look at them. <laughs> just, just really getting those nips out. <laughs> they sure are. <laughs> With the gimp masks on. Weird little knife guns. That's the perfect way to describe them. They're weird little knife guns. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I kind of like these guys. I think they're kind of jokes. <laughs> it's just kind of weird. Um, and then they upgraded them to these guys, which are obviously a lot more similar to the current new ones. Yeah. I think I prefer these, I'll be honest. The long hair and the fire is kind of more restrained. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Oh. Wow, are you just um, left-handist? You just hate that the other ones have their weapons in their left hands. That's the difference. Oh, you're right. Yeah, that's it. I've just so horribly off put. <laughs> you just hate. You're like, ugh, gross. <laughs> what kind of what kind of psychopath uses the wrong hand? Yeah, I like these. These look like creepy Japanese nightmare horror movie villains, whereas these ones look like the anime versions of that. Do you know yeah, what I, mean? I can kind of see that. I don't know. I kind of like them both. I'm kind of into both of them. Hmm. Uh, and then there's new Blood Angel bits, <laughs> which is a bit of a damp squib to end on. <laughs> but there you go. You can get the yourself. The spear's kind of cool for a Space Marine. Oh, yeah. You don't see that very often. And it's nice to have um, two handed weapon options because oh. that's a pain in the ass to convert. Yeah. So just having an option for a two-handed grip and you can swap the weapon for whatever you want. Hmm. That's quite nice. Very neat. Very rad. Was there a bell? Bell of Lost Souls? Uh, you know what? I didn't check. This week. Um, but I can say, the, the entire preview, all of it was a real, like... I wasn't excited about much of it, apart from the crew. I think that was probably the best. Generally, like, D-tier stuff for me. Things that just... Mm, hard to get excited about a lot of it. Uh, do you want me to take the wheel? Cause yeah. Let's go bonk. Mm. Here we go. Do we see you? I don't recognize it. Oh, who's this? It's weird. He's got a laser lance, but they're on foot. And he's got the the the, the pipe of oh, the. Oh yeah, like they're in June. The June boys. We're in a still suit. Okay. That's a weird model. I'm not sure what's going on. Kind of cool. I'm kind of into that sort of like. Yeah, like. A, that's sort of like fantasy, like Arabian yeah. sort of. 
look for Eldar, it kind of works. It works better with the mask. Yeah, with the mask is like much better. Like, mm. but doing like a little kind of um, Arabian Night style kill team. Yeah, that could be fun. Would be a pretty good, pretty good vibe. Wow, that's a big old chunky tank. Pretty chunky and pretty expensive. Yeah. Victorious. Who this? Uh, oh, these are the um, War Games Atlantic like traitor guard. Oh, uh, okay. they were like ragtag, scrubbed up weapons covered in bandages and stuff like that. They look really nice. Oh, cool. If you wanted some evil looking guard, there they are. Uh, Wandering half bards. Halfling bards. That's fun. The cheerful halfling orchestra. They all look very pretty. Mm. And. American Civil Wars. Blue, blue boys. Sure. That's a big wall. Wow, that is a That's big wall. That's a really big wall. Holy moly. That's going to be an expansive wall. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Jesus. Ooh. That's a lot of wall. Uh, or Orcsies. That's nice orc. Pretty cool. Very killy. Napoleonic civilians. Sure. The Perrys have done it again. You've done it again, Perrys. No, Papa, don't go off the wall. See you later, dickhead. <laughs> I can't wait to go to war. I can't wait to go to the war. Just hanging out with the boys. And not you and your stupid fucking hat. <laughs> but you bought me this hat, Papa. <laughs> mm, yes, that hat is fucking stupid. <laughs> Uh wow yeah love love that scene oh see oh of course I should have guessed recall us rifle jeep far obviously could have got it could have got it oof so close oof uh well we better that's it time for a break uh yeah so we gotta have a quick break but we'll be back we'll play playing some Warhammer <gasps> uh continuing in the gash we kind of fixed most of our problems last time but now we have to do the super ritual oh god and fight like some kind of big invasion one the gash is powering up okay well we can do that um mm -hmm. and we'll be reading through all of your very generous donors um all of those messages and just having a real just a real swell time mm. can't wait ace see you in five goodbye They've done it! They've done it! Are you gluing? Oh, it's going a little... Oh, it's getting a bit peely. Oh, already! Tom, 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 I'm peeling an orange. Very good. I'll click oh, yeah. the buttons. I'll, I'll wait till we're in a battle. Then I can eat my orange in peace. Okay, you click the button. Because this is my job. Uh, right. I'll do a little recap for just for chat. I remember everything. How do I change these buttons to turn down a thing? Uh, the dot. Nice. You're uh, the best. Um, right, so we've got Fraggle Rorker, who's back at home in our Twin Towers of Doom. Holy shit, the boy who came good, and when we were going to lose our capital, mm -hmm. old butler Fraggle Rorker... <laughs> With his zombie butlers. Came, came out and... He came good. He, he went from level two to level nine for his troubles. Yeah, uh, genuinely impressed. Um, I think I'm more invested in... In his story now, than yeah. actually what Nagash is up to. Should we sally forth and wipe out what's left of the Skaven usurpers? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I need to turn this down a bit, too. Okay. Uh, all right, get him, boys. We can auto that. Get crushed. Pow. Uh, we just need the money, because we are broke. Oh, he's got a Hellsteed now. Ooh, that's fun. <laughs> uh, a lovely horse. Uh, or a corpse cart. Ooh. Which do you rather? I yeah, kind of, kind of, I maybe into the corpse cart. Okay, cool. Do you want Curse of Years or Wind of Death? Uh, what other spells has he got? He's currently got leveled up, raised dead, with a bit of gazing agash. Is Curse Gashen. of Years a dot, and is Wind of Death a, a whoosh? Uh, 
Curse he is. It slows Plus him down. Debuff. Debuffs. It does damage as well, though, doesn't it? Uh, hmm. Maybe. And um, is the other one a whoosh? Uh, wind of death. Medium forward moving, strong versus multiple things. Oh, okay, well, so I think it's like a it's like a breath. Okay. I think maybe. What about magic reserves? Yeah. More mana. Yeah, it's always good, right? Cool. And we'll leave him on the cart, shall we? I think cart is fun. Ooh, should we put him a jellyfish in a jar? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Great. Why not? I think it's what <laughs> I think it's what he would have wanted. <laughs> yeah. Don't even read what it does. Just give it to him. Okay. Why not? Uh, good, good for you, Fraggle Walker. You're doing you're doing good work. Does he want to start chasing that other boy? Uh, can he take them out? He can. Well, we can win that fight. Yeah, their warlord's nearly dead. Yeah. Uh, we're, I mean, we're pretty depleted from that last fight, but sure. Uh, but it'll be okay. Keep that trainer rolling. Right. So that's Fraggle Walker in the. Oh, the capital's leveled up. Oh, but everything's so expensive. Mm. Like we can start upgrading to like getting chariots and screaming skulls, but it's. It's a long way off. Uh, well, do you want to have a click around? And I'll do a little bit of reading. Okay. That's a deal. Uh, so, Heroically Average uh, donates five bucks. Thank you very much, Heroically Average. Thank you. And they say, big beard and little beard. Have some pennies for Prosecco. I spent about 14 hours painting last Saturday, but my latest uh, squad of guard is still not ready. 14 hours on one day? Very proud of them uh, so far, though. Controversial question for you and chat. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the best crisp in the UK? Ooh. Oh, we talked about it. No, we did biscuits last week, didn't we? Mm. Okay, I've got a top three. I've got three. I, can't, I don't know how to order them, but these are the three best crisps in the UK. Okay. Okay, it is um, prawn cocktail, Walkers. Pretty good. They're up there. Um, cheesy Doritos. Are pretty, up there. It's pretty, pretty, just pretty standard, pretty solid. And Pap Walker's Max pra Paprikas. Really? They, they are the three crisps I will always buy. Ooh. See, I quite like those Walker's Max, but there's like they do like a, a a jalapeno and cheese one. Oh god, I don't think I've ever seen those. The you like they turn up in just like weirder stores. Like mm. um, before Wilco's went bust, they used to sell them there. <laughs> okay, and so would go in and pick pick those up. But they were nice because they were they were actually like kind of spicy. Mm. I was like, ooh, like after you've had three or four, you're like, I'm gonna slow down a little bit. <laughs> okay, uh, oh, that's good because I, I inhale crisps normally. Yeah, but really enjoyed that. Um, I think the the like the sweet chili sensations are some of my personal favorites. Those are. Delicious. Okay. Uh, very, very good. And I'm going to sound like a real basic bitch here, but mm. I'm a big fan of just a ready salted crisp. Wow. Like, you know, I. Wow. I just enjoy that potato y flavor. <laughs> and. I mean, it's fine. It's classic for a reason. But, you know, there's better. It's better options. I, I don't know. I think, like, but I th I'd say I rarely have like a, uh, I rarely just eat like a packet of crisps. Normally I'll have it like mm. if I'm having a sandwich, I like to have some crisps with it or something like that. And oh, okay, so it's never your main event. Then the the sandwich is the kind of the showpiece, and that's mm. just like you're you're kind of mainly having that there. Crisps on the side. Yeah. Okay, get that. Um, so I do just like a, a ready salted, a ready salted snack. Fair. I mean, that's salt and vinegar. Classic. The McCoy's salt and vinegar is probably the superior salt and vinegar. I don't really like salt and vinegar that much. Wow. It goes so well with cider. It's classic My pairing. knowledge is really? yours. Yep. Yep. What does ready salted mean? I think it's just salt ready salted made, because back in the day, you used to buy your crisps and they... We would have a little pack of salt in Yeah, you had to add the salt yourself. And then they started selling ready salted crisps. And uh, so, yeah, they came pre salted. Mm. That's it. It's very simple. Thy will be done. 
to welcome. Easy to hold. Yeah. To welcome. Okay. That's how crisps work. You now have all learned about crisps. Or potato chips. Potato chips. Uh, is a, uh, you know, what our friends, friends across the pond call it. Apparently somewhere it says that I'm retiring. Holy shit. I'm, I'm done. Fuck Shit. you all! Oh my god, you hit your millionth view and now you're set for life! Oh my god, the dream is complete. <laughs> Just shut it all down. I'm fucking out. Wow, congratulations! Oh man. You did it! I'm so. What's your secret? Uh, just, you know, um, just being f the fucking raddest dude. Wow, that'll do it. It's just really, really easy. That's what I type into YouTube. I'm like, I want to watch the raddest dude. And it's just Tom videos. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's it. You just dominate that critical search term. That's it. Wow. Well, since getting that big uh, James Workshop paycheck, <laughs> yeah. I'm basically set for life. Um, Congrats on your chief. <laughs> uh, and we agreed. I'd never say a bad thing about them again. Yeah. They're the best. They are the best. Thank and you, James then the money, the money rolls in. Hooray! Can't wait. Any minute now. <laughs> Any minute now. The, the, the check hasn't arrived yet, but <laughs> yeah. that comes in. And you're retiring. Peace. <laughs> Uh, hanky Panky Power Pistol. Uh, donate 16 bucks. Thank you very much, Hanky Panky. Wow. They say, hey, TNB, much love from Germany. Hello. Uh, been quietly squelching away in the Vodgobo pile for a while, but I always love to see you two warhammering away. Speaking of which, here's some models. Ooh. Jump me up. Kremlo says trans rights. Uh, I think Kremlo definitely agree with that. Yeah. Kremlo's. Tremlo is a chill, chill cool guy. Uh, and you've sent some pictures. Ooh, that's a cool Warhammy. Also, immediately, very based. Mmm, the most based. Uh, your Emperor's Champion conversion. They look amazing. They look really yeah. good. Shall we? I feel, I feel bad for Vod Goblins. So I am going to... Uh, I'm going to do the Streamception. Streamception. For the Vod Goblins. The Streamception. <gasps> Streamception. <laughs> Streams, we're, we're incepting our stream right now. Okay, you got to post that link again. Here, have it a couple of times. Can I get us banned for spamming? Ooh, hope so. <laughs> banned from our own channel. Yeah. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Here we go. Look at that. It's beautifully painted. The tilting shield looks amazing. Yeah. It just looks great. What a lovely space knight. Love it. Is that a... It's a blade guard standard bearer oh, with the banner replaced okay. with a sword. Oh, fuck is cool. He's got the little slapping claw. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like that. <laughs> um, cool, you got some decloaking scouts? Wow, those cloaks are painted amazingly. Yeah, that's really nicely done. God, these are like really, really good paint job. Yeah. Very sneaky. Good hexagons. I think I think those are triangles. but Well, you put enough triangles together, you get a hexagon. Well, that's true. That's how it works, look. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. You know, you're not wrong. He's pretty cool too. Another space knight. I like him. Oh no, not a Necron. Ah, that's what they deserve, Tom. Oh, but look, he's still glowing, so he'll be back. <laughs> yeah, they he'll be come back. back. He's just waiting because I think he's probably tried to stand up three or four times, and the guy's like, "Nope," <laughs> and so he's just <laughs> waiting. He's like, mm, "I'll just wait till you're gone." I'm definitely dead. <laughs> 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 Uh, what's going on? Fantastic. Fantastic work. Nice. Oh, you got like a whole army going on. This guy's got a server skull friend. Hello. Meep moop. Nice. Look at that. Ooh. You got a cruel boy. And then this big dog. I like that. Big naughty weasel. God, that, um, that base immediately looks like you're in like a Dark Souls game. Yeah, it's really got that kind of feel to it. Awesome. Oh, and the harm assist. The harm assist. <laughs> Very nice toys. This one's different to all your other ones. He's a dark angel because he's green. Always. <laughs> 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 and this guy's here too. Wow. Oh my God. So many. I've seen like five different marine chapters already. Oh, an orcsy. Nice. These these are 
phenomenal. Yeah, you've done very nice. Very nice toys. Jeez, and like the free hand and stuff. God, they're really, yeah. really, really fucking good. Oh, and a sister as well. Why not? I really like the white armor sister of battle. Mm. It's a cool look. It's hard to do, though. Yeah, I'm not so good at painting white, and so I don't think that's the one I would uh, do. No, I would avoid. Hard. Because I don't like doing hard things. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but they are like the the prettiest. Yeah, they do look great. Well done. Good job. Oh, hey, thank you. Beautiful Powerful toys. Is here in chat. You did very good. Thanks for the jungle champ. You're welcome. We did it all for you. We did, and all by ourselves. And all just Tom and Man. <laughs> We're the best. Yes, we did this. We raised mm. millions for charity. Mm -hmm. What good boys. Oh no, Imrick. More like Imprick. What? <laughs> He's just declared war on us. Oh. The dragons also, are coming. Also, is that. The fucking Grand Theogenist. Um, I made peace with him. Oh, okay. Because I just saw him like... Peace out. His army just bounced back into the Black Terror of uh, Arkan. Uh, right. What are you doing, Imric? Oh, he's just going to wreck Bitter Bay. Hmm. What's with the bad storm? Uh, it's the ill omen of Imric's coming. Oh. Let's see how this fight goes. Do you want to fight this high casualties. We could probably fight that. I think you can do it. I believe in you, Tom. We've only got one archer. But we do have two dogs, two bats. So you can probably, like... Yeah, that, that one archer's got 119 friends with him. True. And a banner. Ooh. The most important thing in the game. It's so chat. important. <laughs> Get in there, Tom. Have you died yet? We're playing undead, so everyone is dead. Dead, dead from the start? Mm-hmm. Isn't it weird how, like, Un never really caught on as a naming convention? Undead get it, but then you don't get that with anyone else. Well, how do you mean? Like, uh, you know, the dwarves could be the untools. And the elves could be the uncools. Un yeah. <laughs> I don't know, nothing else is named, like, the opposite of what it is. Uh, fire resistant. What? Oh, like, yes. Okay. Flammable. And, but it's both. It's flammable and inflammable. Mm. And unflammable? Unflammable. Yeah, I don't know. All of them. Right. What do you actually do, mate? Oh, this guy's cool, actually. Oh, wow. Is this, oh, this is the special corpse cart. He's pulled by yaks, and he's got a thing. Got a ghost guy in charge of it. That guy's pretty rare. It has regen magic aura. Causes okay. terror. It's pretty cool. Sweet. Oh, yeah, we never really looked at all of our special boys. Yeah, who are these lads? Oh, wow. Spooky ghost guards. They're pretty cool. Oh, and a swarm of ghosts. Okay. Pretty cool. Float. Oh, oh yeah, these guys just going a oh, little, wow. little bit crazy. <laughs> <laughs> They've just totally lost it. Their unfinished business is too much of it. Yeah. Let's look at our boy as well, Fraggle Walker. Oh, he's rad. <laughs> oh, the arms in the corpse cart are wriggling. I never uh, noticed that before. Uh, they're waving. They're <laughs> waving to us. <laughs> well, you have gaze. Pretty good. Uh, invocation. Nice. Wow, 10 uses of raised dead. Woof. Ow, that's a lot of zombies. That's a lot of zombies! Man, well, let's just do um, disposable unit wars. Every time they send us a tunnel rat, mm -hmm. we'll send them into a, a raised dead zombie. I am into that. Wow, we've just got no mana at all. Yeah. yeah we kind of got fucked on that. I guess the longer this battle goes, the better then. Charge it up. Attrition time. I can do a war of attrition. Uh, right, Half Blood. Thank you, Half Blood, for donating. You say, Term and Bon. Sorry I had to miss last week, but I return once more to in indulge the Games Workshop's premier Not a Brand Risk news team. 
Hope you boys have a lovely stream. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go. There's the, the unnaming convention kicking in. Not a brand risk. We're with a not a brand risk stream. Yeah. Yeah, completely. Completely fair. Oh, shit. You're going to jizz me. Oh, wow. GW has listened to us, and now the queue says the book has sold out while you're queuing. So you don't have to finish queuing for nothing. You're welcome, everybody. We did that. We did it. We fixed it. Can we make this work? Can we make this be a thing? Probably. You know how I love my bats and I've never let them die? No. Oh, what is this? Oh, we got arrows. We're still in range of our castle arrows. Pretty cool. Who's that big boy? Is that the guy on the... Oh, it's just a mutant. Oh. Okay. A lot shorter range than it says it's going to be. Kind of just want to ice their warp fire throw. Oh, can we actually just scare them a little bit? Oh, maybe. Oh no! Ah, they pinned us with warp storm. That that fucking spell. <laughs> yeah, God, it, you forget it exists because it's normally pointless. Yeah, it normally does red hot nothing. <laughs> Well, thank you, Half-Blood. You've come to the right place for the brand safe news stream. Uh, that John Cade, thank you for donating. You say, Tom, Ben, I've been running a Ghostbusters RPG campaign for, That's a, cool. for a year now. That is quite cool, actually, because it's, it's a good setting. You can just like have new adventures crop up. because you're Yeah, all like it's got a real like Monster of the Week kind of vibe. Mm. Um, I like it. Very cool. Because I've been doing it for a year now, and I've only recently decided on a matching scheme for my more human-looking minis. Other ghosts included for reference. Kermit came from space. Let's have a look. Oh, that's cool. Oh, those guys look amazing. Oh, you've really gone for, like, the spooky Victorian ghost vibe. Who is that, like... The hung lady on the left, like that's a cool model. Oh yeah, I think they're all cool models. I love the plague doctor, I love the chained up guy. Um, we'll have to have to wait till after the battle to show them on the stream. Yeah, we can get them involved. Mm. And then they've got other ghosts for reference. Oh, awesome. Oh, I'd love to play in like a role-play game where like the GM has lovely models like that. Yeah, it's like very cool. Max. Oh man, nice. You've like divided and conquered. Yeah, but my dog's got run over. Oh. My dog's got run over by bad cars. Probably oh. shouldn't be in combat. <laughs> the uh, artillery's off cooldown. Oh, nice. Oh, let's just give a little bit of friendly fire. It's mainly zombies. Yeah, it's fine. They're all 3D printed, they say. Can you spot Houdini? Oh, that's what the chained up guy is. Oh, very I like cool. that. That's cool. Oh. Is that Houdini's unfinished business? He's got to get, he's got to escape from that last trap. Has to do escape. Nice. Decisive victory, not Pyrrhic victory. Nice. That's gone way better than the auto resolve would have. The auto resolve, we lost like 450 guys or something, I don't know, something like that. Mm. Well, we lost three actual units on the auto. So. Whereas we only lost 79. Mm. Why don't I use funny models on Mystery Quest? It's because we want to do it for a podcast as well. And mm. um, so don't want to do anything with too much of a thing. Nothing too visual. Uh, 
because otherwise people will only talk about that stuff and not mm. do as much theater of the mind. Is Good no point. Is why. Oh, we stole their lunch money. It's kept us in the black. Oh, we didn't actually kill them, though. No. Can we follow up? Yeah. Here we go. Very nice. Now they die. Do it. Good job, man. That saved many of our boys so we can still fight Imric. Hooray. But the army's looking a little depleted now. True. So we might need to run back. Well, we're still in friendly territory, so you know we are going to get our heels on. Where does the where's the line? That's Bitter Bay. That's Bitter Bay. Oh shit! It's all Bitter Bay. Until I can't, oh, you can't see the line when it's both yours. There. So it's around Bitter Bay. There. That's the line. So I guess if we go back over the line, then if he takes that settlement, we'll still heal. Uh, yeah. Let's take a wind of death. <clears throat> nice. I feel like we need to do a recruitment for him. Uh, but is anything going to help us fight full stack of elves? What's he have? have? Is that actually Imric? He's not got a dragon yet. That's good. It's just on a horse. Uh, they got a nerd. I don't know. He's got one unit of dragon princes and a bunch mm. of low level. Stuff. Can we recruit heroes? Can we send someone out to have a little little peek? Ooh, peek in his it. cupboards. No, we cannot. Sadness. Uh, do you want to build a hero house? Hold down space to make province borders obvious. <laughs> it's made it like tiger print. <laughs> it's made it look weird and gross. <laughs> yeah, I hate it. I don't know. If I can. <laughs> there's more lines than. This is less clear somehow. Um, but thanks for your trying. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Okay, well, this army's not in a state to fight for a while. Yeah. Is it time to do Super Nagash Battle 5000? What is coming for us? Um, what happens? Oh, it just starts. <laughs> okay. I thought... Clicking yes. on it would bring up like a... Yes, it is time to start. <laughs> I thought it was going to bring up a menu yes. where we could be like yes or no. You know, like a quest battle. <laughs> okay. Well, we're doing it now. Uh, survive five rounds and defeat the Skaven invasion. We need to replace Nagash with a different man. This, we've got a level three guy. Should we use him instead of a level one guy? Or do we want the Servant to Lust? Also pretty cool. It's a bit sexier, isn't it? Or the Master of Hearts. Oh, kind of oh okay. So that one who actually cares about you and loves you. The, ma the Servant of Gluttony? Okay, God, these are all good. Or the Master of Sinew. Yeah, right, not Master of Sinew. <laughs> That's not doing anything for me. Servant of to Gluttony is kind of a fun vibe. Servant to Lust, pretty good. I like the horny boy. Uh, the bats. knowledge of the fourth book gets a bat swarm and skeletons are a bit better. Okay. What does Servant to Lust even do? Extra magic, extra research, Master of the Dark Arts. Loads of... So he's just no. a lot better at casting. Yeah, but he has no spells. <laughs> does he not? Does but the Vampire Lord not come with spells? Oh, he probably has Invocation of Nehek, I guess. Mm. But he will be fighting alongside um, Arcan. So it'd be good for Arcan, wouldn't it? Oh, maybe that guy then. Oh, we haven't had a vampire yet. Yeah, and he's horny. <laughs> horny vampire. Well, let's name him up. Who wants to be the horny vampire? The horny vampire. Let me see. Uh, the horny vampire can be Ace Loki. You're in. Uh, Ace Loki. Oh, caps. Yeah, like that. That's how they wanted it. <laughs> I hate it. I, I won't be able to read it properly. Mm. Um, I'm going to give him Potion of Strength, the Dawnstone, and the Earthing Rod. Sure. God, we need some more like magic weapons. Yeah, we're kind of running out. We don't have any right now. And they are oh, level one. Okie doke. Then, wow, look at that. Five, five Skaven stacks have appeared. Ooh. Oh, that one's garbage. Okay, that's a pleb. That's a pleb. 
That's no shit. That's garbage. Oh, fuck. Just come and do a mega siege. Oh, easy. I mean, should we just run out and stab one of them right now? This better be important. I mean, they'll run away, won't they? Should we just... The thing is, if we castle up, Arkan probably won't be able to help. Because they'll lock door us, right? Will they lock door us? Even if, like, four stacks go and attack Arkan, I feel like we might be able to beat that. Like, it's a lot of slaves, but they're Skaven slaves. True. They're two points a model, Ben. <laughs> they're the worst thing in the game. Ready. All right. Well, yeah, we'll just mega siege them. It'll be fine. Wow. We've got some new guards as well. I recruited a bunch of um, elite Nagash guard. Oh, great. Let's get some more. Got, um, how about unit? Uh, is heroically average. You're in. And um, we got three sword units. Uh, hanky panky power pistol. You're in. Burn half blood. You are in. And that John kid. You two are in. Perfect. Um, I'm pretty sure everyone else is named. Let's do a check before we have a mega battle. Uh, oh, we got four units of skeleton spearmen. Sure. Get them named uh, FKP for the win. And Lieutenant King. Or LT King. And Naran Lord. And Tish Potato. Welcome aboard. Okay, so we'll just leave them hanging, and I guess that's the end of our turn. Uh, so, Lieutenant King, uh, didn't he six bucks? Here, Lieutenant King. Thank you. They say, Mentors of Nidia and Ravspuro. Nice. Uh, first attempt at your Hammer or Lawhammer question. Mm -hmm. uh, was an Ogren adopted by Feral Orcs, believing it was a Pink Orc, or uh, to choose which Ogrens are made into a Bonehead, they say which ones can write their own name. Uh, right, I've definitely heard the thing about Ogrins writing their own name before, but I can't remember if that was after they have the surgery, they can then write their own name. Right. That's how smart they are. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, mm. I could believe both of them. They're sending two stacks in against what? three of our stacks. Can you not waste our fucking time? What the fuck is this? Why are you bothering? <laughs> Come on, Vomic. Should I just auto that? Would you want to shoot a thousand slaves? I do like the idea of the the mass the massacre that's gonna happen. We got our fortress as well. I upgraded the walls too. Ah, uh, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got uh horny. Lust Lord with yeah, his archers Loki. and catapults the in the castle. Way. We've got the garrison, and well, then Arkan's turning up to help too. Oh my god. But he'll come from outside. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, if they had have sent all five stacks, maybe. Just sheer weight of bodies. Why would they only send two? That's crazy. Even if they, all, they sent all five, uh, there is no way I think they could win. I think one stack would probably be able to hold against them. Mm-hmm. But seeing as we've got the the guards and another army, jeez, this is going to be embarrassing. Oh, look at that! Look at that boy! This is some like end of the world shit. We're this doing. is fucking cool. This is a cool map. Look at these idiots, though. Oh, look, there's like a fun super bridge causeway. Like big skelly sphinx. This map is rad. Look at all those pyramids. You've got a blood river, Ben. Oh, my God. This is awesome. This is what, this is the kind of shit Nagash does, you know? He builds a super fortress with a flying pyramid where he does his arcane rituals and the Skaven are like, no, no, no. No, we want the warp stone. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Stupid skelly man. 
Can uh, archers be deployed on the bridges? Undoubtedly, yes. Because that seems amazing. That seems very strong. Uh, okay, right. Well, you can do a little read. Mm. I'm actually going to sort okay. out this bar a little bit yeah, into a way sense. that I can use it in the future. Um, Naren Law. Oh, no, we didn't do the Yorham Law. I, th I love them both. I want the Ogryn to be adopted by Feralorks to be true, but my heart tells me it's the writing is true. I think it's the writing one. Like, that one sounds familiar to me. Mm. Um going to go with my gut, not with my heart. Yeah. So what's it to be, LT King? Tell us the truth. Which one did you make up? The second one is your hammer. Only the great Nork Deadog is confirmed to be able to write his own name. What? Also, he can count to four. What? So you met, that's probably where you had that half-remembered fact oh, from. Oh, old Nork. Nork, the cleverest ogre there ever was. Shit. So where did um which which story was it that the feral orcs adopted the big pink orc? Cuz he sounds cool. <laughs> yeah, I like him. Oh, I just imagine Nork trying real real hard to write Nork. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's hard. <laughs> Uh, the book is Imperial Glory. After killing a commissar, the, or the Ogryn ran away into the woods with his autocannon. Any orc who tried to take it got beaten up. <laughs> Until eventually he became one of the tribe. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> oh. Ah, uh, yeah, sorry, this is going to take a little, it's all right. little while. God, it's just a waste of time because we're going to win. But you want to do it properly. Yeah, I just don't want like too many units to get murdered. Uh, yeah, fair enough. But also, we need we need to finish this big pyramid ritual because Nagash is going to get his final form. He's going to oh. get, get rid of his little Bobo clown body and into a big a big boy. Thank you, Naren Lord, who says, Hello, Beam and team. Hello. I'm catching you for the first time since seven months because of ship duty-based shenanigans. Ship duty? God, he was like, he got uh, press ganged into working at sea. Oh, shit. Okay, wild. Wow. Yeah, I guess you just don't get good internet at sea, traditionally. No, I th like that was the problem. Like, because when they did the Battle of Trafalgar, that it was really hard for them to communicate mm. um, because the fucking Wi-Fi was so bad. Yeah, we had to flag it down mm. with flags. Uh, Flag-based Wi-Fi is just the worst. <laughs> it's so slow. <laughs> <laughs> like, just trying to download porn on that is really hard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <sighs> Guys, you can stop uh, stop atting us. I got we got the message. What's wrong? Tell you after we stream because there's nothing we can do about it right now. Uh, there you go. It's for you, Tom. As much from the devs on my latest video, I might have messed embargo dates up. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> just, uh, just give us a few minutes. Just uh, let me just. I'll just message Josh. Um. Uh, Naren Lord, thank you for donating. And you say, oh no, hold on, I missed Naren Lord's first one. Uh, seven months on ship, but they've had so they've got that many months of vods to catch up on. Uh, had to get hard to get back into painting after that time, especially with all the chaos trim. I've tried to inner edge highlighting. Additionally, all the trim work I already have. What are your opinions on inner edge highlights, especially word bearers? I think it looks cool, but mm. fuck me, even just regular edge highlighting is a pain. I can't uh. do it. I've tried. It's really hard and takes too long and I fuck it up too many times. I have to redo it a million times. So I just don't bother, but it looks awesome. And I guess if you keep practicing, you'll eventually get good at it and it won't be hard. If you've got the patience. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think so. Um, like, man, it, it's really cool and it looks great, but um, my god. What a pain. What if you made like a stencil? A shoulder pad highlighting stencil that's like silicone or something. That you put on and, and you just go, bloop, bloop, bloop. Oh my god, that is crazy. But uh, if you know you're going to be doing 50 of them. Yeah, I guess that could work. Because um, you've got to do it twice on each guy. Oh, God. So maybe that would actually be time-saving. Well, on Chaos Guys, they've, there's different shapes. Oh, you've got spikes and you've shit got in the way. all kinds of things that you've oh, got to do. Oh, yeah. Uh, right. If you, you're welcome to start this battle. I'm going to run and just take this video down. I'm okay. Do it with my phone, <laughs> just in case there's a problem. <laughs> I'll be right back. Oh. Whoa! Oh shit, Tom, your drink. Oh no. It's, oh, everything's wet. It's gone to shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. Shit. Shut it all down. <laughs> God, oh, I God. shouldn't laugh. The worst thing, the last thing you need when you're trying to sort something out is to create a new problem to sort out first. Super mess. <laughs> shit. Oh, it's all gone to shit. <laughs> oh God. So yeah, maybe maybe I've invented a huge solution for you there, Naren Lord. Maybe um, maybe edge highlighting, well, inner edge highlighting stencils are the future. I don't know. I'm sure someone else has thought of it first and found a better way of doing it. Uh, Tish Potato, thank you for donating. You say greetings, Tem and Bon, long time Vodgobo, first time viewer. Have a great evening. Kremlo came from space. Thank you, Teach Potato. Welcome. Welcome to the live show, where it doesn't get much more live than TJ having to come in and fix everything. <laughs> so many cables unplugged. <laughs> so many spilt drinks. That's how you know it's live. Oh, my God. Save the game. Lose all the units. <gasps> oh, my God. Would I, do I dare upset Tom that much? You can't save mid-game, can you? No, it would be too much of a pain in the ass. Because if I do that, Tom will have to reload and redeploy his whole army. It's more of a pain than the joke is worth. If I could save this state and then lose the battle, I absolutely would. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> it's not funny enough to justify the pain of redeploying his army. <sighs> Uh, where do we get to? Chrome. Thank you, Chrome, for donating. You say, Apostles of Kremlo, Tom and Ben. You have been banished from Earth for taking Centork too far. Where in space are you setting up shop next? The pleasure palaces of Venus? The Methan mines of Titan? Oh, my God. Spoiled for choice. Jeez. Um... Oh man, there's something about that kind of like John Carter style, like sci-fi where everything's just kind of a bit weird and sexy and doesn't make full sense. A bit like um, original Star Trek. I don't know, you tell me. What's methane? I don't know, I just read what he wrote. He wrote methane. Maybe he meant methane. Maybe it's a weird sci-fi thing he's made up. Probably the one with pleasure in the name, true. There was a Rick and Morty episode, wasn't it, where space was like that kind of weird 1930s sci-fi. Um, they had like sort of ancient Roman boat space people on all the different planets. Which one was that? Do you remember that one? Uh, the Knights of the Sun, that was it. Yeah. Um, this one. Because every planet had its own weird vibe. Is this the one? Yeah, yeah, this is definitely the one. That was a fun concept. I mean, I, 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 obviously, I, as a Dark Angels player, I love a good, like, medieval in space. I don't know why. It just kind of works, even though it makes... Literally no sense at all. It had David Mitchell in it. That's true. Whew. Hello. Hello. Is everything fixed? It's all done. Jeez, like spilling drinks. Also, the, all the codes 
in the office have changed the day. <laughs> yeah. And so I was there like, what the fuck? Uh, just slowly unraveling and losing my mind. Um, <laughs> just too many things going wrong at once. Ooh. Uh, but yeah, no, broken embargo, but it's fine. It didn't happen. It's all fixed now. It didn't happen. It definitely didn't happen. We have no video proof of it happening. <laughs> uh, Oh, God. But no, thank you for warning me. Um, yeah, I think there was a miscommunication with um, oh, me and a certain little bubble boy. Uh, uh, but it's... Is it all fixed now? Yeah, it's okay. Well, they We're actually they wanted it released on the 1st of the 24th month, not the 24th of the 1st month. That's how it goes. That American... Yeah, American-English confusion. It, just, oh. it causes so many problems. <laughs> um, but no, we're good. Very cool. What is this? Um... Oh, so uh, Chrome has donated and says we've been banished from Earth from doing too much Centaur. So where do we go next in space? Do we go to the Pleasure Palace of Venus, the methane mines of Titan, or any other things? And I went off on, on a tangent about like Victorian sci-fi, mm. like John Carter kind of thing, where you would just have those kind of things existing in the solar system. Generally just pretty horny stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think one of, the, uh, one of the sexier places, probably is where I want to go. I don't really want to go to one of the, like, horrible murder planets. No, or, the, you know, the mines. Mines always sound like a bad place to be, right? Yeah, it sounds like a lot of, a lot of manual labor. Mm. Well, there's a fair bit of manual labor on the pleasure planet, too. Yeah, but that's something I can kind of... <laughs> I can get a little more into that. I can get a bit more into... Oh, God, I love the layout of these castle walls. It's like a star fort. Like, yeah. the fire arcs are so good. Uh, actually pretty pretty well designed okay I don't know if those guys are gonna be able to shoot what are you doing invocation oh someone's said what about riser from Star Trek to be honest for a self-proclaimed pleasure planet I found riser to be real lame it's kind of boring it's like going to center parks yeah <laughs> like wasn't wasn't all that exciting <laughs> no. uh, I think there are like hornier planets that you could go to absolutely well you've got when you've got holodecks. Why can you even bother? <laughs> I guess, like, you know, it's like eating fake versions of food. Or, yeah. And then when you have the real thing, you're like, oh, it's better. I can tell it's, the difference. Mm, like, they say that you can't tell the difference. <laughs> but you can tell but the difference. That's just people who haven't had the real thing for a long time. Yeah, people who have only been on the holodeck. <laughs> yes. uh, it's probably how... How that works. God, this is just going to be a big, big old grind. Where are they going? Oh my god, if you run in certain circles, Center Parks is a pleasure planet. Ooh, I can believe that. There's yeah. like an underground ring of like horny Center Parks goers. Sounds pretty good. Like a big, uh, uh, like swingers kind of thing. Uh, they're sneaking around the backs. Yeah, they are really kind of trying to sneak around. They're attacking my gates, which honestly I kind of prefer because I can really choke point them on the gates. Yeah, you don't want them swarming over all the walls and getting it everywhere. Should we start building some like um, AOE towers further back so once they do break through you, they just get blasted? Yeah, we've got money. Which one's the, the boom tower? Magic, magic. Yes. I think I think the magic ones do AoEs, which would be better against Skaven. Explosive, explosive AP. It's just bigger. Mm. Two hundred there. I don't know, I'll see where the see where the breaches happen. They do take like a minute to be built, though. That's the thing. It's Skaven slaves. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> the most concerned. Yeah, okay, good point. Oh, come on. Oof. Give me magic. Arrows, go. <laughs> Pretty cool. Nice. Final Boss Jelly has donated 50 bucks. Wow, Final Boss Jelly. Thank you. Holy moly, thank you, Jelly. And say, hey, Tingle and Bingle. Hello. Uh, 2024 had a real rough start. And longer content like Warhammies and Mystery Quest have been great company while I'm stuck in bed. Oh, I'm glad it helped. 
Uh, keep up the good work, lads. Don't know if Skeleton Tony has anything goopy, but if not, spook me up. Goopy? Mm, goopy. Do we have any goop-based goop monsters? Nagash is quite a dry undead boy. He doesn't like the goop so much. It's like the zombies. The ghosts are a bit like gooey looking. There's like That's ectoplasm true. and shit going on there. We could get some jelly ghosts. Sorry, you're not feeling so well. Hope you, hope you feel better soon. Yeah. Thank you for your generous support. If you had to pick a, if you were a Lord of the Undead, mm -hmm. and you had to pick dry undead, wet undead, or ghost undead, or any other undead flavor you can think of, what would be your preferred minions? I think I've always had a soft spot for zombies. Mm. Um, but they are by far the stinkiest and dirtiest to have around. Well, they might not be, ghouls might be stinkier. But are they really undead? Oh, when you think about it. Yeah, that's true, they're just gross. They're just gross boys. <laughs> Who like seem to fit in better with zombies than real people. Yeah. Um, but in turn, like doing stuff with spooky ghosts is pretty cool. That's all fairly clean. Um, mm. But as you walk around your house, you are going to get like jump scared every now and then. Oh, again. God, all the time. Just like, Jesus, what the hell? God, spooky Jim. Yeah. I'm trying to have a shit. <laughs> just knock. Oh, God, I'm sorry. I know you can't knock. Fuck. And if, what if your ghosts start like getting real frisky with each other, and then they just start like popping in and out of the wall? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Some yeah. ghost ass is just like <laughs> popping through the wall. Yeah. yeah, I guess you like tell them off <laughs> as best you can. <laughs> Stop that! Stop fucking! <laughs> you're not allowed. Well, you can fuck, just don't <laughs> like poke out of your room. Just you go do six it. inches further <laughs> forward. Stop. <laughs> yeah. Poking your butt into my bedroom. You start drawing chalk lines where the walls are with <laughs> yeah. magical incantations so they can't go through the walls. Yeah, I think you probably need to do that. Uh, I only guess you're going to go for Bone Boys. I like Dusty Bone Boys. They're my fave. But I do like the ghosts too. Like, I never used to care about ghosts for Undead. I thought they were like, not very interesting. But the new Age of Sigmar ghosts are pretty nice. They've like turned me back onto ghosts again. Yeah, like. They're some of the cooler, cooler models, but... Oh my god! Get what? fucking wrecked by space arrows! Jesus! I'm pretty mean. <laughs> Jeez, that was a bad day to be a boy. Uh, okay. Oh my god, Ace Loki! Ace Loki has donated $127, Tom. Holy guacamole. Holy guacamole indeed. That's incredibly generous. Thank you so much. Very, very kind. And they say, hey, Black Orc Tom. This is horny Ace Loki here. <gasps> there they are. He's killed a whole load of rats. Wow. And that's all he did. Master of lust. He left Fuck all the all. bodies alone afterwards. Jerking off up there. <laughs> Dirty dog. They say, uh, Black Hawk Tom and Squig Hopper Gobbo Ben. Nice. I've painted a miniature this week. I wanted to show you guys. Ooh. It is my first time painting, and I did an Age of Sigmar model. Tell me what you guys think. Ooh. Age of Sigmar. Look. Sigmar. <gasps> it's an old Deathmaster snitch. Is he missing the sword? Uh, is it converted? Has he got a little growl? Or am I looking at that weird? That's his foot. He's, isn't he oh, making yeah. a little... I thought he had a sword. A poking oh. forward sword as well. Should we pause and tab out? Uh, there you go. Do this. Uh... <gasps> Streamception. There you go. It's Loki's Deathmaster Snitch. My god. If that's your first model, that's pretty It's pretty, pretty rad. rad. Better than my first model, that's for sure. You've got the goblin green base. Looking very pretty. It's classic. Very nice. Do love a Skaven. Uh, yeah, the angle does make his foot like it look like his hand. Yeah, because he stood in kind of like a weird, weird way. But he's mm. a cool old, old boy. That's an interesting choice for first Age of Sigmar model. Yeah, on a, a, a 
it, I'd say it's more like a Warhammer one because he's on mm. a square base and it's Goblin Green. Yeah, and that and model came out before Age of Sigma. Yeah. But I'm not going to complain. Ow. Oof, what was that? Wolf Lightning. Oh, classic. Jerk. Send in Ace Loki, a horny vampire at large. Is he just soloing out of the walls on his own? <laughs> He'll probably be fine against Skaven Slave. He's got such contempt for the Skaven. So he's level one, so we might actually hold off on that. Uh, what spells has he got? He's got 70 mana. He can do a heal. Okay. And he can buff himself. Uh, Yusman, thank you for donating. They say, Bill, Ben, I got an Age of Sigma Dominion box for fifty dollars at my local game store. Ooh. That's a bargain. Yeah, they massively overproduced that. It's like one of the only things that didn't sell out immediately. <laughs> Which one's Dominion? Is that the one with the cruel boys? Cruel boys, yeah. And the spear storm casts. Right. Okay. Uh, very nice. Uh, you've got your photos kind of backlit, so I can't really see the colours very clearly. Next time, get your daylight in front of the camera instead of well, no, like lined up, so it's not on the back of the models; it's on the front of the models. Kind of hard to see, but what I can see looks pretty cool. They're a bit more like bronzy. Yeah, they look gold right. and based. Very based. Oh, and there's your Huntress Prime. That's a pretty cool model. That looks ace. Thank you for sharing. Uh, also, have you heard of the RPG Die RPG? And the comic it was originally based on by Kieran Gillen. Die. D I E. No. We'll Give me the, the, the sales pitch. Yeah, what's the one sentence? Like, hook. Uh, oh, shoot. Oh, they're fleeing. Someone fled into my house? Hmm. Come ahead. <laughs> Build a tower just to shoot them. <laughs> yeah, well, I <laughs> think I built one. Oh, yeah, I built one here. Oh, nice. But it's a pretty shit-looking tower for all of this stuff around. Yeah, I would have thought they'd do something a bit more Why's impressive. It? Wait, what's that? <laughs> run, 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 run. <laughs> there's, there's just some skelly boys up there. <laughs> oh my god, there's just some kind of necromancer loving screaming skulls. Uh, just one Skaven slave. Break out. Ah, die is German for the. So it's the RPG. Surely it would be then D. Oh, well, is that got something to do with, like, word gender? Uh, Dare D and Das was the ones. Yeah, I've never really understood word gender. Uh, yeah, I don't, um... I don't remember. I don't remember the, the things. D, Bart, D! <laughs> Right. Yeah. No one who speaks German could be evil. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. God, this is such a good line. Get him, horny ace Loki. Yeah, stab him in the gut. Nice. Not too bad. Against the Gracia. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Come back here! You see, the Skaven gets plus one on its flea rolls. Yeah. So I think he's going to get away. Not if I cast a spell on myself and increase my speed by 25%. Ooh! God, he's still running the same speed. <laughs> it's not enough! Faster! Okay, he, he's never, he's never going to catch him. Boo. God, I could have given him the potion of speed as well, but I gave him the potion of strength. Shit. Fucked it up. Who knew? Um, but yeah, German for the, but it's still, you still haven't really got me 
No, that still doesn't actually mean anything, does it? Uh, D I E R P G. D R P G. There you go. That's a bit more information. Uh, ah, is it about a magic dice? Okay. Maybe. Uh, I like these guys. Rowan, Rook, and Deckard. Um, they make good, good stuff. Ooh. 20, 20 bucks for the thing. Oh, deluxe. Oh, ooh la la. Uh, oh, thank you guys for the gift subs. That's very cool. I've got, I've got no, it, like this is not an instant sell for me. I don't no. know the comic. No, they're not doing a good job of explaining what the, what it is. What's the hook on it? Is it got a cool setting? Is it got cool rules? Is it, what is it? Oh God, also, I'm not gonna lie, I don't need a 400 page rule book. Mm. Fair. Uh, what's the other game that they had? There's something else that I was like, wanted to pick up from them. Probably played some of their one page games, I imagine. Uh, yeah, what's his name? Grant H Hewitt? Oh, Spire. I was kind of thinking of getting that recently. That was one of the ones. Um, Grant Hewitt is one of Rowan, Rook, and Deckard, and that's the person who makes made Honey Heist. And oh. everyone is John, maybe? Oh, and Goblin Quest. And Goblin Quest. We played that. We did a Goblin Quest. The Witch is Dead. We did that for Christmas. We played like a bunch of their one-page rules. Uh, really, really Ooh. cool. Um, so, big fan. Big fan of them. Nice. Uh, and uh, it's just cool, cool stuff. But um, I've got no idea about uh, D or die. They say it's a 400 page book, but it's 10 pages of rules and 389 pages of random tables and art. That's pretty cool. Um, but still, big. What is it? What it like? What's the, the vibe? What's the Jumanji, apparently? It's Jumanji. Oh, that was a joke. RPG about being an RPG player who has problems in their life. I play games so to I, escape. <laughs> so I play, I play as myself. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. Look at this. Hanky Panky Power just murdered a thousand Skaven. And everyone else stood and watched them. Oh, an ace Loki. 120 kills, too. Very nice. Very good. Oh, okay, I didn't turn I up. Didn't turn up. Didn't need to. Counter generation's real easy. Well, I'll have a look. I'll have a look. Oh, Arkan's finally got his chariot. His flying manticore chariot. Ooh. Shit, so we lost Bitter Bay and Imric turned up with another army. So there's two stacks of elves there. Oopsie poopsie. I think we, uh, we run away home like a little piggy. And maybe we build the next layer of walls. Um... In Die, the role-playing game, players take on roles of authentically flawed people from the real world who gather together to play a game and are dragged into a magical realm. What are they prepared to sacrifice to escape? Mm. Impossible. No. What would you be prepared to sacrifice, Ben? You, Tom. Wow. <laughs> wow. Just had to get in there first. Because that's definitely what you were going to say. <laughs> I was not going to say that. <laughs> um, I will sacrifice Ben's three wins. <laughs> Shit. That's not again. what I'll do. Um, oh, right, I'm going to go out there and kill some Skaven because we're bankrupt. And some of these Skaven have got lunch money that we can steal. Uh, yeah, get them. Chomp. How much money do we get from just murdering a bunch of clowns? We got a lot of cash, Ooh, actually. Ooh, three and a half grand plus another half grand. Four grand. Num, 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 num. Wow. From just slaves. Oh, my God. Who was this? Feneth. Oh, with the badass knights. Feneth is a killer, but also detail. Best archer. You killed more rats than we had arrows. No, not best archer, because it's actually Banana Super King. Wow. With the 237 kills with a gold value of 273. Ooh. So 
each one of those slaves is worth like one gold. <laughs> just, just over, <laughs> just <laughs> over one gold. Hot dog, baby. Oh, wowzers! Take the bucks. Okay, this is just a pitiful attempt to stop my ritual of doom, Skavens. How dare you? Job. Give me your lunch money. He needs it. Rat catcher. Right, gotcha. right, you go back to base while Arkan keeps keeps on rolling. Ooh, oh, yikes. No, come back. Come back, Ace Loki. <laughs> Not quite strong enough on my own. There we go. Thank you. Oh, we're going to lose one unit. That's just how it goes. That's how it goes. Uh, Eldritch Nerd donates five bucks. Um, thank you very much, Eldritch Nerd. Thank you. They say Ogre and Tom and... Rattling Commissar Ben. Ooh, that's fun. What rare or unknown game systems would you like to feature on either Games Night or Mystery Quest? Mm. What would... Uh, I don't know, because the kind of games I like are not necessarily the kind of games that make good videos. Mm. You know? Fuck, there is a game I'd like to feature on Games Night. Oh, yeah. We saw it. Did we see it on a stream, or we spoke about it on the stream? It was that, um... Darkness comes. Uh... It was, a, like, the 28 mil, like, horror game, uh, where you could... Where there was, like, a sort of, like, a Jason Voorhees-type character, and, like, you had just, like, sexy teens were the Oh, people. do you mean, um, Final Girl? No, it's not that. Because afterwards, you were like, it's like Final Girl. And then uh. I looked at Final Girl, and I even bought a copy of Final Girl. And that's not even a, really a miniatures game. No, it's a board it's game a board with game. miniatures. What was that like? Uh, 80s horror slasher miniatures game. Uh, slasher? Like, there's a, like, just a cool... Someone said, is it the one from Black Sight Studios? Black Sight Studios. Don't look back. Don't look back. Uh, that's almost a word. Maybe it was this. Yeah, like, it was like a, like a small board and a... Mm. Uh, uh, like, I think they sold, like, you could buy, like, a pier and just some, like, little buildings and stuff. And, oh, yeah, and, like, there was, like, you can have <laughs> the clown one, or, like, there was just a bunch of different, like, Oh, spookies. that sounds fun. Um, I thought that could be, like, a really cool game. Like, it just could be really fun to, like, film it. I don't know, without playing it, whether no. or not it would translate, or even if there's enough going on to really turn it into a video. But the vibe is cool. Um, and the scale of it and the characters fit the idea of, like narrative battle report. Yeah, yeah. Like if you're really like getting into it, mm. um, and like doing it as like you know a Halloween yeah. special. We could do it for Halloween because it's only going to be like less than ten models to paint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, I really like the look of it, and I think part of it is also I just want to build like a little, a little campsite a little or a cabin town in or the something. woods. Especially if you're only doing like a like a three foot kind of board. Like you don't. Yeah, you don't need dense. that much. Especially because you do want open areas. Yeah. I think um, maybe could be a really cool one. Yeah, okay. I'll be well up for that. That sounds really fun. I want to do um, 7TV. Oh, yeah. 100%. Not. TV miniatures. Um, so this is like, it's 70s TV. So you have like goofy sci-fi or occult or pulp fiction. Yeah. And um, you know, it's kind of like Austin Powers or... Uh, like Thunderbirds kind of vibe. And the idea is the game is also a TV show. Mm -hmm. So you have act one, act two, act three, you have characters. And then like some of the effects that happen during the game are like, you know, oh, we've got to take that scene again because like, it didn't go right. Yeah, or, like, or like, you know, using like special effects to make the explosion happen and things like that. Exactly. I, I think it's really cool. Um, like doing like a James Bond with like henchmen in a volcano lair. Exactly. Oh, uh, would be so much fun. Oh yeah, take it easy, TJ. Yeah, have a good night, TJ. 
Uh, look, they've done some Captain Scarlet ones. Oh, done, like, amazing. Pulp World War Two. You've got like the James Bond type base with the camera crew. And the stupid little like airport car. You can do like, oh, look, there you go. That's a James Bond. Yeah, I really like the kind of the, the Bond mm. setup with like goons in like bright jumpsuits uh, with like, you know, submachine guns. <laughs> Ghost stoppers. Whoa! <laughs> Ghost stoppers! <laughs> Stopping makes me feel good. <laughs> yeah. Love that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I think this this would be really fun too. You can do some Fishmen. Oh, the Shadow great, over Innsmouth, Innsmouth scenario. You can do like a Indiana Jones thing. That looks rad. Just Callie Ma, someone. Yeah. So very tropey, very pulpy. Yeah. No idea if the rules are good or not. Never played it. But I, I love the concept, for a, especially for a battle report. Oh, 100%. Like, I think that like kind of meta take on it as well is really fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, I'm going to look into this I, at some point. I've been meaning to look into it for like six months, but we've been a bit busy. Yeah, holy shit. And there's so many other games mm. um, that you do already know are good and would work. Yeah, that... and the other thing is, no one's fucking heard of this. Yeah. So it's got no search equity at all. Like, mm. I can't just put it in the title. We're playing 7TV. Like, yeah, like people but... aren't really on the lookout, or at least it's not going to be like breaking out in such like the same way. No, it's not like doing a Warhammer or Bolt Action. Um, oh, wow, that's a cool looking board. A cool Venice board. I really like the kind of like sunken buildings. They look great. Mm. Super duper cool. <laughs> they look <laughs> awesome. Innsmouth boys. Love it. <laughs> oh, like a dick dastardly. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> kind of love that. <sighs> that's good stuff. Gaslands. Yeah, we, we've been talking about doing Gaslands for a while. Like Tom's got a lot of Gasland toys. Um, I think we'll, we just need to find a way to give it a little bit more character, I suppose. Yeah, jazz it up. Man, maybe you could do it as... Um, as wacky races. Wacky races. I think if we did little um, driver miniatures for, for the main vehicles. Oh, yeah. Just to like put on camera and be like, this guy's doing this. And add a little more so like, connection to those cars. So there is a jokes kind of fan rule set. Um that we've not played with, but it's so simple, uh, where you do have uh, characters. Those are cool kill bots. Fucking Ed 209, man. Ed 209 is great. But yeah, there's a thing where like you do have people in the cars, and like if your car wrecks... Uh, oh, the they can, driver can come out. They can come out. Um, but normally, like when you're playing the game, you play up through the gears. You play gear phase one, every, all the cars move. Gear phase two, everyone moves three, four, five, six. Mm-hmm. Um, but the people, they can only move a tiny distance in the first gear. And so they don't get a lot of chance to get out of danger. And if a car ever touches them, they're instantly killed. Oof. And so it's like, oh, God, like it is dangerous <laughs> not being in your car because right. everyone is a psychopath and more than happy to run you over. Perfect. Uh, so you've got to watch out. Those are really cool. Well, those are nice not Terminators, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, oh wow. Cool. Wonky Robocop. Like a wonky robot cop. <laughs> oh, I love the old school Cylon. He's pretty rad. By your command. Yeah, there's like just so many like if it turned out this was like a good a good system. There's so many different things you could do. Oh, the gremlins. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Flashing gremlin. <laughs> Uh, amazing. I'm not Ron Burgundy. Yeah, <laughs> Welcome exactly. to Seven TV. <laughs> oh. So yeah, there's a few things. Yeah, they've done a great, a great job. And they must be like doing well enough because they've been, mm, been doing making it for a few models years. For, it for years. Yeah. I think James Bond would be the first one, and you do it sort of halfway between Bond and Austin Powers. Yeah, exactly. I think uh, have mountain base, mm -hmm. volcano base with a giant like warhead in the middle that's going to blood burst out of the volcano. Or There's something. piranha tank, <laughs> a thing that's going <laughs> to yeah. drop people in. You've got guys rappelling down. Uh, a yeah. James Bond have a big henchman, and then uh, you know the main the main guy. I love it. Boom. Uh. 
Who's this? Oh, the flying, the flying stab man. Uh, yeah, make it more stab. More stab man. Give it another stab man cooldown power. Uh, God, we're losing two grand a turn, but we we banked thirteen grand stealing all the Skaven's lunch money. Have we completed the ritual? Oh no, we've got to last five turns. Yeah, we've got to last four more turns against this uh, horrendous onslaught. Maybe they're gonna bring more units. There might be another wave coming. Because that seems absurd. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm, I'm going to guess that they are going to start, like, the next wave is going to have clan rats and some good stuff, and then there'll be a another wave of... Yeah, you'd expect so. Storm vermin and stuff. Uh, so, Civil Boy! You don't it's 12 bucks for you, Civil Boy. Thank you. They say, Tom and Ben, just a odd gobbo, saying thanks for all the content. First time I've caught a live stream. Uh, I'm currently watching your Warhammer 2 Ickit Claw campaign. Ooh, that was a fun one. Uh, Ickit Claw, one of, I'd say one of the most fun campaigns in the game. I really enjoyed. Yeah, enjoyed yeah the, the upgrades are fun, the nukes are fun. The nuke is very strong. Mm. Uh, just all good, all the time. Yeah. All the ambushes. Are we playing as Tomb Kings? We're not playing as Tomb Kings. We're playing as Nagash, mm. who gets a lot of Tomb King units. He does. He gets a bit of Tomb Kings and a bit of Vampire Counts. But some are a little different. Um, and Our main base is up here, but we sent our army down here to go get the Black Pyramid of Nagash so that we can mm. find our final form. Because we started off as old 80s Nagash. That is beneath Shit, Imric. Imric that is beneath me. me. Quickly, Fraggle Rocker. Um, what do we recruit? What's going to be good in a siege? We just get a couple of bow boys. But I think we might get outshot. We will. But at least we'll be able to shoot them up a bit. Yeah. Uh, but the, bol are the bolt throws any good, or do they just not get to shoot over the I walls? don't think they get to do enough. Should we get some golems? Yeah, I think some more fight stuff when they actually break through the walls. Yeah. Okay, well, hopefully two turns is enough. Darkness. Three turns for the walls, unfortunately. But mm. progress is slow through the mountain. Maybe we'll get some of that built. Uh. It'll take some attrition, too. Um, we'll see. We will see. Uh, that Chihuahua. Do you know five bucks? need that Chihuahua. And they say, Chihuahua has returned from the darkness of his master's degree. Ooh. Only ready to start dying for glorious Nagesh. Uh, also, now I have time to do Warhammer again. Right. Here's some green marines. Uh, that means they're dark angels if they're green. Or scallymanders. No, not, not, never. Only, only scallies. Uh, and they do a thing. God, this cable is driving me crazy today. It's been all over you. It's been all over me. Uh, technically all based, but incomplete. Mm. Wow. We'll be the judge of that. Sounds like technically unfinished, doesn't it, to me? Uh, how are we doing? Oh, they are dark angels. <laughs> uh, well they look, done. They look great. You did your bases. You painted your mans. Oh, they look all done to me. Yeah, the base is looking very nice. Oh, these what the bottom ones haven't had their bases. Oh. Come on, that's like a 10 minute job. Oh, like just, just get it done. Waiting for the sand to dry before their bases. Right. I am also just waiting for my army to be finished as well. Mm, yes, my brand new Warhammer army. <laughs> I'm waiting to buy it and paint it and base it. And, but it's, it's basically done. Basically done. Uh, uh, guys, I'm not checking the research tab because the only thing I can research right now is um, something that will spawn an attack on us. Which I don't really want to do while we're waiting on um, on the Skavens. So just ignore that. It's not real. It can't hurt you. My master will return. Uh, can we retry the link? I gave you another link. Oh, that works. Sorry. Is that what you need? I was busy clicking on a button that didn't work. There they are. Space Marines. Space Marines. Uh, they look cool. They look, look real cool. cool. That guy's not got a backpack. I see you, sir. Other than that, they are very cool. We've done nice flamey sword effects. Uh, yeah, 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 like flaming sword. And he's got a spear. I was admiring yeah. a spear earlier. Don't see that all the time. 
but unfinished base. Mm. Time to prove. Yeah. Why can't I colonize this place? I clicky and no happens. This place I want it. It's grayed out. These worthless ashes mean nothing to me. As my lord's design. Oh, are we in range of like a, a beastman poo poo pile? Yes, we are. There's a pile of beastman shit stopping us from rebasing oh. this. Where is it though? Don't see where that's emanating from. What about jerk hole? These all seem like settled places. Huh. Well, that's annoying. Well, it doesn't look like the Skaven attack's ramping up anytime soon. Maybe I'll wait another turn or something. It seems wild. It can't speed that. Yeah. Oh, where did the elves go? They fucked off. Oh. I guess they didn't want three turns of attrition through the mountains. Fair. I don't oh. think I'd want that either. Yeah, no one wants that. Of course. But it does mean I've overcommitted my with that, with that recruitment. Well, do we go on the offensive against them? Ooh, I'm a lot less confident on the attack, that's for sure. Um, maybe. We could go forwards and then run away again. Yeah, just have a peek. We could always just take Bitter Bay out. True. Like, we may as well have the army doing something. Maybe they'll peace out. Should we send Arkham back? Maybe. Maybe the they can meet up. Hmm. Uh, so smell durian, and it's five bucks, and you smell durian. And they say, hi, too hot for Samsung Tom. Mm. And I guess we can use him if he doesn't mention Centaur's Ben. I was a good boy. I did not mention Centaur's on my Samsung stream. Oh, really? Yeah. Not even once. Well done. Thank you. I'm I guess proud. like you're with a, a crowd that doesn't really get us into Centaur's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd rather Chat mentions centaurs a lot more than we do. Yeah, chat blames us for being the horny centaur lovers, but they're there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, how does a centaur fuck? <laughs> yeah. Where's his, where's his cock? Does he have man cock or horse cock? It's just like, come on, guys. Let us explain to you again. <laughs> uh, so Smoljuran continues to say, I'm still on Baldur's Gate 3, and I'd like to check something with chat. Yeah. Uh, was anyone else reminded of Tom when they met a certain genie? Or was it just me? Ah! Uh, was that the really sexy genie that everyone talks about how cool they are and how sexy they are? Must, be, must have been. I don't know who else they could be talking about. Someone says yes. I haven't played... Someone oh, says kind of. I've never played a Baldur's Gate. Someone says he has a wheel. I know exactly what you mean, but I can't articulate it. What is this? What is this, Ben? Oh, sorry. Someone in chat has been relentlessly hassling me to check the tech tree because they think I can do a tech that I can't do a tech. And I'm sh showing them I can't tech. What about these ones? What about this one, Ben? No, I can can't do that one either. They're all grey. Can't do any grey techs. What about this one? No, I can't you do that have one. You the Von Karstein Count Hall. Not yet, no. But why can't you do this tech? <laughs> I don't know. I just I can't. I'm not allowed. What about this one? No, that will make an enemy spawn on us. What about this one? I'm already researching that one. <laughs> how about have you do this one? Oh no, I forgot. Thank you. Ben hates technology. <laughs> I do hate technology. He's true. like an Amish necromancer. Yep. Nothing before Imperial Year 1112. <laughs> this is the point. <laughs> this is the moment that we have the technology that is perfect. Uh, so Gabriel of Nottingham. Uh, it's five bucks. Are you Gabriel of Nottingham? And they say, Element Tom and Games Ben. Woo. PSA for the rule uh, the old world. Mm. The rule book is coming back in stock on the 9th, according to Element Games website. Okay. Uh, they list that as the dispatch date for the next batch of rule books. Mm. They do 500 more copies. Ooh. I might order one from them. Uh, we're not sponsored by them, but Element Games is one of my go-to shops to yeah. buy from. I usually try to buy locally when I can, but sometimes they just don't have stuff when I need it. So I will use Element Games in that instance. 
See, like, I don't really go to any of the local game stores. The only real local one is a million miles away. Mm, fair enough. Well, you no, know, you, you kind of just need to go there by car. Yeah, yeah. And, there's not really public transport there. Uh, so just don't, don't go along. Look who's back. Back again. Wow, that hat is big. Look and who's back. His extra bones are looking great. <laughs> He's got bone tentacles. He's a big boy. He's a real big boy. Sure, look, look at him. So he's finished with his big pyramid of power, and now he's Daddy Nagash. Daddy Nagash. Can we rotate him? No. What is going on with this arm? I'm not sure. It's kind of broken at the wrist. Yeah, we'll have to observe him in a battle well, to be sure. God, it's hard to know. Maybe it is his cloak. Mm. Mm. I think it is his cloak. I think the other bit is his arm. Now... The worst thing about Big Nut Daddy Nagash I've just discovered yes. is that you have to redistribute all his skill points. Oh, no. But you can unlock all the books. What does Supreme Lord of Undeath do? That makes him strong. Okay, what spells did you like? Did you like the Big Purple Death Beam? Big Purple Death Beam. It heals you and damages the enemy. Yes. Much love. Okay, we'll have that. Did you like having the, the summon knights? Yes. Okay, do you want... Two in each. Two in each. Cool. Shall I not bother with the other ones? This one makes ghouls and zombies come. And this one is like a breath weapon. Uh, what are the next tier of spells? Uh, I don't remember... Massive magical damage versus strong versus single combatant. Oh, that could be good. Just fuck up one boy. Yeah. Take one of those. Uh, the Harbringer. Summon a captain. Ooh. Oh, three. Get a, a white king, a lich priest, and a fleet captain. That's pretty cool. Do it. Yeah, that sounds fun. Okay. And then Arch Necromancer, more magic. Yeah, that's good. Arcane Conduit. Yeah. yeah. Death Magic Incarnate. Yeah. What does that even do? Uh, just a burst of life-saving hit points. Ooh, life-saving hit points. Mm. But, but our guys are undead. Uh, They're not alive. Anyone who goes under 25% health Ooh. Gets, a, gets a heal. Okay. So he's just a big healing undead aura. Sure. Uh, I worry about all these books. What do the books do? Um, the following units get bonuses. Oh, this is a lot to read. Bounce spell. You get... I'll let you work out some of that. Oh, Shall I do a bit of reading myself, then? Okay. Uh, macho Deputy. Uh, it's 10 bucks, thank you, Macho Deputy. I say, Morton Bort, I just got out of an exam on my birthday. Uh, celebrating with on. buying some models. Ooh. Jump me up. Kisses. Oh, thank you. Deputy. Congratulations on your exam, your yep. birthday exam, where they were testing to see how old you were. <laughs> Did you pass? Did you pass? I hope so. Congratulations. Right, what I'm going to do is just uh, get all the books, because that's what Nagash would do. They're his books. Yeah, he loves books. Every time we level up, I'm just going to keep going. Sure. And we'll see what happens. That sounds great. Because it's just a lot of fucking spells, mate. Like, each one does, like, a wall of text. Yeah, I wouldn't have read it. <laughs> yeah. And if you aren't going to read it, <laughs> yeah. absolutely fair. We did it. Short campaign victory complete. That was short. That was 30 turns. Jeez. <laughs> um, okay, so now, to ascend to godhood, we have to hold eight settlements of this list, where we only have, currently have three. Okay, where are... Morkheim. How is this? Okay, that's quite near our house. Sure, we can get Morkheim. So I think it's all of these places of death. Right, okay. Uh, we need Lamia, which is fine. We can that's get that. pretty close. Uh, the Awakening, that's where the pirates live. Okay. Castle Drakenhof, where vampires that's quite live. Quite an adventure to go on. <laughs> and then the ancient city of Quintex, which is where that bloody bone boy, Tomb King man lives. Remember? Oh. But he's already been killed by Marathi. The Lich. Um, Grand, uh, Hy Hierophant Katep or something. That's the one. Okay. Uh, there's 16 warpstone mines around the map. Ooh, more time. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. 
It's in there somewhere. Oh, is um. Oh, whoops. Sorry, that's no, fine. Oh wow! If we send someone here, we can recruit Luther as one of our Mortarks. Oh, that's quite fun. Mm. So we'll kill. Nice. Oh look! If we kill fifteen thousand guys, we get Krell. Krell! Let's Where's Krell? Bombing some <laughs> slaves. <laughs> right. Let's go find some Skaven to murder. Perfect. Um, we go to Castle Drakenhof. We'll get Vlad. Um, if we destroy the Cult of Sigma, we'll get Manfred back. <sighs> it's a lot of work for something we're not super excited about. Yeah. Um, build the Black Gates, which we already did, oh. which is... What is the Black Gates? Is that the level three? No, we'll never know. It just goes off the screen. Well, whatever it is, we already did it. So we can recruit Neferata. Okay. Of blood. Uh... We get plus three recruit rank wow. for our armies for having the black Pretty pyramid. good. Well, good. We've unlocked the black armor on the gash. Okay. Uh, which makes him real slow when you use it. But, but real tough. <laughs> really fucking tough. He reflects damage on him and reduces damage by 50%. Oh, uh, I feel like that sounds like a bad combo. I'd rather... Surely you don't want to reduce the damage. You want as much damage coming in for higher reflecting. Well, he only reflects 28 damage per hit. Oh. Uh, so as long as you don't reduce it below 28. Okay. And cool. I guess you're fine. Mm. Um, cool. So if he ever gets in a scrape, use that. But it also just buffs him up as well. Yeah, it's tough, tough boy. Uh, we got the first book. We got the second book. We got the third book. Sure. There's <laughs> a lot of rules in those things. Yeah. Wowzers. Okay, now he just got all of this army given to him for free. But actually, I think I'm actually going to... What are the cool things? Do you want to keep, like... Carrion Riders? Carrion Riders sound cool. Okay. Uh, Nikaharan Sourceman? It's just, I don't want another stack, because we can't afford the upkeep. Yeah. So we'd have to get rid, get rid of some of these units. Um, like we can recruit all this stuff back if we need it. Oh, there's nothing that you really want to ditch from that army. It's pretty good. Yeah. We could take Mario out of the army. Take Mario out of the army. What do you want to keep? I think... Keep the birds. Yeah. Okay, then Mario ejector seats. Nice. Then we disband this army. Yeah, sure. So, I'm sorry, Ace Loki, you're having a little sleep. But next time we need an army, you're number one. Yeah, we're just going back in the coffin. Uh, oh, do you have another Mortar? We do have another, what are they called? Morgast. Morgast, that's the one. What's this Morgast going to be called? That Morgast can be final boss jelly. Nice. Now we could dispatch these to go recruit new Mortarks. We could send one to Luther and one to Vlad. Uh, I kind of don't honestly think I care about getting those guys. If we get Luther, we get cannons. Straight away, over there! <laughs> I always loved Luther! Set sail! <laughs> uh, because I want cannons! I don't know what if we get if we get Vlad. Uh, uh, like, oh, Blood Knights or something. I don't know if maybe. I... Maybe. I don't know if I care. Okay. But I want to kill people because I want to know where Krell is. Krell. Where is Krell? Where's Krell? I want him. Okay. Uh, what do we do with Nagash now? We're not... At, the only person we're at war with right now is Imrik. Um. Well, do we... Who's around here? Do you want to go and, like, kill Scarabrand off or something like that? Or where's, like, just the next place that we need to pick up something? Just send him off on a quest. What is next? Uh, there's warpstone mines down there. What's blood in the roots? What do we get from having warpstone? Uh, we've got four at the moment. We can do our, all our rituals, take warpstone. Okay. So we need ten warpstone to get a new army allowed. But we already have one army we're not using, right. so that's not urgent. Um, I don't, I don't actually know what the other ones do. This one, this one's pretty good. Everyone gets vampire corruption. All our armies heal super fast, and we get twenty-five percent income. Ooh. That's pretty good. You kind of want to do that on cooldown, I guess. Yeah, that seems great. 
or this one, minus 75% upkeep on quite a lot of units. Spawns a free army next to Nagash. Wow. And then ghouls and skeletons get recruit rank bonuses. Oh, that sounds fun for doing like a big, big attack. Hmm. Each defeated skeleton warrior shall be replaced by ten more as an endless sea of undead marches on. That's a lot of skeletons. Uh, <laughs> the power of Nagash is immeasurable, as is his hat. <laughs> <laughs> it's very true. <laughs> what does endless tomb do? Nope, don't know. Won't tell us. No idea. Okay. Uh, so, Nuka Side! Uh, do it's 15 bucks, thank you, Nuka Side. Thank you. And they say, Hello, Thorm and Benj. Yes. I have very important question about bases. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be 3D printing my own minis, and I need to know whether the terrain on my bases should be part of the print, or if I should sculpt it onto the flat base with plaster later. Mm. Ah. I... The sculpted like terrain I've seen on bases generally doesn't look good. Doesn't mean it can't look good. It's just it often looks a bit kind of doughy because maybe people aren't putting as much care and attention into it. I don't yeah, know. I think it. I think it depends. I always prefer to just use sand and gravel and stones. I find that's generally easier. Mm. Um, also, if you're doing like a lot of stuff, you need to make sure all of the uh, the, the, the bases are different, right? If suddenly everyone is stood on the same yeah. log with a tree stump. That uh, will look weird and samey. Would look a bit a bit wacky. True. Uh, but as long as you kind of like are painting them all in the same sort of style, I think you can have some uh, 3D printed and some aren't. Just, you know, put a bit of grit on the uh, the 3D printed ones. Like a lot of the 40k miniatures, they come with like a little Kragnos rock or a thing on the base. Mm. Um, that you can still put some like sand and shit around. Good. Uh, but also, I think whatever you think looks coolest. If you're like, I love these sculpted bases. Holy shit, do that. <sighs> what did you do? You know, I forgot how um, horde armies work. Oh, by so Naga all of the buildings I put in Nagash's army yeah. were then in Ace Loki's army. And then I just disbanded him. So now Nagash has got no buildings in his in his horde. Oopsie poopsie! Can you reload? Is that a reload? Because that sounds like a fucking pain. Just a bit, doesn't it? Ugh. But the only other way around it would be to disband Nagash, wait five turns for him to become recruitable again, and then replace Ace Loki with Nagash. Yeah, do that. It's not like we're doing anything. True. Maybe not in a rush. I think it's yeah. fine. Uh, sketch this wave. Uh, it's 15 bucks. Can you sketch this wave? They say, Tom Ben and Ben Tom, I have a question for you. Mm. Do you think it would look weird to reinforce a unit of COH Steel Helm, Cities of Sigma. That's my guess. With yeah. some old Empire models. Uh, Spearmen, State Troops, Great Swords. Not sure about the scale difference. Anyway, jump me up. I imagine it'd probably be fine. Yeah, I imagine the new ones are probably a little bit bigger. Yeah. But I think 10% like variation in height is absolutely fine. Yeah, like I think you can easily get away with that. But um, I mean, I guess it just depends. Like, um, what are they called? Uh, City of Sigma. Steel Helms Height Comparison Empire. I'm sure someone's done it. Who um, are the Steel Helms? Are they just those pop boys? Yeah, the militia pop boys. Oh, look, there you go. They're not even bigger. No, if anything, they're better proportioned. Yeah. Wow, okay. Brilliant. Yeah, no, they'll fit in absolutely fine. Yeah, I think you'll be okay. Especially if you've got some spare heads and stuff that you can, like, s smash those together. Hmm. There you go. Almost any question can be solved with a five-second Google. <laughs> Very true. Yeah, and you know what? Just add a Kragnos rock if you need to. Add a little Kragnos rock. Very, very good. Yeah, I think that's absolutely fine. They're totally in the right... S like scale and style, as long as you paint them the same color scheme. Great. Easy. 
Uh, but thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Trapo uh, donates five bucks. Thank you, Trapo. They say, Castrati's Dreadnought that's had just... Castrati's Dreadnought that's just had their two lower gyroscopes removed, Tom, and GC Lacoltist, who's just realized that they got both of their third arms removed in order to infiltrate them, Ben. Ooh. Uh, have a your hammer or law hammer, and they've sent an image. I don't want to infiltrate the Castrati's. Oh, no. Sounds like bad... Bad time for me. Okay, right. Your hammer, Lord hammer. Mm -hmm. Do members of the leagues of Votan, do members of the League of Votan assigned to various border watch posts like to pass the time watching ships fall prey to the various deadly spatial anomalies that exist in the core, and will also lure ships to these anomalies if it belongs to someone that has slighted their hold? Hang on, what did? Do they, they like to watch ships fall, get killed by spatial anomalies? Okay. And lure people to spatial anomalies and let them explode? Sure. Or is there a Thousand Suns thrall band that believes after the rubric of Araman was cast, the reason none of the rubric A speak is because is not because they're dust men. It's because they have all taken a vow of silence to show their stoicism and loyalty. Right. I mean, they'd have to be fucking idiots to think that. That's boring as well. Because they are themselves Thousand Sons, right? So what, they don't know that all of the, their, their automata brothers, they think they're alive but just not talking and never take their helmets off? It's nonsense. But is there like one group of them... Who are idiots? <laughs> Not that one's boring. <laughs> yeah. The first one is kind of funny, and I can um, I can believe it as like a throwaway line. Yeah, I can totally believe that first one. If the if the thousand someone is true, I don't care. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's so just like <laughs> <laughs> doesn't count. The answer. The members of the Tzijian host all share the same mass delusion that the silence and stillness is because they've all taken a vow of silence to show their secrecy and the general stoic demeanor. This is a top of also believing that they also all died when the rubric of Araman was cast and, when, and were then reborn as avenging angels. What? Okay, like one of the crucial thing about your hammer and lawn hammer is you gotta make they gotta be fun. They gotta be <laughs> they gotta be like wow, that's a that's wild or that's really exciting. Yeah, it's a very good attempt. Oh, you almost had it though. Actually, I feel like we're being too mean. That was actually we've had that was still one of the better ones we've had from chat because quite often chat just do the old. Both are true. Yeah. <laughs> Or something has just changed so tiny. Oh, he didn't kill them with a power sword. <laughs> he killed them with a chainsaw. Oh, ha, 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 ha. I tricked this you. This entire story <laughs> you fell for. Yeah. Like, oh. Uh, yeah. But so, we've definitely had worse. But you, you got to spice it up. I, I want things where you're like, holy shit, that's fucking wild. Yeah. Not just like, sure. It, this could be true. Why not? <laughs> it, it, like, I... It could be a thing. But thank you. Thank you for your attempt. Uh, uh, Tomic Snowglobe. Donates three bucks. Thank you, Tomic Snowglobe. They say left titty and right titty. That's me. Enjoying the stream while I paint. Got another round of Age of Sigma lore hammer or your hammer Ooh, views. Ooh, cool. Turns out it's been easier making up lies than finding interesting lore. It's because Age of Sigma doesn't have lore. Uh, they, well, the, right. the, when they put out that pig model, that had more lore than all of the new Tyranid, the new Tyranid Codex had less lore in it. Oh my god, that, that one, one pig. pig. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Uh, would we like um, our options are weird items or pet trouble? Well, pet trouble sounds fun. Pigmart. <laughs> Age of Pigmart. I'd play that. Uh, I think pets. Fun pets sounds... Oh yeah, what did we rename this guy to? 
you scroll back up a bit? Was... They were called something jazzy. Uh, it was Final, Final Boss was Jelly. There. Thank you. Uh, sending it in now. Very cool. That okay. So, a slan priest, a slan star priest, uh, once threatened to level an entire city of Sigmar because someone stole its tablets and etched photos of its dead pet Stegadon. <laughs> uh, only averted when a witch hunter hunted out and returned the tablets to the slan lord. That's fun. I like uh, that. His, yeah, pictures of his old pet Stegadon returned is. to him. Uh, or a fish elf king once threatened to level an entire fire slayer hold because the fire slayer king killed and ate his favorite pet shark. But this was averted when the elf killed the dwarf's pet fire lizard and the celestant prime told them to make peace. I like that one too. <laughs> <laughs> they like, are very close to each other. <laughs> Did you read one story and, and then they were like, let me just do a <laughs> change a, all the names? <laughs> a slight variation on it. These are good, but they're they're so close. <laughs> yeah. They're so close to each other. Ben, I'm gonna also add one, and you've got to guess if this is the true one. <laughs> okay. Uh there was um a chaos champion mm. and he threatened mm. to level a, a Kislev town oh. because they killed his pet warhound. <laughs> right. But he stole their favorite bear, <laughs> yeah. the Tsar's bear. Right. And then they made peace because then the bear was gone. <laughs> So it's like uh, it's like a 1980s high school mascot stealing yeah. rival sports team mm -hmm. adventure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, so which one is the true one? I think the third one's true. Oh. I, I know what a Kislev is. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of that one. <laughs> You've fallen into my trap. Actually, they're all true. Oh, no, you tricked me. <laughs> Um, How dare you? Okay, right. The the first one's wackier. The slan with a picture of his pet Stegadon. It's kind of funny. But I think the second one, like I can imagine a, a dwarf eating a shark and the elf killing his pet lizard. <laughs> The second one sounds more true, but I want... It sounds more true, but maybe the first one, because it's more absurd. I want the first one to be true. That's, what, that's the one I want. But I feel like the slan live in spaceships now, so it's not true. I don't know enough about Age of Sigmar lore, but I'm pretty sure slan live in space, like, to be closer to Kremlo. But they're like still hanging around on Earth and doing all kinds of shit as well. You say just think about anything. Every, anything, everything. It's possible. all true. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I just, uh, I'm sticking with the third one's true. Third one. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I feel like either of them could be true. I'm gonna go with the king. Okay. Actually, no. The Steg I like the Stegadon. You go with Stegadon. I'll go with um, the shark thing. And then one of us is right. One of us is right. Very good. <laughs> um, it's just, I think, the, the, I think the, the king is the true one. But I, the slan with his pictures of his dead pet. <laughs> yeah, feels, feels more wholesome. Which one is it? Which Ans one is it? Answer is coming. Come on, third one. It's the chaos guy with the bear. The waker of trees. Loading answer. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Loading. Loading. Boom King of Nehekara. Loading. <laughs> <laughs> Downloading via flags. Oh, no. Oh, no, not the, the flag. flag system. 
404, not foul. <laughs> oh, yikes. Imrik's coming, Tom. Oh, Lord, he coming. He's got something that's like boosting him as well. Oh, he's in, right, he's in encamp stance. I mean, it's low tier stuff, but there is a dragon. Uh, and coming up behind him is just another stack. So Arkan's on his way. Mm. Um, boop, boop. Just can, do you, you want to try Fraggle Rocker in? It's got a lot of archers. It does have a lot of archers. Maybe we can do it. Well, we've got some zombies. Those zombies are getting shot. Yeah, they are. Um, do you want to wait for Arcan? Darkness comes. We're actually not allowed to go meet up with Arcan because Imric's like zone of control a idea. blocks yeah, us. What a pee! What, what a pee, pee hole! hole. Um, this is that. absurd. Soon if you think I you can, maybe. I will not humiliate myself. Maybe. Let's give it a go then. You dare. Seem very confident. Close to feet. feet. Hmm. <laughs> Your law hammer will answer is eighth in the queue. Your question is important to us. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Very oh, good. Oh, they've sent their answer as a donation. Oh, amazing. Thank you. The Slant Star Priest is true. Oh, you were right, Tom. In this case, I had the Law Hammer first and was struggling to think of a funny lie uh, that had a similar scene theme. Uh, so I could make a subject title and ran out of time. Uh, so I had to hurry the lie today. <laughs> uh, glad you liked them all next week. Oh, well, thank you very much. Oh. Very good. Oh, he wanted the picture of his pet back. Come on. It's like channeling magic. I feel like it every single time. Every time. <laughs> Ronald is not with Warhammer 3. No, Ronald hates it. <laughs> yeah. That button is just, do you want less mana? <laughs> no, yeah. Yes, I do want less <laughs> mana. Yes, please. Thank you. Uh, exactly what I was after. Oh, God, our army does feel small now. <laughs> <laughs> you made, he had a lot of big talk about this. I feel like my big talk was me going, maybe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was like, ah, let me at them. <laughs> yeah, I'll, you're right. They'll definitely kill them. It was the most low-key big talk. <laughs> I, I got this one in the bag. <laughs> uh, we do got bats and dogs, which might be really good against his uh, arrows. Yeah. If you can keep them out of, out of range for a bit. In one easy click, you can consolidate all of your mana into one easy mana. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. It's exactly how it works. Are you sick of having ma too much mana? You know what? I am sick of having too much mana. I want to get rid of it all. Sad times. Uh... Remember, the more killing, the more crawl. Ooh, I do want to crawl. Uh, who are these nerds? Imric. No, these... Oh, uh, they're um, sword infantry. Okay. They're light armor um, anti-infantry boys. Right, I just didn't really recognize them. Yeah, they came out with um, Alfarian update. Oh, okay. I don't think I played as much of that. Mm. They're not cannon. They're not in Warhammer. Yeah. They're like fan fiction. Gross. Ugh. I mean, like things I remember. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's sad, isn't it? Sticking up. Asta necromancer. At once. You could let them come to us and save up more mana. Yeah, I'm kind of. It's not like anyone's got any artillery. Oh, actually, we've got artillery. We've got off-board artillery. Oh. I might kind of wait until they're pinned down a little bit. Um, Zafrans has donated. Zafrans! Thank you, Zafrans. They say, greetings to you, no longer brand risks. I wanted to ask if you see anything 
in the odd chance of GW to have a law section for Norsica in the main rulebook. Main factions, Kislev, Cathay, and Southern Realms, also have them, but no legacy faction has it. Yeah, the legacy factions don't exist. You won't see anything about any of those factions in any of the books. They've been just like completely... Ow! Ooh! Wow! Fireball straight to the dick. Son of a bitch. Uh, but maybe there'll be like some fluff in when they do a chaos book. Oh god, don't do that. Maybe. Yeah, I suppose we'll see if the Warriors of Chaos have got more. The thing is, Nors the Norska was never really a proper faction in Old World. No. They uh, like, they didn't have their own book. Um, oof. They were just kind of a side note in the Marauders and Empire books. Yeah. Well, at least they're not shooting fireballs at the ghosts. That's true. But I don't like them shooting my, my, my main boy. What are you doing? It's just garbage. This man likes the zombies. Don't shoot me. Has Emmerich got a dragon now? He didn't before, last time I looked at him. No, he's got a pet dragon. Yeah, he's still on a horse, nerd. Yeah. It's not because ghosts are flammable, it's because ghosts are resilient to non-magical attacks. But fireballs are magical attacks. So, owie. God, we're kind of just going to have to rush this up. Yeah, they've got so many archers, you've just got to get in there. I guess if you shoot um, all to barrage at them, they'll either die or move. Piece of shit. <laughs> Oof. That was good orbital barraging, man. Killed like two thirds of that unit. Uh, H double B has donated 20 bucks. Very generous. Thank you so much, H double B. Super kind. Funny Hat Tom and Massive Pauldrons Ben. Love you loads. Tom, have you ever seen Don't Look Under the Bed? It was a DCOM, and I assume was self-sabotage for the Disney Channel to air a movie that scary on their platform. Don't look under the bed. I don't think I've ever heard of this. Hmm. Very fun and interesting ideas too. Ah. No, I've never heard of that either. No. I've... Is it like spooky kid horror, or is it grown up spookies? I don't know. Hmm. It's their job. It's fine. Oh, Is it time to release the Hounds of War? Yeah, well, they're a bit... Oh, God, they moved. Oh, it was released for kids, but Disney Channel got loads of complaints. Oh. Was it too scary? Too spooky, five me. You are getting your oh, shit. ass he, fucking blasted, my boy. He can, um, he can neheck himself for heals. He can be like, oh, the heck. What the na heck? Uh, Garviel Loken, thank you for donating. You say, plom and plem. Tiny toys are the best toys. Here is a pic of the start of my tech army for full spectrum dominance. Space Marine in pick full size. Friend of mine started playing full spectrum dominance. Like last week. What is it? It's like an epic scale sci-fi game. Um, oh. I don't know much about it yet, but he's trying to get me to get into it. Um, but fuck, man, there's so many games, so little time. So many games. But Oh, you've done a really nice job on these. They look great. You've got little tech robots, you've got little tech tanks. Tech tanks. Very nice. But yeah, you're all right. Tiny toys are the best toys.
Everyone is sad. Yeah. Oh, God. Imrik's fucking something up. Oh, he's fighting the spooky ghost cloud. Yeah, I just needed something to get in his way. Yeah, I need to check it out. It looks interesting. What is that? Full spectrum dominance. It sounds like everything I've ever heard of ever. <laughs> yeah, I, all I know is it's like a six mil scale sci fi game. I right. couldn't tell you anything. Okay. But the toys are on the screen. Oh. It, yeah, it looks like a six mil sci fi game. I've seen one of those before. On the topic of Tony Toys, have we got any advice for getting into Epic Armageddon? Just to play way back, uh, but sold all my guard off a few years ago, like a mug. Uh, yeah, um, you know, are you in the UK? There's a website called Epic UK where they do tournaments and army lists and stuff. Uh, or you can go to Tactical Command forums where all the development and battle report centered stuff goes on. If you Google Epic Armageddon Tactical Command Forum, go there. There's a load of articles about for helping new players, but you can also just just chat to all the old pros there. That's where all, they all hang out. Mm. Very clever. Oh my god, Necroman, no! Flow. Can he neck himself? No, because we have zero mana ever. Shit. Ronald, why have you forsaken us? That's fine. Let's yeah, kill the dagger on. Spooky ghosts. Fly, you fools. Uh, don't not forget. Donated 30 bucks. Oh, thank you very much. I will don't not forget. Spooky ghosts. Spooky ghosts are doomed. Oh no. Ah! Yes. Spooky ghosts are blasting off again! Their unfinished business. Has <laughs> now been finished. Has <laughs> now been done. <laughs> yeah, their unfinished business was dying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, jeez. Oh, Whoa, Dragonfire, fuck! Powie, powie, powie. Oh god. Imrik is still fucking around. God. Well, if we can just kill a bunch of his army, then it's, that, that's a thing. But the dragon's nearly dead. Yeah, he fucked oh, off. I was shooting him with my bows. Oh, God, Imrik's coming for that corpse cart. <laughs> Bonk. Uh, don't not forget, says Tom and Ben, gorilla guy here. Ben. Shatterpoint are coming out with SWP27, SWP21, and SWP29. What? What, are you, what is that? <laughs> no fucking idea. What are you talking about? <laughs> Not SWP29. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> uh, squad names are too long. Have to use product codes. <laughs> What is SWP29? <laughs> is that Ewoks? I don't know. We'll Google it after this battle. Uh, if you wanted to do a Moon of Endor games night, Tom, any Dusk City Outlaws for Mystery Quest? Loving games night and Mystery Quest. Ah, come ah. I've heard the name Dusk City Outlaws, but I've not played it. Is it good? All right. Don't know. I've heard that name before. I've heard people talk about it. I don't know what it is. We'll have to Google both those things after this battle. That's a lot of Googling. Double Googs. That's a double Goog. <laughs> <laughs> Why is mana shit? We, that's <laughs> so little mana. I literally cost like three spells that entire game. Fuck. And none of them were heals. God, Imrik is a bit of a prick. Yeah. That's why he's called that. It's a renaissance heist game. Apparently uh, Mark Humes did it. Oh! That might be where we've heard it. That might be why I heard of it. Is it time for Fraggle Walker, the, the, the castle butler, to get the fuck out? Go home. Maybe. He moves very slowly, Ben. <laughs> He's got six zombies pulling him along. 
direction. I think it's uh, four zombies. Oh no, that's a lot of pulling. I move swift. Shit, we're so close. I feel like there's one or two more units and we've got this. Like these boys. Oh. He doesn't have a good answer for the them. scythers. I guess, yeah, all of his infantry just kind of light infantry now. And he's kind of running out of arrows. But if, as long as we can live... Do you think he's just going to run out of juice? They might run out of juice. Okay. Sounds promising. But fighting Imbrick's going to be the worst, isn't it? Where's our corpse cart? Because it doesn't have a regen aura. Okay, good. As long as, long as it's in the middle, yeah. that's fine. Yeah. A Thordak Tinder Keg has donated. Hail. Titanium and Berry Linenum. Would you rather own a dog with human hands instead of feet or a cat with a human face instead of a cat face? Got the dog. Easily the dog. The dog feels like a weird little cute dog boy who's a bit weird. The cat is a fucking monster. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I don't I mean? think I want that little human face <laughs> looking up at me. <laughs> no. it, does it still just meow at you? That sounds like nightmare. Food. And it licks its own ass. <laughs> not what I want. <laughs> that cat is awful. Definitely not that. It's a crime against humanity. Anything but that. <laughs> That's horrendous. Whereas, yeah, dog with with hands for feet. It's fine. like it's annoying because he's gonna open cupboards and jack jars <laughs> and shit like that. Start climbing around. And oh god, it is, you're gonna have to dog proof your house. Uh, it's gonna get, just be like snuffling about into everything. Yeah, not so good. <laughs> but grand scheme of things, it's better than the, your demon child. <laughs> Chat says, it doesn't meow, but it does just say meow. <laughs> meow. <laughs> That's kind of fun. Okay, I'm kind of a little bit more on board. Meow. Meow. It's like, oh, God, mittens, I hate you. <laughs> wow, we're doing You're doing it, Tom. I was going to say we, but I take no credit for this. You're doing it. Chase those guys down. These skeletons. Oh. Them. They're oh, doing they great, but they're so sad for morale. They're crumbling. <laughs> Squidoo sums it up as the dog is a practical menace, but the cat is a psychological horror. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That is a very good way to put it. Good summary. <laughs> Buttery says, but whose face is on it? Because if it's Elon Musk, no. But if it's Danny DeVito, yes. <laughs> Even then, I don't know if I want little <laughs> Danny DeVito cat. <laughs> oh, the guys oh. crumbled. Oh, crumple stilt skins. Crumple stilt skins indeed. Come on, guys, you got two corpse carts cheering you on. Yeah. <laughs> you can do it. Like we will send send one of the spooky corpse carts in. Yeah, the full health one, why not? Charge bonus. Get him, Gildenstein. Hurrah! Hooray! You did it! I kind of want to see if we can actually kill him because mm. Pleb Elf Lord will be a fraction as, as a bigger pain as. Yeah. Oh, one of your guys is sundering his armor. That's oh, huge. So then all your other plebs can just shank him with his sundered armor on. Nice. Very good. Just as James Workshop intended. <laughs> See you later, Imrick. Oh, he's probably going to break out. Oh, but he's very low. Do you want to just having very low Imrick is also good? Because the next battle, like, yeah, charge all you want, Imrick. Oh, wow, you got him. Yay. Job. 
Sweet. Pyrrhic victory. I'll take it. Yeah, now we uh, get to roll the dice to see who comes back and who's dead forever. Fucking arrow boys. Not so cool. Oof. So what were we Googling? Uh, SWP27. So is this the two different units of Ewoks and uh, Stormtroopers? I'm not going to lie. Oh, I'm, I'm pretty considering cool. picking these guys up. Yeah, I mean, in that in, um, larger scale as well, it's even better, isn't it? I think it's cool. I think it'll be like a fun project, and I don't think it'll take very long to actually paint them. Oh, and that's the Stormtrooper pack. God, Vader's cape looks kind of weird like that, but the Stormtroopers look great. Uh, and 29. Yeah, to be honest, I've just been kind of... Um, I've been kind of ignoring Shatterpoint until they do... Nope. You gave us the wrong code. Wrong code. How could you? When do you say it was released? Oh, 39. You wrote 29. You wrote 29. Yup nub squad pack. Yup nub. Oh, uh, look at them. It is yup nub. Ba 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 ba. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. Like you want to gun down some Ewoks with some stormtroopers? Absolutely. Oh my. Oh my. Ooh. How could you? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Amazing. We're gonna yeah, need like, some like other stormtroopers though. Do they? What other packs are they bringing out for it? Um, like, can you get a speeder bike or some scout troopers? Or oh, something? you really want a speeder bike. Um, I don't know if it'd work at that scale because you'd zip across the board a bit quickly. I think you might want to put shatter point in there as well. Oh, oh I thought I did. Uh, that just looks like a um, Legion. Legion one. But what are the Shatterpoint sets are they doing for the original trilogy? I don't know. Okay, I have the door kicking stormtroopers. Okay. Like a Vado. Uh, I think it's just these guys for now. God, I, stormtroopers are rad, but I kind of hate that Vader pose. I think I'd probably end up printing one instead. Mm. Oh, I guess it's like pretty easy to do. Hmm. Hmm. What other Empire guys have they got? Star Wars Shatterpoint. Empire. Uh, nothing yet. Oh, they get done Moff Gideon and his Robo-Men. Yeah. Uh, that's a better Darth Vader. Oh, you got the, what are they called? Inferno Squad. Oh, cool. They're kind of fun. You get the little beep boop. Beep boop. Friend. A little probe. <gasps> the helicopter men are here. Hate them. <laughs> Can they do the helicopter move? <laughs> Probably. It's just so boop, 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 boop. Oh, like it is cool. There's a lot of toys. A lot of toys I want. It doesn't help that I haven't watched The Clone Wars, so like 90% of the characters, I just don't know who they are. I think that's it. Like, I don't really care about any of The Clone Wars stuff, but, you know, Yub Nubs. Yub Nubs are cool. That's fun. But there's literally not enough Empire models to play a game against the Yub Nubs. Shit. Because you can't just take Darth Vader three times. <laughs> Sounds pretty strong. <laughs> yeah. Like... Yeah. Well, they'll be bringing some more stuff out. There's bound to be, um, you know. Yeah, they will. Yeah, up. give it another six months or a year or whenever. Mm. Give it a go. Mm. Right, who did we lose? Uh, sadly, Boarbound got fucking wrecked. We watched that happen. Um, Thought Act Tinder King is down, but Musical Hammer got rezzed. Nice. As did Red and Wine, but Ov was defeated. Ov was the best zombie as well. 
Uh, oh, yeah. Died a hero. We respect you, of. <laughs> Atomic Snowglow came back. Smeldurian came back. But the most successful archer of all, Skeleton Archers. Oh, the heroes. Dead the forever. heroes. <laughs> they always get killed. It's true. I said both bats came back. Good job. Oh, wow. Arch came back. Tasty Taco did not. The Rip. better dog. The best dog of all. <laughs> Shit. You die a hero or you come back to have another chance at being a hero. Mm. That's how it goes. The bats were just... <laughs> oh, God. What? They came back because they didn't do well enough. They distracted archers for a bit, but they just had to, like, charge in. They bought some time, but then they got, like, just mobbed by loads of people. It was like, yeah, Fair enough. Uh, the Bone Golems came back, and uh, Guildenstern did absolute work. Yeah, it was great. But who was the MVP? Was Bot, bot Minion. Ben's Bot Minion and Numi. Yeah. Absolutely caned. Job. Right. Uh, I guess we take the money because we're still in debt. That's only a thousand bucks to turn in. Nice. Uh, cheerful Owl! Uh, donates 15 bucks, the Cheerful Owl. Thank you. There's a term and bomb. If you were to choose an animal to swap your bottom half, centaur style, um, and another animal for your head, minotaur style, and your arms, harpy style, <laughs> what? what would the best and worst choices be? Okay, like... Sl like slug bottom, because mm -hmm. that's got just so I feel only weaknesses. Uh, no, well it's very stable. You're not falling over, and you can go up vertically up things. I don't know. I don't know if you're going to have the strength, because they need that whole body to be that <laughs> foot to be able to do that. But suddenly now that you've already got the centaur bottom bit. I don't know if you're going to have but enough to... The centaur horse is strong enough to carry the human body on top of it. You just increase it in size proportionally until it is... It's not very fast. <laughs> it's not very fast. And it also does not want to touch salt. Yeah, exactly. Don't go to Super Utah. Bad. Salt <laughs> is delicious as well. Yeah. Um, Ooh, T-Rex arms. They're pretty <laughs> bad. Or even just like centipede arms. You just got two stabbers, just two horrible. Oh god, little pincers. And whale head, pretty awful. Wow. <laughs> Why are you ruining this? Like a like a um like a like a manta ray. Oh god. Because those things have got fucked up weird like. Their head is just like in their body, <laughs> yeah. and so try and try and work that out. Yeah, good luck, artists. And the best combo, oh god, I imagine you know like you know ape ape arms, strong. Proud son ape legs, <laughs> ape head, <laughs> just ape, all ape. And you're just an ape, just with a man's torso. <laughs> right, perfect. <laughs> But I think that I think you'd be able to live your life most comfortably like that. You're just a bit hairier. Yeah. Okay. That that works. Oh, Scott Brown's getting funny ideas. Polar bear head. Maybe polar bear head, but you wouldn't be able to talk. More. More. The proboscis monkey head. Are they the ones with the big the? Big nose. The, the real big nose. Because they're kind of funny looking. I like those guys. They're pretty cool. Okay, I like I like those guys. Baboon bottom for the ass. Very good point. Ooh, yeah, you gotta have that bright red. That's ass. great. Absolutely. Cause you get a good butt. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. You did well in battle. I'll be proud of you. Yes. Very proud. We're proud of all Very our soldiers. Good, good job. Uh, but I feel like we've got into the bottom of that. <laughs> the turtle's ass, so you can breathe with it. <laughs> I forgot they could breathe through their ass. Interesting. 
Mantis shrimp arms. Oh, I guess you get like a pretty good punch. Hmm. Pretty good at hitting. A rebellion? What the hell? Oh yeah, that's the little the little town down the road from the place we can never settle again. Oh. Because of the big beastman poo pile. So we're just gonna lose this place too. Oh. There's nothing really we can do about that. Other than like, send an army over there, I guess, but kinda of busy. Um, so I want to go attack these Wood Elves, but they've got a stack and a half plus a garrison, so I don't Ugh. think one stack's going to do it. No, that looks like absolute hell. Unless um, uh, Nagash turns up, which we've got to wait a couple more turns for. Oh, uh, maybe. Even then, God, we're going to get shot to shit. God, I fucking hate Elves. <laughs> Ugh. They are kind of the worst, huh? Uh, Yonky Wonky and it's three bucks. Yonky Wonky. They say, hello, John and Richard. Glad to be able to tune in to my favorite knitting stream. Hang on, what? If you were the Lost Primarchs, what would your chapters be like? Uh... Mm. Well, we were going to be the, um, the Distracto Brothers. We were going to be the two missing Primarchs who started off the Great Crusade, mm -hmm. immediately saw something vaguely interesting and shot off in search of that and left the galaxy yeah. and never returned. And we don't talk about them because... Uh, it's just a bit awkward. <laughs> a bit awkward. The Emperor doesn't really know what happened. They just saw something shiny and went off and got distracted. Just zoomed, and zoomed away. We kind of forgot what we were supposed to be doing. Yeah. I think that makes sense. Uh, so since yeah. I went raiding, we've... We're losing more money than we were before. Submit to your oh. king. Yeah. That's weird. Is someone raiding us? No, it turns out being in our own territory has a uh, upkeep reduction My that is greater than the benefit of raiding. Oh, uh, or well, do you have like a guy who's like plus 25% to local income from the mines or something? Like one of those hidden... Oh, uh, yeah, I just fucked it. I just left Kasabar and leaving this territory like increased my upkeep by like 500. Ooh, expensive. Uh, don't really know why. Shit. Uh, Velocibaptor, who's 12 bucks? You Velocibaptor. They say, hello, Chief Elf Haters, Tom and Ben. We were literally just talking about how much we hate elves. True. Uh, I'm moving house and looking forward to creating a proper space for making Warhammer. Mm. Uh, any recommendations on creating a good modeling space? Resurrect me up, please. Kremlo is space. Uh, I would recommend get yourself a nice big mat, like a cutting mat. Uh, I, that's what I use. And a good lamp. Uh, you can get like. I like having. I've got a like light arch. Oh. That I find quite useful. Oh really? I've got like a big long light on an arm. Mm. Uh, with like a like a daylight bulb okay. that you can change its luminosity. Ooh. It's very very good. Nice. Um, I like the arch because you don't get shadows. Mm. It's always pointing, as long as you're holding the model like under the arch. It's always lit from every direction. Wow. Yeah. It's pretty good. Uh, also, found I bought a bunch on Amazon of uh, nail varnish stands. I think someone had uh, spoken about it. Yeah, because they're good paint racks, right? Yeah, they're like just clear plastic. Like, they're just made of acrylic. But if you were to buy, um, like, wooden paint stands, mm -hmm. kind of expensive, mm. whereas for very cheap nail varnish stands, um, which, they're, they're basically the same thing. Mm. Uh, they were, like, just a couple of bucks each and just have those with all of my paints. You can see all of the colors all the time. Nice. Is really, really good. Uh, wow. I kind of think that's, like, the, the core things you need. Have a pot to store your brushes upright, not mm -hmm. with the, the bristles down. Yep, that's and more. It. Have a pot for water. No. That's all you need. It's kind of it. Yeah. And just have it easily accessible so that when it's time to paint, you're not messing around getting stuff out. Leave like the four paints you're currently using like 
right next to yeah, all the models. Yeah, like put all the others away and mm -hmm. just get the ones out that you need. Or if you're doing mm -hmm. like a project, just having like that little pile of paints together is like so much easier. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, but good luck. Good luck setting up your space. <gasps> Imric comes. This time he brought silver helms with Gross. him. Gross. Man, I'd always take that Pyrrhic victory. That looks like a nightmare to fight. <laughs> I'd trade that person's life for a Pyrrhic victory every day of the Well, these guys are anti large, so they're pretty good against killing all those light. Oh, uh, okay. But just those are, that just looks like a horrible fight. All right. Sorry, Skelly friend. I sacrifice you. We lost Leokhan. Wow. Oh, my God. Fenneth. Fenth. You killed Shit. 800 elves. Shit the bed. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Pretty good. Holy moly. Pretty good. We'll save some elves for the rest of us. More bodies for Krell. Wow. Oh, yeah. blood, <laughs> blood for the Krell god? Blood for the Krell god. Krells for his Krell oh, throw. <laughs> wow. What is our Krell score at? Uh, we'll have to wait. It's our turn, I guess. Like a third of the way. Have we killed? Oh, the rebels are here. And they beat us. Yeah, there's nothing we can do about that. Uh, and you can cheese them. Can you cheese them in a corner? They don't have. They've got like four times the skellies. But we do have bone golems, wraiths, and archers. There's so many of them, and they're all high rank. I'll, keep, I'll fast forward the whole thing, but I kind of just want to see like if it could be cheesed. <laughs> sure. Just if you can I mean, break if, it. If you can keep, get the wraiths in with other units guarding their flanks so they don't tank their morale, the wraiths will not die. They will choose through like four units. Mm. Or they'll hold his lord up, because his lord shouldn't have a magic weapon. Yeah, because he would be a little, little pleb boy. Mm. I just wonder if you can, dude. <laughs> Ben's bot says, every single person has a tiny piece of Krell in them. That's why you need to kill 150,000 people. Oh, that makes sense. Recover the shards of Krell. Uh, Prim boss, Prism boss, sorry, has donated. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you very much. And they say, Tom Ben, the Goboy Parlor is a very odd place. While I was in there, I found this limerick for your face. Please put my name on some shit. Talk centaurs for a bit. And remember, Kemlo came from space. What a lovely, what a lovely little limerick. You don't hear so many limericks these days. What <sighs> happened to limericks? Yeah, they kind of went out of fashion, right? Mm. Maybe that's going to be the next TikTok trend. Limericks. Limericks. Because all the old stuff's coming back, you know? Fashion and coolness is a cycle. So people even have mullets now. That's true. Everything comes back eventually. So that's that's it. Because that would fit perfectly on TikTok. Short little nonsense that's mildly amusing. I bet there's people already trying, and I bet they're shit. <laughs> I bet well, they're kind who's of the biggest limerick TikToker? Someone in chat must know. What if they're just uh, like a very hot, scantily clad woman doing I mean, limericks? Do. I think they'll probably do pretty well. <laughs> but people aren't there for the limericks, Ben. <laughs> Limerick talk. Nice. <laughs> fucking lame. <laughs> That's a lot of skellies. There's a lot of skellies. Maybe it's too many. Maybe I've expanded my frontage too much. Yeah. Get those bone boys in. <sighs> Fluffy McCuddlebottoms. 
the 14th has donated. They say, hello, Tim and Brad. Hello. Centaurs have two rib cages. Yeah. That's correct. Yeah. They also have two arms and four legs, which makes them a six-limbed, so maybe a Tyranid. I see you have seen a centaur. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you know centaur is like half horse? Mmm. Does that mean they have two hearts and four lungs? When you think about it, Ben, probably. <laughs> so basically, Doctor Who is a centaur. Does he have two hearts and four lungs? He definitely has two hearts. Yeah. The, the lungs don't come up so often. For loving. One for space and one for time. Right, that makes sense. We only have space heart. Oh, not time heart. Mm -hmm. but aren't we moving through time right now, Ben? No, we cannot. Are we not very slowly time traveling? Oh my god, every second. Every we time second. travel one second into the future. Yeah. I kind of thought that we'd maybe turn a flank a bit faster, but... There's so many of them. There's just so many boys. Uh, Scuffler! Scuffler's donated 10 bucks. Thank you, Scuffler. And they say, Tom Ben, I've been playing this on the side of yours. The other research options for places are a bit harsh. Fun as heck mod, though. Been a crazy ride. You picked a good one. Also, selling my, like, 22-year-old models to see if someone wants off the old basement. That's a good point. If you've got an old Warhammer army... Oh, now it's like prime time for getting rid of it. You could make absolute bank. Sell it for three times what you bought it for. That's what GW yeah. are trying to do. They went into their basement. <laughs> and just dug out some old shit. <laughs> the wraiths aren't wraithing up a storm, are they? Yeah, I thought they'd be a little bit better. Are they like, are oh, they armor piercing? So I guess they're not like fighting their optimal target. Yeah, unfortunately. Oh god, my boys are beginning to crumble. Oh god, if you kill enough of these skellies, they're gonna get fucking you sharp to you as well. Oh. Because they're Tomb Kings. Is that maybe how that works? They've already been kind of glowing green every now and again. Oh shoot. Yeah, my boys, my boys have crumbled. Uh, oh, worth a try, though. You're very brave. Okay. Well, it's like another thousand boys for the thing. It's like half the army's dead. Hmm. It's probably better than the auto would have done. We killed more than we... Oh, before. every skelly killed at least one of theirs before going down. Yeah, and five of them were feeling extra jazzy. <laughs> killed, killed one more. <laughs> Good job, skelly men. Nice. So now we're losing three grand a turn? Ooh, why? Oh, we've um, summoned Neferata to her legion, to our legion. Oh. Um, Who's this, like, seductress? <gasps> She's from the book, Genevieve Undead. Genevieve Dudon. Legendary Wandering Vampire. Um, oh, is it because she's like a new army? Yeah, we've got a new army and a new hero that's kind of like fucked our economy. The econ. So Genevieve. <gasps> do you remember that? I never read it, but I remember it being a novel that existed. No, I don't know. Oh my god. She can wear the Helm of Discord. I really like the sort of... the the. The wedding dress undead look. It's pretty cool. I'm a, it's very iconic. Um, especially like, you know, they're pale with a, like a splash of blood on it as well. It's a great vibe. I'm yeah. A, as like a spooky, spooky thing. It's a classic. Always looks good. Especially like when contrast with like, you know, the spooky, dirty castles. 
gross zombies, uh, things like that. Having like something that's quite like clean and picturesque. Mm -hmm. Real good. Big fan. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh, Drakenfels. Do you remember this book? I didn't read it. That's her. I didn't read it. I just remember it existing. People liked it. Apparently, it was good. Um, trying to remember anything about it, but I absolutely can't. I'm pretty sure there was a guy in this book who then turned back up again at the end times, and everyone was like, who the fuck is this? And then GW was like, it was in that book 20 years ago. Do you I remember, remember her? her? Wow, they did like a... Is that like the Japanese version? <laughs> I guess. Wow. Uh, but look, one of her skills, Distinguished Lady, the army she joins doesn't cause diplomatic penalties. That's fucking cool. That's a brilliant power. Oh, because to be able to go and get um, get fucking Drakenfell Castle, whatever it's called, mm. and go to some of those places where we just need to send an army up, knock on the door, beat the shit out of them, and then just leave. Mm. Uh Ah, oh, look at this. She's got all these diplomacy skills. Ooh. Plus 15 diplomacy with humans. Debutant. Then gain plus 15 relations for just, like, turning up in their territory. Oh. Uh, honeyed words. Every time you take an action against them, you gain more rep. Oh my god. So is she, uh, like, just a hero? Yeah. She's cool. This is, like, I wish there was more stuff like this. That's, like, yeah. a really fun... What a fun mechanic. Like, way to play the diplomacy game with factions with it normally. You're just gonna... You just can't do diplomacy. War with. That's, that's great. Yeah. Uh, if you get 80 or more vampiric corruption in her territory, then you get plus 10% XP and replenishment for all units in the army. Ooh. Uh... Peace broker. Uh, just more, more rep. Just growth, income, recruit rank, control. Oh, you can build her in a million different ways. Wow, this Blemish is a cool hero. I like it. Corruption, her. damage buildings. Cool. Doom of the Enchanter. <laughs> Everyone's immune to psychology. Great. My undead army, famously scared. Conceal bombs! <laughs> sure. Okay. I guess that's the thing she did in the book. Cool, uh, she's fun. Uh, right, here's... Why is Neferata all the way up here? I'm sorry, I'm just immediately... Just... Just, just killing this whole army off. Do not care. Um, we're quite close to Castle Drakenhof. But we're sending a, someone there anyway. Yeah. Fuck it. Can't afford the upkeep. Get out of here. And oh, unless we want to settle the silver pinnacle. Uh, There's there a diamond mine. Skaven's there. Oh, maybe it's worth trying. Undeath ascendant. We could settle it first and then do it. Kill her. Who wishes the red kiss? Oh, God, it's expensive. Um, no. I'll afford it for a turn. Yeah, should we kill off her army first? Ready. You might need to, if you get rid of her, how much does that actually save you? What's 300 this? a turn. But do we have the I, increase? I don't think we get it for this faction because we have limited armies. Right, okay. Uh, okay, well, yeah, maybe that's fine. Um, we can always recruit more if we need to later. Sure. Should we have a look at her? Oh, I thought she'd be on a dragon or something. Oh, she's on a... Oh, she's on a horse. She's got the Staff of Pain. Dagger. Hmm. Cool. What does being the Mortark of Blood mean? Blood! Plus all vampires. 80 rep with all vampires. Wow. Okay, we can probably confederate with the one that means pretty soon. Oh, that sounds like a fun way just to get some money. Yeah. Just confederate, destroy all their armies. Hopefully that just brings in some cash. Take all their territory. God, this is a lot. <laughs> There's so much stuff Fucking going on. Stuff. Well, you can have a little look. Uh, Finn or Flynn? Uh, the next six bucks, I think Finn or Flynn. I say Terminbon. 
your non-stop praise of Games Workshop has dragged me back into it as an adult. So here are my tree boys. Tree boys. Tree boys. <laughs> uh, watching you also caused my wife to get into lizard men, Ooh. which she wants to make Hawaiian themed. Nice. Kremlo came with coconut daiquiris. Oh man, I think Kremlo would happily drink a coconut daiquiri. Oh, definitely. Uh, it will be a we'll post the thing. Do you want to stream snipe us? Um, these guys look incredibly good. Oh wow, that's an awesome looking army. Oh, your bases look fantastic. Man, I really, really like the like the. Autumn the autumn theme. base, mm. but with the high contrast of the blue, like yeah. blue and orange, great combo. Exactly, and but it also fits the ghostly, like the ghosts coming out of the trees are blue. They would yeah. be blue. That would be, works really well. Super nice. That's a great, great color scheme. I love your big bug. The big bug. I didn't. I wasn't. Didn't even know that model's out yet. I thought that was mm. gonna be out. Yeah, it was out a while ago. Before Christmas. Yeah, like I remember seeing the picture. And was just... Yeah, that's a beautiful army. Very cool, very pretty. Mm. Um, I think it's just some close-ups of boys. Yeah, they just look great. Yeah, that's awesome. Really good job. Nope. Nope. And then um, a puffin. Just a puffin. Just a lovely puffin. He painted a very realistic puffin. Wow. Well done. Big bugulon, yeah. looking red, like super cool. Oh, great detail, great highlighting. Just beautiful toys. Little bee's nest. I like the little, the little sprites. Mm. Got to see her, and I just remember Dracula in Total War. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> just God. relentless. Just cool your jets for one second. Just giving me flashbacks. Oh. That's cool. These models still hold up pretty well. They do totally work. Yeah. Pew pew pew. I see. I do really like the. The tree sprite army. Mm. I know they're elves, but... They're not really elves, though, are they? They're just a little bit weirder. Although I'm not sure if I'm in love with these bugs. Mm, no, I know what you mean. They're not my favourites. But still very nicely... Oh, you got some, some scenery, too. Oh, cool. Is that, like, special... You do a thing? Summoning circles or something? Mm. I don't know. But yeah, farming's great. Very, very, very cool. good. Very well done. Thank you, Finn. Finn Arflin. And Tasty Taco donates three bucks. They say, hi. Just wanted to say you guys are great. Mystery Quest and Games Live episodes are the best content that the Yogs produce, in my opinion. Hooray! I hope you keep featuring on each other's channels. Would love to see some Call of Cthulhu with Ben, a smiley face. Oh. I think I'll probably be something like that happening at, at some point. Yeah. Um, although we're doing Call of Cthulhu at the moment, so we're probably going to need to take a break from Call mm. of Cthulhu. Um, there's so many other games to play. So many games. And so little time. We have to play them all before we die, or we come back as a ghost. Exactly. Unfinished business. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Um, but there'll be... Yeah, thank you. I'm really enjoying making that, that content. I'm glad you like watching it. Because otherwise... <laughs> For more indie games. Yeah, like, I think most of what is coming up is going to be generally weird, smaller games. Yeah. I guess Cthulhu is probably the biggest thing that we play. Um, but I, I'd say, like, even ones that are, like, fairly highly produced or by, like, reputable other big RPG games companies, mm -hmm. I st they still kind of feel a bit like indie games because they don't really have that many more players than... Yeah, outside of D&D, &D, almost every role-playing game is an uh, indie yeah. game, isn't it? After... Because, like, D&D &D consumes the market. Yeah. Like, absolutely dominates it. It's the same with them, um, with miniature games, right? Like GW, basically, it. Yeah. Um, apart from, I guess maybe like Warlord games, probably. All the all the Star Wars stuff. Yeah, I guess like you know, people are starting to like boop boop on out. 
Well, shit. It won't let me. After that five turns of fucking around, I can't even swap Nagash in. Why not? Because you can only recruit him at the Black Pyramid. Do you have to walk back to the Black Pyramid? I think you can only... You have to literally recruit him at the Black Pyramid. I don't think you can even, like, swap him in. Just try going there. Nope. Not allowed. Do you have to be inside it? Is my throne ready? Is my throne ready? Well, fuck. Shit. Oh, wow. It's not like we lost anything. Okay, we'll bring back Ace Loki. And we'll just... Horny Ace Loki. Wow. That feels like a bad mechanic mod maker. Everything yeah. else has been exceptional so far. Yeah, I almost forget it's a mod. Um, but, but that's fucking annoying that now I've got to rebuild all of Nagash's buildings. When Nagash dings, it just destroys his, More sleep his his base, his little mobile camp. Yeah. To be honest, I don't even think he really needs that mechanic. I don't no, really know why they have It the feels utterly redundant. I guess it means he can go off and conquer places without having to worry about recruiting back home. But I feel like you've got the raise dead mechanic for that. Yeah, you have. Yeah, that's true. Like, just raise kill hordes of things and then raise armies back. Like, the horde thing just feels kind of just bolted on. Yeah. Oh, yeah, what's the Krell score? Oh, yeah, we haven't actually done that. 5,000 is my guess. Uh... Oh, 4,150. Yeah, it's going to take nice. a while at this rate, isn't it? Oh no, Luther's been killed. Oops. <laughs> well, Jelly's still on the way. Keep sailing, Jelly. <laughs> he can do it. Boop, boop. Now, that's the good thing about vampires. You can always bring them back. Mm. Oh, we've taken Bitter Bay back as well. Hooray. That feels good. Uh, Keep, like, just smashing up into him. Mm. It's like, while well, we're burning stuff down and raiding. Yeah, we just, we've only just taken it this turn. Oh, uh, okay. Just going to wait a sec. Uh, Ace Loki uh, donates three bucks. Thank you, Ace Loki. Thank you. They say sorry for the second post, but that was a commission miniature that I had gifted to me by my brother. Oh. Try this link to see if it works. See my horrible painted mini. So they would. That was the Deathmaster Snitch. Right. And here is your horrible painted mini. He's looking pretty good. It's not. Not too horrible. No, better than my first mini, that's for sure. Yeah, holy moly's. Nice. I mean, you you bypass the not painting your base by not putting them on a base at all. Interesting. <laughs> Technically, correct. It's like I'm not. <laughs> but do you feel like you've been scammed? I'm not mad. <laughs> it's fine. Absolutely fine. They didn't break any rules. Very true. What a sneak. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think he's looking pretty cool. Looks great. I like the rusty X. See in the back. Nice. That's awesome start. You kept in the lines. You got it done. Very good. Good first start. Uh -huh. And Eldritch Nerd uh, donates five bucks, the Eldritch Nerd. They say, Undead Tom and Not Alive Men. Mm. Who would be most frustrated? Who would be most frustrated undead with unfinished business? Zombie with rotten schlong. Skeleton with no schlong. Ghost with ethereal such schlong. Oh. Um... Maybe Ghost is the most frustrated? Because it's there, but it doesn't... You can't feel it? You can't touch it. Mm. I feel like when you're a skelly... It's, that's just over. Like, it's gone. You don't... You, have, I, you can move on. But also, you know, you... You don't have, like, the balls. Mm. And horniness is stored in the balls. That's where it comes from. And so... Probably just not gonna notice, and you have you're not gonna be 
jerking it. You're going to be playing xylophone all day. <laughs> boop, 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 uh, boop, boop, boop. Yeah, you've just... M your priorities change. <laughs> yeah. Skeleton. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very much. Uh, zombie, maybe. I think, like, God... You, you, can have a, you can have a red hot go, but you're going to rip that thing off at some point. Yeah. And, and you don't have the most, like, delicate self-control as a... As a zombie, I'm yeah. guessing. Um, but Ghost, I reckon Ghost is probably the most sentient. They can't touch it. Oh, uh, yeah. Ghost is having the worst time, for sure. Uh, yeah. So probably Ghost. I reckon they have the hardest, hardest time of it. Makes sense. Uh, Trapo! Uh, did I just for another five bucks in Trapo? Say, uh, what? It's an embargo date, Tom, and not a brand risk man. Mm -hmm. uh, here's attempt number two for a Yorhammer or Lawhammer. Holy shit, you've got to call your jets. And wow, Trampo, you're going to run out of... You're going to run out. I promise you it happens. Happens to the best of us. Uh, okay. Oh, they've done the little pictures. Here's a picture. Uh, on Eldar Exodite Worlds, there is a ritual that prospective Megadon riders take part in where they cover themselves in pheromones taken from their chosen steed's bodily waste in order to bond with them. It's a poop story. <laughs> or in the original Rogue Trader, when a named Inquisitor was first introduced for the first time, the name of that Inquisitor was Obi-Wan Sherlock Clouseau. Now, unfortunately, it, we know that one. It's that one. Because <laughs> that's a famous rogue traderism. Yeah. Uh, also, yeah, like that one is quite like popular knowledge now. Mm. I think that's kind of like a lot of people have kind of... Yeah, that, that's a meme that travels far and wide. So unfortunately... Sad, but I'd... Oh, man. I'd be wary of the Exodite one just because there is so little published Exodite law out there. Yeah. That, I, yeah, I just don't think. I, I would assume anything said about Exodites was made up. Well, uh, but they do appear in some novels because there isn't there Exodites in the Infinite and the Divine. Are there? Oh, yeah. But, yeah, but so brief. You don't find out anything about them. They just have, they're just getting shot. But like, it's the kind of thing that you know there could be throwaway yeah. line somewhere. True. Of like, boom, here's Bonded Steed. Something about Pheromone. And then you kind of like extrapolate out and you can Turn it into a poop story. Uh, and then you make you get a poop story <laughs> out of something. Uh. Uh, but you have got a link to the answer. There he is. And he looks like John Blanche. Uh, he's cool. But uh, Obi-Wan Obi Sherlock Clouseau. Yeah, we, uh, we just knew. <laughs> We knew all about him. It's an old meme, but it checks out. Uh, also, Ben, damn you for introducing me to Open XCOM. Mm -hmm. Now played way too much. Nice. Good game, man. Fucking good game, that. Good game. GG. WP. Uh, don't not forget. Uh, I don't think six bucks. Don't, 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 don't not forget. And they say, we've had first Google... But what about second Google? Dusk Wait. City Outlaws for Tom. Renaissance heist movie RPG. D100, roll under skill. Very little prep. One to three sessions. Uh, Holmes and Trot did a few four years ago on Yogg's Main and for Hat Films. Ah! Oh, this sounds very good. Mm. Are you intrigued? Yeah. Especially very little prep. Those are my favorite. <laughs> You've said all the right buzzwords. Uh, for some reason, like, oh, like, oh, yeah, like, I am kind of right on. It's like the font just makes me think of, like, a mobile game. And it does have the font of a mobile game. Uh, Neon City Outlaws. Ooh. That sounds a bit more fun than the the Renaissance. Yeah. Also, I have to admit, Dusk City really makes me think of uh, Cowboys. It, 100% it sounds like Cowboys. Not Renaissance at all. No. That's weird branding. 
Completely, completely different. Also, the font is more cowboy than Renaissance, right? Yeah, it really looks like a cowboy thing. Like Neon City Outlaws, instantly that works. Mm. That makes sense. You, you know that. where you're going with it. You know, you know where you stand with, with Neon. Um, the zombie job. Oh. Um, I, we're about to do a battle, but I need to rename some boys first. <gasps> Fraggle Rawker's uh, Butler Brigade have just recruited some bone throwers to shoot down the castle walls of Imric. Bone boy. He's on the Ravenge. Okay. Uh, the Velocibaptor. You're a bone bone boy. The other bone, bone throwing boy. Scuffler. You're doing bones. Uh, who else needs a name? The golems need a name. Well, that's Prism Boss. You're a bono. Uh, two skeleton archers need names. Well, that's Cheerful Owl. And Yoinky Winky. Uh, skeleton Spearman. That's... Uh, Garviel Loke. Uh, Skeleton Warriors. <laughs> Is Atomic Snow Globe. Okay, and then did I add anything to us? Oh, God, Arkan lost some units and I did not notice. That's they're all names now. Oh. Wow. Well, well, we got our bone boys. We can launch straight away without having to build siege equipment. Yeah, just fucking barrel in. Decisive victory. Pew, 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 pew! You're going to need to wake me up out of my coffin for this one. <laughs> nice. Oh, look at that. Prison boss's first battle. Got the most kills. Very well behaved. Good job, prison boss. We believed in you. You didn't let us down. The elves didn't, but you showed them. Huzzah. And that's like another thousand kills for the Krell toll. <gasps> Krells for the Krell god. The Black Tower for whom does the Krell toll? <gasps> he tolls for thee. Oh. Right, we're just going to just run through Imric's oh. lands right now. Those says they tried their hardest. Um. So it's Dust City Outlaws. Is that like a box game? Like, what's the deal with this? Because all the pictures look like it's a board game, not a role-playing game. Hmm. I remember seeing it on the shelf in the office. I remember where it was on those shelves. Uh, it was sat there for so long. Mm. Um, and I don't know if that was like a... Just help your, yourself and steal it. Maybe. That happens um, sometimes. Because sometimes we do have a little pile of... Please take this before it goes in the bin. Yeah. You just not even buy it? Where the hell are you getting this from? Hmm. Do they not sell it anymore? Is that out of print? A lot of board games go out of print. Shopping. No. It's gone forever. Get it on drive through RPG. Oh, and even this is just all the expansions. Uh, well, there's the core game, like 20 bucks. Yeah, I quite, I'm quite like a, a tactile person. I'd mm, like to have you the book. I always prefer to have the book. Um, more than reading just PDFs. Like, fuck, 67.50. What's in that box? It's an off-the-shelf game. Rule book, player book, source book, loads of sheets, loads of die. And then loads of cards. Do you need all of that stuff? It's a lot of stuff. Do you need all those things? What is the deal? Well, if they're selling it as a PDF, surely you can get by without all that crap. Yeah, I just wonder if like quality of life is a lot better, mm, or because be, you might have to print out all the cards, which would be a yeah, something. It's like here, here's the the printing list. Go and do this. And I'm like, oh fuck, that seems like a lot of work. Absolute pain in the balls. 
He's got a, he's got a bloody garrison dragon there. Expand Ooh. Sylvania's borders. A laughable idea. Um, march him up. You will be rewarded. Decisive victory. You played it. It was quite good. You just had the PDF. Okay. Have a look. Have a little browse. See if, uh, if it tickles, <gasps> tickles my pickles. Arkan's got his dragon. Ooh. Is it actually a dragon, or is it just a flying horse? Uh, well, it's that big skelly dragon, you know, when they redid Arkan the Black? Oh, cool. End times. It's riding one of those. Razak, the Doom of Traitors. Wow. <laughs> Remember him? Not really. Not really. No. Why would you? On death ascendant. Oh, it's when they all became Mortarks, and it's not Dragon. It's just like Big Bone Guy. I didn't like those models. No, the models weren't the best. Uh, yeah. Thing. I don't even know what it is. It's like a big bone dog full of skulls? Full of ghost skulls. Full of ghost skulls. Skulls with unfinished business. <laughs> they they want to be in... Oh, God, are we in the queue for... The book that's out of print. It's already sold out. That is a big improvement. But, um, but you're still not allowed. To order? Nothing. It's just <laughs> idiots, I think, are queuing up the system. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's cool. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> He's a fun guy. <laughs> He's got a good vibe. I like him too. What a guy. <laughs> That's who you want as your right hand man. Yeah, just weird Skelly Pope. <laughs> like yeah. mini Skelly Pope. Yeah. He's very fun. I don't why can it fly? I guess the power of goat it Oh, it's like a hot air balloon. These these skulls are all lighter than air. Oh. So you fill its rib cages up and it gets very buoyant. Okay, right. That makes sense. And then you open the the poop hole and they flow out and you slowly <laughs> Drift move along. that direction. Yeah. Sure. <sighs> okay, nailed it. I get it now. Yeah, I don't, like, I don't like him though. I don't want him. Oh, we'll put him back in his chariot if you want that. No, nah, he's probably better. Yeah, but you know, rule of cool, right? Well, we'll give it, we'll give it a go because maybe he's animated nicely and he'll look a bit cooler. Oh, that's true. Okay, I'm going to lock the door these Damn dirty wood elves. No, no, not wood elves. They're going to shoot me. Just uh, maintain. You on your own, Ace Loki. Maintain the perimeter against all these. Don't let any of them out of their tree. No, he's just going to be there, just being horny. <laughs> 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 just in the trees. Oh. Oopsie poopsie. Not enough movesies. Wait, aren't you attacking? Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't realize he was hiding behind the tree. I was going to kill that whole stack on its own. Uh-oh. Skelly Pope Stark. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, oh, we're going to do the big right that summons a whole army. Oh, cool. Let's do that. It's like a war. It's like a skelly war. There they are. They will serve. Oh, they've got a full move as well. Oh, can they attack and Destroy drag everyone them. in? Oh, nice. Off he goes. Maybe it's worth actually just attacking the tree. Break their life. Decisive victory. Yeah, super decisive. Should we just burn that tree down? Yeah, go for it. How'd everyone do? Oh, look at that. 77 kills for um, Ace Loki. Had wow. to run down those elves. Oh, good job. Horny boy. Very horny. And uh, 1,500 kills for Krell. <laughs> Krell for the Krell God. Mm. God, locked door. What a move. Good luck, you dipshit. Archers. 
Yeah, but if we hang out, they're just going to take some attrition now. And just be Respect mad. Yeah, don't blame them. I'd be mad too. That's my tree. We made it all undead. How did you lock us all out? You locked us out of my tree. <laughs> I left my keys in there. <laughs> she <laughs> Uh, Morganism! Uh, donates three bucks. Thank you, Morganism. Thank you. And they say, hey there, Tombo and Bimbo. Long time Vod Gobbo. But Wednesdays are usually family time. Mm. So it's great catching you live. I heard you guys love Space Marines mm. and bases. True. So here's some Eliminators. I've just finished. Kremlo comes. <laughs> Eliminators. What are eliminators on? Like a sniper rifle, maybe? Like, oh, God. space marine names are silly now. They are. They they got silly. They turned. They got oh, bloody they stormcast eternally, didn't they? That's the problem with just space everyone space has a funny names. name. Got intercessors, in incisors, like retributors, like oh god, like all. They in all just sound curses. the same. Yeah. Uh, there's like four different ones that begin with I, which oh, is like... Eliminators. <laughs> yeah. Great. Just all of those things. Uh, these guys look cool. Bases, very nicely done. Ooh, um, nice hexagons too. You have done triangles. <laughs> <laughs> they look great. Good job. And very nice bases. Yeah, the bases look really, really good. Yeah, I like them. Oh, these guys are super rad. Oh, and I love, man, I really, really like this effect. Mm, like a little bit of like kind of electrical glowiness mm. and then like having some like dirt or like more natural vibe. Like it really kind of like feel like you get an idea on how that cloak would work. Yeah. And it looks way better than going full ghillie suit. Yeah. Which always looks kind of stupid on miniatures to me. Yeah. Like it just doesn't look right. Um, mm. Great. 10 out of 10. Wood Space Marine again. Very cool. Like good them. job. Good job. Good bases, good space marines. Uh, Oof. Okay, well, they're coming in. They want their tree back, Tom. But it's more elves for the Krell gods. Oh, poor Garrison. <laughs> Garrison got fucked. Well, that's like a thousand extra elves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Feed me your elves. And Horny Boy had a good time. He did. He got 77 kills. But we did lose the elf fortress. Imrit came back to take his house back. Uh, easy come, easy go. Yeah, we'll just take it straight back in a minute. Ah, oh, Nagash got his big sword. Ooh. Mm. The Great Blade of Death. Oh, it heals him when he does damage. Nice. Uh, Good boy. A Juice Man. Uh, Donates three bucks. Thank you, Juice Man. And they say, I'm back. With maybe better pictures of some Stormcast. Ooh. Also, bonus Napoleonic themed Admech. Hooray! And yes, Die is basically fantasy goth Jumanji. But each class uses different numbered dice. Uh, also, the world is shaped like a dice. <laughs> I don't. How often does that come up? <laughs> I hope. Constantly. <laughs> you literally cannot go five minutes without someone bringing up the world is shaped like a dice. Uh, no, I'm genuinely, genuinely very intrigued um, now. Each class using different different number dice is kind of fun. Do you want to tab out? And tab. Tab for me, Ben. Storm oh, cast. the backlighting. Yeah. Like this, this is just way better. Much better lit. I can see the colors now. You can actually see your boys. Nice. Very pretty. Nice stairs. Uh, maybe like paint your, the side of oh, your rim. Yeah, just give give it a quick rimming. A quick rimming. And they'll thank you for it. Yeah, like this. Is oh, there you better. go. Rimmed, rimmed him up real good. Looking cool. I do like the Super Archer model. I think he's cool. He is fun. Oh, yeah, real grimy Stormcast. I think it's just much nicer than mm. the like the pure clean. Mm -hmm. I like them a bit more grim, grim dirk. It's a walkie boy. Ooh. It's a chicken gimp. This guy's looking very, very oh, good. Oh, he did them in Sharps Rifles Green. Very handsome boys. That's fun. The Blues and Royals. 
I guess they are. Are these called even? Called, no, they're called Iron Striders. Something's called a Dragoon, isn't it, in the Admech army? Sure. Got, I think the walkie boy with the guns instead of the rider. Oh, uh, okay. I don't know. But I feel like Admech work well with the sort of the, the, the Napoleonic, Napoleonic vibes. <laughs> Napoleonic. Napoleonic. <laughs> God. It's that point. It's that point of the evening, man. When the madness begins to creep yeah, in. It's just nonsense. Um, yeah, holy, holy molies. So what are we doing? What is happening in this game? Right, so we just uh, attacked the tree because it was our only territory and it was a good way to get um, some more pieces for the Krell puzzle. Mm -hmm. They were hiding thousands of Krell bits in their tree. Wow! <laughs> they invested heavily into Krell bucks. And we came and stole them all. We did. Um, we are fighting Imric. Here he is. That is He's very sad. And both um, Fraggle Rorker's yes. Butler Brigade and Arkan's um, like Desert Beast Brigade are going to finish him off pretty quick. While we're doing this, we've got Neferata building the Silver Pinnacle yes. Gem Mine that's actually fixing our economy. Nice. Pretty good. Um, Not while Mario is going to go find Vlad, only like a few turns away now. Okay. Walking into the Empire. Where's and, my wife? Uh, Nagash is doing the tree. Nagash's friend is here too. Uh, East Loki's here too. And then final boss Jelly is finding Luther. Hooray! So now we've landed on Luther, we can, um, can research him and get him in two turns. See, this is this is the research that you're supposed to have done ages ago. I only just got here. Then why didn't you <laughs> do the research? <laughs> but where's my where's my beautiful bride? What are you up to? Oh, she's off to kiss Imric on the lips. Ooh, <laughs> hello. Kiss him. Kiss him real good. What? Oh no! Critical failure. Fuck. <laughs> Imric doesn't like beautiful women. He only kisses dragons. <laughs> What he's a scaly. Heck? He's a scaly, and she turned up. What the heck? Yikes. Uh, Her first outing didn't go so well. What the hell? This is bullshit. Lame. Bad. Very bad. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk to Imric about it, see what he's got to say for himself. Yeah, hey, Imric, mate. Greatest of the Dragon Princes. Greatest of the Dragon Princes. Do you truly believe you can avert Kalidor's vengeance with words? <laughs> God, you're such a knob. <laughs> the dragon shall wake. Oh, oh no, he's oh. like the Ceres in Game of Thrones. Oh. You don't want to wake the dragon, do You'll wake you? wake the dragon. <laughs> I'm telling the dragon. <laughs> I'm telling dragons. <laughs> Yeah, well, I guess just kill him. Just keep going. Burn him to the ground. Yep. We we waved the the, the, the carrot at him. Now he gets the stick. Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, right, we get to bring Jelly home now. Or does Jelly, do you want to come home or do you want to go find this, this guy for the last Mortark? Is Jelly here? I think they would want to go on an adventure of that. <laughs> Adventure it is! My dragon will hear of this. <laughs> I'm the best dragon kisser. <laughs> uh, I think you just gotta I think you gotta go. If Jelly changes their minds, they can come back. Alright. Uh Z donates nine bucks. Thank you, Z. Thank you, Z. And they say, hey, Toop and Beep. Great stream, guys. I bought some orc boys. Ooh. I'm assembling them, but I'm apprehensive about painting them. Mm. Uh, they seem so gracile these days. Oh. Uh, I haven't painted a mini since 99. Grackle. Slender. Slender. Oh. Well, that's a word I can say I've never heard. I've never before. heard of that. Hmm. I don't think orc boys are slender. Orc boys. Well, it's orc with a C, Ben. So maybe fantasy orc boys? Oh. Maybe. 
Cruel Boys. They're kind of thin, actually, aren't they, the Cruel Boys? Oh, uh, if it's Cruel Boys, they are pretty skinny. Especially the little hobgoblins. Yeah. Yeah, they're only little fellas. Uh, you just got to jump in and know that your first few minis will not be as good as the ones you do later, and that's okay. Uh, it's totally fine. Also, I promise you, hold on to the first minis you painted. Yeah, I wish I had. There'll be points where you're like, oh my god, I can't believe I, I painted minis like this. My painting's so much better now. Look how far I've come. But there'll be a point in the future when you'll treasure those first models. Now that you're way more comfortable, uh, you can do way better techniques, you're just mechanically better at painting, and you'll look at those with such fond memories of like, holy shit, I was kind of not as good as I am now, but mm. these are great. You have your first ones, you want to repaint them. I promise you don't. No, uh, it'll be a fun little memory to have. I think they are more valuable as like those little, little memories. Or at least take decent pictures. I think I, I just want the, the exact objects. Yeah. Well, like little, just taking pictures maybe works. But then you've got to hold on to those pictures. I feel like these days, 10 years time, I might just not have any of my old pictures. Like, I yeah, might lose a hard drive or something. Like, yeah, yeah. It's a risk. Um, but yeah, I, I really regret like just not keeping hold of mm. like the first minis that I painted. Me I too. wish wish I'd had them. So I feel like they would go pride of place like in my cabinet with models you, like the models yeah. I most like now. Absolutely. Because uh, the contrast there is huge. And like thinking like, wow, that was, you know, 20, 20, 30 years ago. Mm. A long way back. Mm. Yeah, I've got nothing. It doesn't help like not only like the things I did when I was a kid have been lost to the sands of time. Rimgold. But the ones I did when I got older, I sold them all. I had a big clear out when I was like, I've done too much games, dork, dork, lames dork shop. Mm. I'm starting my new cool Chad life now. Yeah. And I sold everything off. And so the only models I have, the oldest model I've got is like 10, 15 years old, something like that. Mm. When I've been doing this for 30 years. Mm. Yeah. Wow, not only has Grimgore got no chill, Grimgore is rank one out of okay. like 150 dudes. Where? How close is Grimgore? Well, he's near that new territory we've got up north. He's nowhere near the rest of us. Oh. So that's dying. But like he's got, he holds most of the east by the looks of it. Ooh. Oopa. Shit. Probably gonna die. How much money does it make? Is it worth recruiting an army up there? Well, I guess it can, probably just cancels itself out. <gasps> Luther's here! Hello! He's got a cannon and a gun, gun boat robot. Ooh, and bomb boys! Oh, the blowtoes are back! Do love a blowto. Oh, yeah. Okay, we've got to keep the last four things. Basically, everything else can go. Or do we just get rid of one of our other armies? What else do we have? Uh, Bone Colossus. Ooh. Uh, Druthor, the King of Grimbarrow. Okay. Sounds great. Blood Beasts. Blood Beasts. Uh, Slan Gold. Nice. Sure, 50% off raised dead. Pretty good. Nice. Uh, power Recharge. Wait, wow. Okay. The whole thing. He's on a Terror Geist. Wow, he's not bad. He's no, he comes in at level 28. Woo! Fuck, Luther is good. Fuck, where is he? Oh, he wants his oh. house back. Uh, I mean, Does he have anything to do over there? <laughs> we if, if we'd got him before his empire fell... Maybe it could have been a fun little excursion. Could have been a little mini game going on. But it? this seems like he attacks the lizard men, and then next turn he gets murdered by every lizard man in Lustria. Yeah. And we're like, I don't think we're going to reinforce you, bud. No, maybe we leave and go somewhere else? Maybe it's worth just disbanding the army. Because can we now recruit his stuff? Or do you have to, like, tech that? I don't know. I mean, we can raise dead them here. Can other people get blotos? Um, I just want blotos in my armies. 
And cannons. And cannons. Oh, okay, they can get those guys. Them. So I guess we've got a tech to... We've got to build the right houses in Luther's army. I kind of think it's probably worth... My like, what is he going to do? Just piss off the man. lizards? I don't know if we need that kind of beef. Yeah. Because we're never doing anything else in Lustria. I don't know if we can get cannons, actually. He's got a special house that lets him get deck gunners and hand gunners. Oh. And his core lets him get the zombie pirates. Wait, are, they, are you saying these are the only two blotos we would ever get, ever? <laughs> it feels bad for the blotos, doesn't it? Um, oh. Kind of gunnery whites. Why the fuck do you want a gunnery white if you can't recruit? I guess you can stock up on deck gunners. It's weird that deck gunners are... They're one of the best units in Like the tier one, yeah. Um, weird. I mean, I want to use the, the gun army for Check fun. Take all settlement. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah, like... Can you raise dead them? But wait, in a, just a settlement, can we now build a... Oh, a zombie house. Yeah. Is right. that like a tech? Like, if on the... Just go to the tree. Mm. Like... No, it doesn't look like it. Doesn't seem like that is a thing. Probably not. Uh, what is this? Mm. Oh, yeah, that's just all the weird Nagash stuff. Yeah, look, maybe if we conquered the the zombie pirate territory would be allowed, because it does look like each territory is a different tech tree. Okay. Like Nagash land can build the spooky ghost stuff, and then the Kemri, capital of Kemri, can build different things. Oh. It can build, um, like, bone giants and uh, whatever this is, carrion riders and war sphinxes. Do they still have, what is it called, like, the the dread, dread Fleet Vortex of Doom? Is that still in this map? Where the Maelstrom. The Maelstrom. Oh, I don't know. It's up around here somewhere, isn't it, normally? Like, maybe, yeah, it, maybe we can go conquer that. Like, is it that beneath... Yeah, 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 that's it. Because this is worth just going up and trying to Conquer bust that. out Noctilus. That's a good and plan. And then we get all our, all our cannons. Oh, Unlocking the uh, all the good stuff. Okay, what do we get rid of to pay for the zombie pirate army? Do we... Could kill a Fraggle Walker's army once he's killed Imric. We don't need two stacks here once Imric's dead. Well, where are we, where are we going next? What is our next plan? Uh... Let's we'll kill him. Because yeah. that'll buy us like a turn. That buys us loads Ooh, of money. Fuck. That buys us a couple of turns. We lost Chundovo. Oh, fuck. The average. And Big Chomper. They've been here since early days. Like, these are some yeah. OG boys. Good boys. They're all leveled up and everything. Sad. Got Imrik 513 kills. Ooh, Imrik. Naughty boy. Oh, look at that, though. Numi. Nearly 100 kills. Oof. Okay, well, we got money and we reduced upkeep. Uh, but what are we doing in this area? Because can we just... Because if we can have those armies just fighting every turn, they all pay for themselves in loot. True. And I'm a big fan of, you know, run heavy in the red, but... Yeah, it just might just make be more than you spend. Very aggressive. Hmm. Well, we could try and colonize this. I don't know if there's Skaven. Oh, there is Skaven here. Oh. But that means more kills. More kills, more good. And would you rather fight Skaven, Chaos Dwarfs, or regular Dwarfs? Um, I'm kind of fine with any of them, but where? what are our objectives, like these things? Uh, yeah. Where the green things are. Are those the, like, the eight territories that we need? Some of them. I guess it's under victory conditions rather than oh, quests. Shoot. No, 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 you were, up, you were there. Sorry. Uh, it's this tab here. I don't want to play on this screen. Uh, what? 
endless night. I've not given enough information. Right. All kind. Right. Beeline towards there with some boys. Lamia. Lamia. We might be able to confederate with Lamia now we've got Neferata, right? Because she's their leader and she's with us. Oh, yeah. She is like first I of the Lamians, right? Yeah. Yeah, see if she'll just join. Oh, she hates us. What? Why? Aversion. Oh, I guess we're in the gash. Hmm. Uh, all right. well, I guess they don't really care about Neferata. Okay. Like, oh, Vlad, let's be chill with Vlad. By my side. Get some money. And let us discuss mutually beneficial matters. Sure. My Wait. will is done. Did he confederate? No, he um non-aggression trade right. Oh, uh, okay. Um, I don't even know how. We Maybe, Maybe he confederates a tech. We have to research. I don't know. Maybe you sure. can't confederate. No idea. Just guessing, really. Jesus. Lamia yes, is our second right. most liked faction. <laughs> they hate us. <laughs> they hate us. <laughs> Everyone hates us. <sighs> so where's our two armies? And where are we going? We need to get... Right, let me, let's me let have a little recap. So we've got Arkan and Fraggle Walker oh, here have stop. killed Imric. Right. They need a turn to chill out. But where... Um, we've got Neferata's here, but I think I'm just going to... Because Grimgore's coming. <laughs> so you just disappear into the ether. And maybe we burn down that gem mine. Yeah. Line. And maybe we just salt the earth. I think so. Just like, see you later. Um... Right, then we've got Nagash is in the south. Okay. And Nagash's best friend brigade is in the tree. Okay. So right. So where are we attacking? What are the three? Places we need are in a different menu. This one. Right. So we need more kind, which is really close. We have to kill Scarbrand to get Cool. It. That should be number one. Lamia okay, so is, well, is a problem. Who's nearest to Lamia? Those guys could always just run back down, but that kind of sucks. Well, they could go, they could hit the bitter bay and then go on boats. Oh, yeah, boat. Boat down. Boat, boat adventure. Boat adventure. Right, the awakening. Yeah, that's a, that's a longer story adventure. What is their defense? It's not that good. Can we blitz it this turn? But then look at the counterattack. Like up north, there's three. Well, they're quite small stacks, but still. But maybe we that. can hold. And then there's a full Stegosaurus. Maybe we can't hold. <laughs> Who are they at war with? Can we like team up with someone to fight the lizards? Mm. That might be a... That's probably a no one, isn't it? A comeback later. Yeah. I like your idea of going for, going for the, uh, the Maelstrom and using that as a staging ground. Okay, and what was the other place that we needed? Uh, Castle Drakenhof. Okay, right. Which we might there. be able to confederate that. And the ancient city of Quintex, which is where Jelly, Jelly's headed. Okay, well, I think we worry about New World later. Let's mm. gun for Scarabrand, send the boys down in the boat, and jobs are good and all problem solved. We do have rebels. Oh, yeah. Do we need to squash these rebels? Look at their full stack of... Look at my skeleton legions. <laughs> half with sword, <laughs> half with spear. The undefeatable unity of arms. If they send out warriors, I have swords. <laughs> if they bring cavalry, I have spears. <laughs> Nothing can beat this plan. I make my army out of rock and paper. <laughs> the power combo. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I respect it. I respect <laughs> it as a play. He's got 66% of his bases covered. <laughs> yeah. I see nothing but 2,500 <laughs> Krell pieces yeah, exactly. waiting to be collected. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Maybe we don't even bother fighting him. <laughs> he doesn't walk fast. No, he's a speed. We'll kill him and we'll just pick up the Krell pieces on the way. 
Okay. Okay. It'll I like be it. fine. Uh, does that guy need to be defending the tree anymore? Well, he's mainly there to stop the tree being sad. Oh. Uh, Do we get anything from, like, how valuable is the tree? Not very. Yeah, we can probably yes. leave. The spirits agree. Um, you this guy needs a name. <laughs> or should we, we replace him with someone Are we going to keep him? Uh, is this one of ours or one of theirs? Oh, new guys come in at 11. Okay. Um... Oh, I don't fucking know. It's book, book words. But do it? we even care about having an army? It's useful to just have a backup army for Nagash, right? Uh, these guys are free. Oh, okay, sure. Uh, yeah, who's our new free brigade leader nice. called? One red hot memento. Uh, that can be, don't forget. Don't forget what? Uh, British historian. Uh, there's three bucks, need British historian. Thank you. And they say, part one. Hi, not Ben, and Ben. Long time vodka, though. First time donator. Mm. Uh, I have a law hammer or your hammer for those here late. Ah. One, the inventor of the Weber was named Androloid. So it's Androloid's Weber. <laughs> Andrew Lloyd Weber, uh, the cat's, cat's guy. Wow, I want that to be true. It's not. It's definitely not that. Androloid Weber. It can't be. <laughs> I mean, that's such a Tom and Ben thing to like have a, a dumb thing named after someone a dumb else guy's name. although i guess like at that time maybe games workshop <laughs> could have done it it's <laughs> like but it, making that one up i respect i love that's it a, that's i'm tempted really... to pick it just for the the sheer audacity <laughs> uh there was, is a planet called holifax which is a bank world Mostly underground, worked by small men with black eyes that maintained the vaults of the High Lords. Once Magnus Kraglar was late to battle due to a problem at Holifax, which is which. Okay, this is the best, the best set of. This Warhammer is amazing because they both sound too stupid to be true. Both sound ridiculous, mm -hmm. and I kind of don't believe either. <laughs> yeah. But they both fall in the realms of. Oh, it's possible. Games Workshop though, wrote a lot of dumb shit in the eighties, <laughs> yeah. and also, I've never, never heard of either of them. Yeah, this is actually a perfect your hammer or law hammer. Uh, if it turns out that you've done the both are fake or both are real, shame on you. Shame on you. You've it, you've excited us, and like the spooky ghost, uh, we uh, will leave us with unfinished business. <laughs> yeah. Um, Androloid. Oh man, I think the 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 bank planet maybe. I mean, Halifax was bigger in the back in the eighties, wasn't it? But then you specifically mentioned Marnius Kelgar, Kelgar, who was in first edition. Like, do you remember he sat with his little lizard toilet roll dispenser? Um. I just, I can picture that, like, the bits coming together of, he was supposed to do battle, but he was, you know, at mm. Halifax. There was a queue at the bank. Like, there was a, you know, a rebellion or something going on there. Um... But mm, that's really tricky. You've you've got us. I think the second one, like the first one, is a bit too punny, and I think it's too perfect for us. Yeah. So if it's true, amazing. Uh, oh God, I genuinely can't decide. I want them both to be true. 
Uh, I'm going to say the first one. Okay. Because those that like those rogue trader books, like the weapons manuals, had a little paragraph on every weapon in them. Mm. Like I think the mus there's a musket in there, and it says like a primitive weapon for idiot people, very rarely used, but especially popular on the feral world of Birmingham. Oh, okay, yeah, that kind <laughs> of thing. Like that. Do you know what I mean? Like that is like how that book was written. Um, the planet of perpetual darkness. Yeah, yeah. Like. Also, like, original Necromunda, like, there was fluff on weapons in there as well. Like, I can mm. imagine there being, a like, the side-on view of the, the Weber in, like, the sketched, like, hand-drawn style. And yeah. It just, a uh, paragraph Arch of Magos text. Androloid discovered this in the yeah. year 38,000. Yeah, yeah. I can. I can see it. Yeah, so I'm going to go with that one. Uh, boom. Ben's choosing Weber. I'm choosing Holofax. Both are good. Oh, uh, Tech Priest Androloid is Lawhammer. Yeah! It was in the Gene Stealer Cult 9th Edition Codex. What? Never mentioned again. <laughs> uh, on the Armory page. <laughs> Holofax is made up. <laughs> Thanks for your big praise. Speaking of praise, praise Chrome. Like, you know, ninth edition, they suddenly dropped an Andrew Lloyd Webber reference. <laughs> That's so wild. <laughs> I love it. Amazing. Uh, wow. Oh, that's one of my favorite Lawhammers. God. Uh, like, both of us just convinced, like, okay, well, I don't know, 80s or 90s, this, <laughs> they might have done that. He would just put out cats. He's real big. I was not expecting it was going to be ninth edition. Wow. Especially because, like, Webbers, you know, like, they haven't been, they were a thing in first edition, and then they stopped using them until, like, eighth edition when Gene Stiller Colts came out. Yeah. It just wasn't in the game for, like, most of the time. Holy shit. Uh, very, very good. I love it. Wow, you, you you aced it. Well done. Um, well done. Very much well done. Oh, look at this. Look, when Nagash goes into encamp mode, he turns into his giant pyramid. It's flying along. Ooh. He takes it with him everywhere he goes. Ooh, that's cool. I like that. Oh, what a good boy. Maybe that's why he can't use his old horde. Oh. Is that, he got all the new pyramid powers. Right. All right, Luther, you got to get out of here, dude. Go beat up <clears throat> your friend. Yeah, it's probably going to be pretty well fortified up there. But we'll see. Uh, and we have another donation from Trapo. Trapo's having another go at a law hammer or your hammer. <laughs> and I'm oh, worried. I'm worried you're going to have a shit. hard... It's a hard act to follow. It's a hard act to follow. Oof. Like when you go to a stand-up comedy night and just someone nails it and then the, the next going. person's going on. Oh, what's the deal with airline food? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, oh, it's hard work. Trapper, would you rather save this for next week yeah. when uh, you're not not having such a uh, a difficult, <laughs> a difficult task? Um. I'll let you defer if you want to. I wouldn't blame you. Yes, read next week. <laughs> I think is a, a safer a safer call. Good choice. I shall move. Oh, something's happened to our money. Oh, did the half price oh, the, the big 75 spell cent wear off. reduction on all of our things yes. has that disappeared? Almost certainly. Um, right, well, time to collect the uh the D D Agostini Krell adventures. Part one is free. Ooh. Part fifteen million <laughs> will cost six ninety nine. Yeah. Um. Splat. Wow, five thousand five hundred. 
Oh my god, like look at these kills. Oh my god, that's a lot of Krell pieces. Holy shit, like 600 kills on the ca <laughs> unnamed carrion riders. <laughs> like all the fight men did pretty good. Half Blood, you absolute oh my monster. God. The gas did great. What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> Iriana and Ace Loki catapult. Jesus. Like, it feels like you can't. If you fire, you cannot miss. There were so <laughs> many skeletons. Jeez. He killed 5,000 skeletons and didn't lose anything. No. How did you. Like, the big spread out bolt thrower got 21 kills. I feel like in two shots you get 21 kills. God, every regiment of guard getting 400 kills each. Yeah. Nuts. I was not expecting the carrion riders to be this good. No. Oh, no, I thought they were going to be like bats, but a little bit punchier. <laughs> yeah. Right, they need a name. What do we name those glorious bat riding heroes? They can be British Historian, who is a hero, and he did very good. Thank you, British Historian. Um, Holy guacamole. Guacamole, indeed. What a badass. Um, uh, and Reduce Sanity. Thanks, 15 bucks. Hey, Reduce Sanity. Thank you. They say, Ben and Tom, I've really been enjoying Mystery Quest recently uh, because my dad is one of the major contributors on the scenario book uh, it was in. Both he and Forget Me Not author have really enjoyed... Uh, at least their first episode, Kremlin Kane. I think I saw your comment on the video. Holy shit, is absolutely wild. That's very um, cool. Because uh, did you say that they wrote the uh, the the little the lady flyaway ladybug? Um, what is that? What's called? Is that one of the other scenarios? Um, I'm not sure if you're here in chat. Um, Ladybug is your dad. Uh, cool. Yeah, um, I thought that scenario looked amazing, but I was a little bit worried that it deals with some slightly tougher subjects that, like, it might be a bit too serious. Like, because the whole book is, like, a, it's not as, as goofy as um, a lot of the uh, Call of Cthulhu scenarios that have run before. Mm. Um, and I think with it being modern day, just the stuff kind of hits a little closer to home. Mm, it um, feels a bit more real, doesn't it? And uh, like, uh, I think all the scenarios in the book are great. Like, really, yeah. really good. Just certain things. The way we do stuff is kind of goofy, and it's kind of hard to goof on certain things. Yeah. Um, your dad aimed for more, like, criminal minds, human dark type. Yeah, it really gives off that. And also, I really like the idea of running it as a one shot so the idea is like you all players like cops or investigators mm -hmm. um and like normally in call of cthulhu everyone's kind of like a like a pleb and you don't tend to get the law involved uh in stuff like it's just one of the sort of unwritten tenets of the game yeah uh but this scenario was like just really really good um and you play as police like investigating like a kidnapping, like it's got like a real kind of like true detective sort of vibe. Mm. This, um, mm -hmm. like actually doing some some crime crime fighting, but with like some weird weird darkness going on. Like really really enjoyed it, um, but oh. was a little bit like, oh, I think it'd be fun to run, but some slightly more challenging mm. challenging topics. Fair. Uh, tone of the forget me not has felt more serious compared to previous Cthulhu sessions. I think like yeah, like it try to run it in a slightly different way. Like the other Call of Cthulhu is they tend to be a little more quaint and a bit goofier um with those characters. And so these ones are a bit like a bit more serious and a bit more bit more grisly, but uh that's why that's the only reason that we're doing Call of Cthulhu again yeah. so quickly after yeah. the last one. Is because I feel like this one is very, very different to the the other ones. Hmm. Um, but I love that your uh, your dad and the writer—I can't remember his name. We did like shout it out at the beginning. Uh, have watched watched the episode. Um, oh, that's cool. It does feel a little bit weird because I know, like, I 
butcher parts of that scenario and uh, definitely change things and get stuff wrong. Well, there's no way to get it wrong. You're you're doing it to make sure the people you're playing with have fun and to make a good video, and that is a different objective to you know, you know what other people running, are doing. Running as written. Mm. If you look at uh, some other stuff, look at f f the Fear Sharp Little Needles. I own that book. Um, but uh, I don't think I've ever really actually read it. Like, I just picked it up because I saw it was somewhere else and I could get free shipping if I bought, uh. spent over whatever, 40 pounds and was buying some book for 20 quid and was like, ah, oh, great, well, I'll pick this one up as well while I'm at it. Makes sense. Um, Stimulation group with more goofy stuff. Mm. Very good. Mm. We'll check it out. But I'm glad you're enjoying. Uh, and Command Escape. The next five bucks. Seen Command Escape. Thank you. They say, Tom and Ben, Warhammer or Lawhammer for you? <laughs> uh, since that seems to be the trend of today. It sure is. Uh, please, we've had so many. I'm so full of them. Uh, I have played a Warhammer before. Or have I not played a Warhammer before? <laughs> Hint, I'm a 23-year-old male, and I've watched the stream for years, and never played another war game. <laughs> I'm going to guess no. Mm, yeah. I think... You never I, have I played think, a Warhammer. I think more people watching us have never played it than have played it. I think that's like the... Statistically appropriate choice. Also, is this the gotcha? I've never played Warhammer. I've played Warhammer 40,000. Oh, I've played Age of Sigma. Oh. <laughs> it's different. Um, you got us. Maybe, maybe that. I think, yeah, most people haven't played. Get ready for next week being chock full of these two. Oh, it's gonna it's gonna be a thing. Oh wow, yeah, it sure is. Can we can we have good ones, please? Only good ones. And I only limit to a max of three. Three per stream or three per person? Three per stream, max. Wow. Maybe even that's too many. Uh, yeah, maybe. Right. So what if you if we already read like two out, you can't put another one in? Maybe. We'll work, it. we'll work something out. Mm. Someone who plays Dark Omen. A true, a true connoisseur. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did enjoy Dark Omen at the time, but what a fucking UI. Do you remember Horrible it? UI, and you could have lost that game without really knowing it if you just take a few too many casualties at yeah. any point, because mm -hmm. that army has to be basically pristine by the time you yeah, make it to like the latest. There was no scenarios. room for error, but the game didn't tell you that. Yeah. And certain scenarios were literally unwinnable. And if you picked, it was like a choose your own adventure book. Mm. If you just picked the wrong path, good fucking luck, you're, you're getting left. Um, notice how all these screenshots don't actually show the UI. They only show... Um, Oh, no, hold on. I'm thinking of um, Shadow of the Horned Rat. Oh, Shadow of the Horned Rat. F even worse. E yep, for both. Both a terrible UI and even harder and more, more like, brutal. Mm. Um, this is basically Total War before Total War came out. Like, what? What is this? Is this a UI for ants? <laughs> So like, bad. Oh my god, it was such a struggle to play this game. Um, oh, come on. Did you ever play this one? Yeah. Like, oh, I didn't play it as much because I got it no. uh, after I played Dark Omen. Oh, wow. So had somebody played some step. other games, and yeah. I think I got like five or six missions into it and was just like, this game is a piece of shit. Absolutely. It was so janky. Like, um, we're just going to see the battle. Oh, I want to see it in motion. This is just stills. They animate so jerkily like this. Mm. 
Um, when you're fighting in combat and you've got nothing to do, all your units are committed, the only thing you could do was sit here and like click the, the muscle button. The fight better button. Yeah, you could pick one unit in your army and you could rapidly click. And if you slowed your clicking down, the bar would go down. So yeah, so you had to... And then when you did that for like 20 seconds, the bar would fill up and the unit would go, huzzah, and fight a little bit yeah, better. It was not, not the one. Oh, my God. Yeah. Great idea. I love the idea of taking a mercenary camp, like company, but it wouldn't let you take cash. If you took more than 10% casualties on a mission... Oh, you're fucked. You were so fucked. Like, you couldn't afford it. What's the guy called? Bern Bernhardt. Yeah. Was it Marcus Bernhardt? I don't remember. Great. Great fucking concept. Just a horrible execution. But it's all we had, so I played it anyway. Yeah. Was, this guy was amazing. He was like um, this like hobo living in the wilderness who was always like, oh, up. he had like a real thick northern accent. <laughs> Perfect. And uh, he had a spell that uh, was like the amber net or something like that. And it would like, you cast it on a unit, that unit couldn't move for like 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. And so he was critical because you'd cast it on a unit and then you'd fire all your missile troops. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. And just obliterate it. And his like amber spear that he could throw was like the only thing that could hurt rat ogres because everything else in your army just oh, like, fuck. fucking wrecked. What? Uh, Grokkar wants to declare war. Oh, he's probably going to take that tree. Grokkar hates skeletons. Yeah, he's taking that tree back in there. Why are you mad about skeletons, Grokkar? Why are you so cross? Uh, Command Escape, uh, there's five bucks and they say, correct, uh, <laughs> even though there is a Warhammer store in town and I've been meaning to go, the lockdown stopped it from happening and money. Oh, fair enough. And two very solid reasons. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Command Escape. Don't blame you at all. <gasps> Who is this handsome devil? Vlad. Oh. We did him. Nice. We did a Vlad. Can we just um. check the... Like Luther's things, do any of those unlock blotos? Doesn't look like. I don't really know how. I, how there's the, there's it, a lot. Of, there's a lot of stuff in this game. Yeah, there's kind of too much stuff. He can summon crabs with that one. Crabs. Okay. Oh, crabs. That's pretty good. They don't really punch out that much damage though. They're good like roadblock. But you kind of want some like DPS to come in. Yeah, that's true. Uh, and Indirian, uh, the next five bucks. Thank you, Indirian. Thank you. Say, howdy, Tom and Ben. From oh. one of your mystery quest videos, you asked for recommendations. Last year at Gen Con, a game called Gods of Metal Ragnarok premiered that takes all the tropes from the metal genre and turns the dial to 11. Ooh. It's ridiculous and over the top. Uh, Gods of Metal Ragnarok. Ragnarok. Uh, Crazy, not stupid. <laughs> Crazy, not <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Sounds like good. a fucking gobbo. That's a good line. Oh, shit, that art looks amazing. Ooh, that's pretty cool. There's like a cowboy with a, a blaster. Uh, metal cow. <laughs> it looks ridiculous. Okay, that's pretty cool. There's a what Conan there too. There's a Conan, Conaning around. There's like a magic robo horse with a guy. This is this looks pretty good. Are the rules good? Um, Castle Drakenhof has been deleted. What? Someone sacked it. The whole, now that we've recruited Vlad, every single Von Karstein territory has been deleted. What? <laughs> we just snuffed out Vlad by turning him into a Nagash boy? What the fuck? What? Why? The Von Karstein. <laughs> I was hoping to, like, fucking you know, confederate with him. Not spend tens of thousands of bucks rebuilding his empire. Oh. 
Fucking oof. Sounds like a future Tom and Ben problem. This might be where the stream ends. <laughs> Just with bafflement. <laughs> Just fucking confusion and anger at all times. About to go bankrupt too. Uh oh. Can't seem to get into combat quick enough. Everyone's like two turns away from actually fighting something. Um. Uh, wait, are those guys? Do they not want to just invade Lamia? They just landed this turn. Oh, <sighs> Can you just like kill Vlad's army? Yeah, jeez, he's level 31. Wow, he's, God, you could actually turn him into an absolute stone cold killer. Yeah. His army's too grand though, yeah. Shit. Like, that kind of saves money. Oh, God, I think we worry about it later. Uh, he killed his wife. We didn't know there's a tech to unlock his wife. Ooh. You do Undying Love. Oh. Okay. Isabella comes back. But then they both go up by 33% upkeep. Uh, well, FKP for the win. Uh, those three boxes just says beep. Beep. Thank you. <laughs> beep, uh. boop. And I think this is probably a good time for us to be calling it because it is getting late. It is very late. I'm sleepy and hungry. Sleepy and hungry. And dark. Uh, but thank you so much for everyone who has turned up and watched and hung out. Mm, very cool. I hope you. you have enjoyed just seeing the nonsense. Uh, nonsense that is this stream. We are here. We are doing it. Uh, when are you streaming next, Ben? <gasps> I'm streaming tomorrow! Wow, 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 wow. Seven o'clock on my channel. Nice. I'm playing Warhammer XCOMs. Whoa. We're playing the Inquisition. So sometimes we send in a Death Watch kill team. Sometimes we send in the Bonkers Brigade, where there's like a Sister of Battle and an Arbite and two Stormtroopers. Ooh. It's quite fun. That's very cool. Come check it out. It's good fun. Saving stream. Very neat. Um, well, we'll be back next week. Um, same time, same place, same more hammers. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope you all have a great night. Until next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, Boop. Oh. <laughs> Where? <laughs> On your hand. <laughs>